About a year ago, I came up with a concept. What if I was restricted to a specific area and had to achieve a goal in order to move on to the next area? The concept was really intriguing to me because it reminded me what it used to be like to unlock and explore a new area in RuneScape when I made the jump from free-to-play to members back in 2005. How could I do this and turn this account into one of the best accounts in the game for PvP? Welcome to Gridlocked, where I am confined to a certain area until I achieve the goal within that area. Once I achieve the goal within that area, I am able to move on to the next area, of course also being allowed to visit previously unlocked areas. The ultimate goal of this series is to create the strongest account in PvP. That means getting an Infernal Cape and being able to hit the 4747. The only rules for this series are as follows. I am not allowed to leave the area until the goal of that specific area is achieved, and I am not allowed to take donations. There are five areas areas or regions in this series that I have to overcome. The goal for each region is as follows. Region 1, which is my starting region, I have to achieve the Mage Arena 2 cape. Region 2, I have to achieve the Fire cape. Region 3, I have to beat Monkey Madness 2. Region 4, I have to beat Dragon Slayer 2. And Region 5, I have to get a Quest cape. All this starting from a level 3. Once I achieve a goal within a region, I am able to move on to the next region and reap the benefits of that region. And the most important thing to know is that I am not able to actually use the Grand Exchange until region 4. So this series is going to be challenging for me from the second that I get locked within the first region. With all of this in mind, let's begin our journey. Within Region 1, I have access to Edgeville, Edgeville Monastery, Edgeville Dungeon, and of course, anywhere within the wilderness. But, I'm only able to loot within the actual wilderness itself, so anything that's not within the wilderness, I'm just not going to loot. I can still utilize the NPCs within Edgeville, I'm just not going to take any loot that any of the NPCs would drop, or any other players would drop. There is only one thing that we need to do before we start our series. We need to go and do one Slayer task so we unlock the ability to do Wilderness Slayer. Plus, I am dropping all of the items that I get from the start, not using any of it. Our only Slayer task that we need to do is Goblins. Alright, let's go get them. There we go. Finally done. Now I can actually start this. Everyone's doing beginner clues, dude. And I'm gonna even drop the gem too. I'll just get another one. Because I know you get it for free. But I just want to be able to buy it. And we are officially in Region 1. First thing we have to do is go looting. So I'm thinking the best place to loot in the beginning is going to be by the piers. I'm just going to have to be like a Hawkeyes with this. All I'm really trying to get at first is food, things like bolts. So amethyst arrows, dragon bolts E. Because all that stuff is going to be able to sell for a decent amount of GP to the shop. You know what? I'm going to kill my target. <laughs> just die bro <laughs> just die I want whatever loot yes there we go first official kill on this account the kicks of oh my gosh they actually had a lot looting bots are dumb bro they're really dumb i could show you me looting for like two hours but i really didn't get anything great so we're just gonna go ahead and skip to the parts that matter oh yeah there we go oh yes it worked <laughs> oh Oh my gosh! One thing I'm going to use, which is going to be very good for me in my pursuit for 43 prayer, is the Wilderness Altar. Because I can use bones on them, and they act as a normal gilded altar. And, in addition, there's a 50% chance that the bones that I use on it just do not get used up. So I can use the bones again. Yes! <laughs> no! What? I really considered making this the respawn point and just putting five mil on the account, but I feel like that would already cheat it. So even though it makes sense in the confines of the series, I'm just going to have it so Lumber's just a spawn for now because eventually I'm going to want to use that as my spawn anyway. So it's not going to make sense to do it like that. really hope I don't die again, bro. Yeah, that's the literally best in slot mage. I should bank this, but I'm going to not. And oh, <laughs> yes, bro. What is that? Is that black dehyde? That's black dehyde. That's actually really big. I'm gonna not want to die here though, and an honorable blessing as well. The only sad part is this is gonna take 10 years, but dude, this is like really good for later on. So <laughs> it's really, really good that I got Black Dehyde. I'm sure there would have been plenty of opportunities, but the fact that I'm getting it already is super nice. Oh, right, the oh, I really needed that. 
I really needed that red dehyde. It's been like three hours of looting now. So what I'm going to do is get all of the items that I looted, like the stackable items, and sell it to the Rogue General Store in the Wilderness because they buy things for the high alk value. They're one of the few shops in the game to actually do that. So it's going to be good for me to get early runes. All right, so I came to a free-to-play world because they only go up to level 22 in the free-to-play world. Of course, in the members' worlds, they go up to level 100 plus. So I got to be really careful there, but... For here, I'm good. 100 GP. How much does these buy for? 294 each. They literally do sell for 294 each. I pro I'll probably just sell five at a time. How much do these sell for each? Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. This is decent. This is decent money making. Yeah. That would have been bad. All right. I just came to a free to play world for this. I don't trust this dude. I don't trust the going back in there with 47k risk. So I'm going to go bank this to make sure I'm good. All right. There we go. Now that we're safely here. Woo. All right. 46k. That is a very, very decent starting point. So I want to go to the Mage Bank, and to do that, I need to either get a knife or a weapon that can slash through webs. Now, I could just get an Iron Mace right here and be done with it, but I don't really want to use any of the Edgeville item spawns or anything in Edgeville. I just want to use Edgeville for the bank. So that leaves me with a few options. There's a Steel Dagger spawn I know of. Actually, a few of them. There is a Steel Sword spawn I know of. There is a Black Dagger spawn I know of, although that's in the Lava Dragon Maze, so that's just probably not going to happen and there is an iron scimitar spawn i know of i just need one of those to get into the mage bank and then there is an unlimited knife spawn right outside the mage bank so this should be the first thing there's the steel sword yeah all right so i don't actually need to get a steel dagger but i just want to see if the steel dagger is there anyway and there is the steel dagger plus there's also a steel dagger spawn up here oh there could be loot up here oh there is look at that and a crystal seed <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to use that for, like, anything, but that's interesting. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, is like a little war right here? I think there was. This is an absolute gold mine. Oh, my gosh. Rune crossbow. And I died. Wow. All right, this guy is just killing everyone. I'm just going to log out. Honestly, I'm going to log out and wait. Honestly, this will last us for a day. Decent amount of time. I think this is literally everything that I would even need for Mage Arena 2. So I really got to make sure that I can go and bank this. I should be fine though. So I could just grab an extra knife right there. Or I could just come right in here and then get an unlimited knife spawn. I think you just have to drop it every time. Yeah, you can literally just get an unlimited knife spawn. So I'll just fill up my inventory with this so I don't have to worry about knives pretty much ever again. So the unfortunate thing is that I am only able to get one staff from the wilderness, and that is an earth staff from the lava maze. So unfortunately, that means I am going to have to waste a lot of my runes. It shouldn't be terrible overall, and that should be all of the runes. Now I just need to go and get the staffs. I could use a burning amulet charge, but I just don't want to waste that, so I'm just going to walk there. Well, if a bunch of people are fighting, I'm as well sit here and wait for some loot hey he died cool maybe i can get a staff of water now <laughs> nice all that loot come on <laughs> just loot it oh no all right well i mean even if he does kill me bro you're not gonna kill me like that i have an idea i bet i could kill this guy let's get him one banged here I just need to hit him once. There we go. Watch. I'm going to get him killed. Oh, dude. Come on. He had a zero. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It freaking worked. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that actually worked. That's like legit everything. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go and get an extra staff or two. All right, there we go. Now we have our staff of earth spawn. All right, here we go. That's all I need for now. All right, let's get out of here now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to touch these Sarah Brews or Restores until Mage Arena 2. I really don't think that they're worth using until then. So what we're going to do right now, since I actually got a Staff of Fire from that, we can go ahead and get the best Mage gear. All right, so this should be our best gear for now. I don't actually need to use any fire runes until i die and lose this inevitably so this should be our gear for now we're gonna go to lava dragons and lava dragons should be good for hp experience 
prayer experience, magic experience, some GP, and maybe even a looting bag. All right, so, because I don't want to walk through a literal minefield because I'm at 11 HP and these guys can whack that very easily. I'm just going to go ahead and kill them right here for now, which it's kind of dangerous the spot I'm in because PKers can come and kill me. But I don't really think there's going to be that many PKers. All right, so I just got 13 magic, and uh, I did not even manage to get this guy to one fourth. So I'm just going to suicide, get more runes, and come back because that's probably faster than walking all the way back. All right, this is a good way to get my loot. So I just got to far cast this, and this guy will be afraid for his freaking life. Then I just walk over here, and grab my loot. There we go. All right, so now we can just go back to killing it slowly but surely. Now this is my first lava. Dr oh no. Okay, this is my first Lava Dragon kill. I want to see how much prayer I get from the first bone. This took so long, though. Onyx Bull Tips! Oh my gosh, I'm bailing. I'm bailing, bro. That is like a hundred... Yeah, it's a hundred K. Right there. And I can go and use this on the altar as well. So I have a chance at getting double the amount of XP from that. So, yeah, I actually just realized that uh, these are only 600 GP... When high alt, so <laughs> they're not 101k, sadly. Just get some good use out of this. Never mind. All right, second lava dragon kill. What do we get? Imagine it's just. Imagine I got a visage, dude. It'd be wild. Right, there we go. I want to get 45 prayers as fast as I possibly can. There's a few ways I can go about doing that, so I don't think I'm going to actually get it from lava dragons overall. Oh, I got an admin plate body, and I really don't want to die here, so. I'm going to hop worlds. This is good because it's a 10k arc. And the thing is, if someone comes and attacks me, even if I die, there's a chance that they might leave the Staff of Fire. Because technically, the Staff of Fire is worthless to everyone else. But it's not to me. If that even happens, we'll see. This guy's playing me, dude. What the heck? I might win, though. I don't think I will, but I could. Yes! <laughs> uh, no. I'm just going to smile. Rip. Very close. Well, I'll come back and get it. Although they, they do regenerate HP fast, so watch it be full HP when I get back, bro. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to see if I can get a task of Lava Dragons. No. Sad. All right, well, I'll eventually do the Slayer task anyway when I get range. But for now, may as well just buy an Enchanted Gem. Oh, gosh. This guy can actually attack me. Ooh. All right, I'm going to sit there and wait for a little bit. All right, I waited quite a few minutes, so I hope this guy's not sitting here waiting for me. Are you kidding me? He is. Come on, bro. <laughs> he actually killed my dragon and just took over. That's really sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I good now? Yeah. That's right, buddy boy. Oh, more Onyx sad tips. Oh, Rune Longsword. That's actually going to be a really good elk. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! Crap! <gasps> he ran out of run energy. No freaking way, please, please, please. Yes, yes! All right, that should be fine for now. 1,200 more runes to go cast. All right, that was the last dragon for now. I got 35 magic, 20 prayer. Uh, I'm gonna go for my next plan since I need to get range up. I think my best way of doing that is to get a Dorgish and crossbow and some bone bolts. And the best way of doing that is to kill people at revs because I think it's what a Venezuelan normally brings to go and kill those rev imps. So let's go and test the theory out a bit. Probably just buy like 50, I think, because it's a decent amount. Yeah. That's a lot. I kept hopping around to try to find looters, and every now and then I decided to kill the revs. Oh my gosh, I actually got a drop. And that guy's gonna get dropped. Bro. Stop giving me these. Oh wait, I can just one-hit this guy. Yep. Dang! Oh no. Shit. What's on the ground for me? <gasps> Dude! Like most of it, my mind runes and everything too. So what I'm going to do is sit here and loot all of these chaos runes and just use these because it's really cheap and I have a decent amount of uh, throwaway food as well. All right, there we go. So decent amount of inventory. Let's go and get any looters we can now. I have needed this pretty badly, bro. Yes. This should be a big chance to get a kill. Yes! Yes! Okay, good. I'm gonna get whatever he had and get out of it. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. I really hope I don't get PK'd. <gasps> Glory, I really, really hope I don't get PK'd. I really need to get everything and get out. Come on. He had so much. He had so much. You don't have space in your living bag? Ah, uh, crap. That's good. I don't even care. That's good. I'm leaving. And we're out. <sighs> Sigh of relief. Now we can check how much we got. Are you kidding me? Holy crap! Why did you have that much? Oh my gosh! That was after two hours of trying to find looters to PK. And the only things that are really good in that that I could actually use are the Ethereum bracelets because I could use those for Alex as well as just use the bracelets in the cave. Although I'm probably not going to risk it. And while the Ether was a really nice PK, it's not worth that much. I mean, it'll probably go for a decent amount of Alk price, but I'm not even going to be worried about the Ether because I'm not making my money from the Ether. As far as I'm concerned, and that was just a nice little bonus that I don't really even need because there's going to be so many more things I need to do for money making. And now that we have a decent starting point, the goal of next episode is to get at least 37 prayer because with 37 prayer, I'm going to be able to take on a lot more. Plus, I actually have a few tricks of how I'm going to get prayer up practically for free. Well... Man, if I can teleport into that every time, I'll be happy. Being in the wilderness at a low combat level is very difficult because you can get one shot by PKers and NPCs alike. So if we realistically want to progress this account, I need three things by the end of this video. One, I need 43 prayer. Two, I need supplies for 40 ranged. And three, I need enough GP to get at least 60 magic. All right, so I need a little bit more GP and I also need a bit more food. So first, let me go and sell everything to the store. I'm going to sell everything at five at a time. I already have 37k and that was just from the first time selling it getting rid of the arrows is probably gonna take a long time So I think I'll sell them 10 at a time even though it is gonna cost me a decent amount of GP But honestly, it's a lot more worth it to just do it like that because I don't want to take 10 years selling some stuff to the store Hey, someone else is selling this <sighs> You longbow dude, I can actually buy that I could buy you short bow as well. Actually, I don't need the longbow uh, What else could I use out of this? A bot is selling to this dude. That's going to be really nice, actually. <laughs> Thanks, bot. At this point, I have quite a decent amount of GP, so I'm just going to sell it at 50. <laughs> Looks like we're walking away with 122k stack plus a used short bow. If I ever find a normal short bow, to be honest, that should probably be next on the list. Part of the plan for me getting 75 mage is going to require me to have 40 range. So I'm going to go to world eight. This is the free to play PK world, and I should be able to get quite a few good arrows from this world. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Maple short bow. Yes! Yes, dude, good. Body leather chaps live. Is this like full? Cool. Oh, green dehyde vams. Yes! Dude, that's super good as well. That's another like, best in slot right there. I have 142 swordfish and lobsters as well as 687 adamant arrows. Again, I've been doing this for like the better part of an hour. <gasps> Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, this does literally nothing for me, but I'm cool with it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Oh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my gosh! It has been four hours waiting to get a normal short bow. Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh. Finally. All right. So now I have the ability to train range later. I'm going to go get arrows for a while. Oh, dude, you have no idea how happy that makes me. All right. Let's go and just loot arrows like nonstop. I'm going to be honest. I was probably lucky during that way. I mean, four hours to get a short bow from World 8 when a lot of people die on low levels with this like you'd figure it would happen a lot faster than it actually did so thankfully for me just a bit north of edgeville there is a spawn of bronze arrows you can collect 16 at a time in level 10 to 11 wild you'll get attacked by bears here and there but as long as i bring food i should be fine since i collect 16 bronze arrows at a time i should be able to get a lot in a short amount of time ah well they're attacking me i ran out of food so it took 45 minutes to collect all these arrows. <laughs> not terrible, actually. I got 960 of them. Although not having an Avis is going to stink. As long as I can get to like 30 ranged with that, I should be good. All right, let's get more runes here. Maybe like 30k worth. 
40. All right, there we go. That should be more than enough runes for a long time. All right, so I'm only going to bring this. So no matter what, if I die, I will keep my staff of fire because this is going to be very valuable to me until I get out of the wilderness. I used all my cast at Lava Dragons. Didn't really get anything aside from 24 prayer. So I at least need to get 37 prayer. I want to aim for 45 and there's a few ways I can do that. Right now, what I'm going to be doing is collecting big bones and just using them on the altar. But I have another idea. I just want to see how effective this actually is because I have to grab all the big bones and then I have to walk all the way over there. All right, full inventory of bones. Let's go to the altar. That was actually pretty decent to be honest. So that's one way to level up my prayer. Another method I have is there are green dragon bots in the bounty hunter worlds that will have their targets teleport up to them, kill them, take a mysterious emblem if they do get it and leave everything else. That means I can get games necklaces as well as dragon bones if they leave them. Oh no, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh my gosh, my stuff. Okay, good. It's there. All right. Oh, oh see? Look at that. Is there dragon? Yes, dragon bones too. Please. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and bank now. That is the best thing I could do. I think I have six dragon bones in total now to use on the altar. Can prowl the grounds for more dragon bones. Oh, yes. There we go. Look at that. Yes, dude. All right. That guy's going to get a free emblem upgrade. Oh, my gosh. That guy's going to get a... What? That guy destroyed him. All right. Well, I'll get that, that guy's freaking bones now. He destroyed him. Okay. Like, this freaking dragon's going to destroy me. What? <gasps> bones, 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 bones. Oh my gosh, that's so many bones. That's so many freaking bones. Two dragon bones right here. I just really hope they don't want to want to hit me. Not today, boys. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. All right, let's go and back again. That's a lot of dragon bones. That's so many. I took a bit of a break to see if I could find low-level looters in the rev caves, and I could not. So I just looted some stuff myself. Yeah, why not? Let's get some free XP. Maybe he's AFK horribly. Could be AFK. Be AFK this whole time, bro. Oh my gosh. Please be AFK. Just all the way through. Sad. He could still die, though. And that's really, really sad. That's really sad. That man has just leaving me free dragon bones left and right. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm cool with that. This is like such good loot. I'm glad I decided to come here. Give me D bones. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Free bank loot, bro. What? I didn't even know that someone died. I'm gonna use my bones right now, then I can go back. I really wanna get 37 mage so I can just prey on the dragons and not have to worry about dying. All right, this should be good. I'm not gonna do this in Wally Teen though. That'd be a silly idea. All right, that's the first inventory. All right, 33 prayer. That's pretty decent. Oh, I got a magic short bow. I mean, I already had one, but more loot. You don't need the freaking bones, bro. What are you doing? Okay, this has actually been really good luck. That was super, super good luck. Like, that's fair. Oh, this is really close. I could die here, dude. Oh, no. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kill him. Kill him, boys. Kill him and leave the bones for me. All right. Another load. I think I might be able to get this done after the next load. Like, I'll have 37 prayer, and I'll be good for a lot of stuff. This should be more than good. Let's go get that last bit of XP and get 37 prayer. That is a huge freaking milestone for the account. I know it doesn't seem like much, but, like, it means a lot to me that I'm getting this 37 prayer. There we go. 37 prayer. This lets us do Mage Arena 2 with so much more ease. I mean, technically, we could have done it without it, but, like... It's already going to be difficult enough as is to just get everything to get to Mage Arena 2, let alone do it. I mean, am I allowed to grab this? I hate this. <laughs> I need that stuff, but uh, whatever. What can you do? All right, I'm going to go to uh, Lava Dragons now. Get more mage. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's really going to get blood runes. I'm really hoping I'm able to get those to the bank. Because I'm going to need something like 900 blood runes. I think this is the safer spot because nobody really actually comes down here. So 43 magic, 38 prayer so far, 30 HP. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bail really quick because I don't want to lose these onyx bolt tips. Plus, I don't want to lose the fire staff either. All right, I think this should be good enough for now. Yes, more blood runes, dude. Solid. Ooh. 39 magic. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, I'll take one of these bad boys. Put on magic. 47 magic right now. I need 55. Ultimately, I need 75, but I'm going to go for 55 right now so I can just high alk all the stuff in my bank. Oh, no more blood runes. I think I want to just do this until 43 prayer, which is going to be really slow, but once I have it, I'm good. Oh, I got a rune kai shield. That's actually really decent. I'm going to use that for the alks. 
Please don't tell me I lose my staff. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to keep this for the Alks. That's really good to have. 40 prayer. Three more levels. At least now we can protect from range, which is really good. That's another important milestone. 43, though, and a lot of things will become easier out here. 48 magic. Seven more to go before we can high Alk. That's pretty decent. But now I risk my staff of fire, I think. So, yeah. I'm going to drop this then. It's not worth risking this. Ugh. Finally got a looting bag back. And blood runes. I probably should bang soon, dude. One more, one more. 49 magic. Pretty decent trip. It pretty much pays for itself and then some to be able to keep going back there. I'm getting so lucky with these blood room drops, dude. This is a big part of the grind for me. Oh, 41 prayer. I didn't even notice that. This is a big part of the grind for me to get these blood runes, so I'm glad I'm getting out of the way early. 50 mage, five more. Right, I'm gonna get a little bit more runes because I really want to get 43 before I go and do anything else. All right, back to the grind. Yeah, four more. Uh, yeah, I'll go bank that. More bloods. I feel like this is a good drop, but I can't really use it unless I get 30 attack and strength, right? Yeah, 30 attack. So if I ever lose the Staff of Fire, I at least have that as a backup. When did I get 42 prayer? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> okay. Uh, three more. 20 more. 160 out of 900. And I already have to go back out. <laughs> Look away for one second. Already died. He took my magic amulet? Come on, bro. Who does that? Who takes magic amulets? I have to go find another one. I really don't want to go to the Rogue's General store again until I have at least 43 prayer, so... I guess that's what we're going to do right now. Here we go. One more. Yeah, there we are. Very, very big milestone for the account, even though it's seemingly nothing. It's very good for this account because it means I'm going to be a lot more safe when I'm in the wild. Oh, wow. Someone's... Oh, wait. Is there anything I can use? Maple Longbow. I think I could use that. Wait, no. I don't think I can actually use that at all. I might have just been done with that. 68k. So now with this, we can go and buy quite a decent amount of runes. Yes, Green D had Vams. One more inventory then. Forget that much. One more inventory. Look at that. Green dehyde body and everything. Holy crap. This is the mother load right here. First, we just need quite a bit more runes. I'm going to get a lot more for training because I think I'm going to do Wilderness Slayer soon. But as of right now, I also want to go PKing. Yeah, that should be more than enough, honestly. All right, let's go to the caves. Okay. Oh. Like, look at that. Look how much loot there is. How much is this anyway? Obviously, it's not going to be the elk price. 104k from that. Like, that's so solid. Oh, amulet power. I actually really need that. Wow, that actually really helped me a lot. Here comes loot. Combat bracelet. That's really, really big. That's really, really big that I got that. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm bailing with this. I don't even mind. Oh, my gosh. That is a best in slot for me right there. Oh my gosh, that was so worthwhile. Yes, dude, that was so good. And that's because I was following zone level 33 down. That's literally going to be the best in slot gear for me for when I actually go and train. Just for everything, dude. And that's so good. Now I have a backup glory too. That makes me really happy. That is so, so good. And yep, that guy died. Oh, and another loot pile for me right there. Ooh, I will take everything. All right, now it is time to go and gear up to do some Slayer. I'm not going to bring my Staff of Fire because everything else I'm bringing is going to protect over it. And I just do not want to lose it. I'm also going to bring this green hat instead of a wizard hat because it is a plus one boost over that. Listen, I know the Slayer gear is not looking like much, but it's all we have. There's plenty of level 145s down here, right? But up here... That's good. It's nothing but level 8s. So we're just gonna kill them all up here. Hey, look at that! First Mysterious Emblem! Already, bro! Dude, that's so good. I can't actually sell it to the, uh, GE, obviously. But I can use it on the store, which is really nice. Oh, 53 magic. Look at that. There we go. Just got the task done, and... 12 Slayer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is such a garbage task. R. Well, I feel like I'm gonna be doing this Slayer task until, like, 75 magic. This is literally gonna take a day to get this done. 40 HP. One more level. So far, I got an Addy Kite Shield and an Addy 2H. That's not even that bad. I'm about to have to go to bank, but one more. That should be good. We're gonna buy as many runes as we can. I think I'm gonna go with like 50k worth of runes just so we can really not have to come back here for a while. I am loving all of the Alks that I can get from this dude. Oh, that is so good. I am very, very happy to hit that level. The next big milestone is going to be 60, but I am very happy. This is something I wanted from the get-go of this account, so I'm very happy to have it. Dude, that's pretty solid. 
Another 20 blood runes. Let's go and bank everything. 57 minutes. All right, I need some more runes. But as of right now, I can finally high alk things. So let me take my step of fire. Take some nature runes. And I can just go through my bank and alk whatever I don't need. I'm going to alk one of these because I'm pretty sure they alk for like 40-something K. Alk all of the adamant stuff I have. Really don't need this either. So I can alk all of that. I'm going to keep the mystic boots because I'm eventually going to need those. And then I can just alk this as well. So now let's go and alk everything in the inventory. Dude, that is bank. That is the bank right there. And I'm sure there's more stuff I can alk in here that I'm literally just not seeing right now. But I'm not going to worry about it for now because I have alked a lot. That is a lot that I got alked. You know, I do need to keep killing these guys. It's got 29 Slayer. It's kind of late right now. There's going to be a lot of people who are braiding by black chins in the BH world. I might be able to loot some runes and some much needed supplies. But it's really worth looting at specific times because a lot of people are on in the nighttime. I was at chins for like 20 minutes and no one showed up. So I looked around the wild again. And, dude, this is free loot right here. No one ever looted this, so this should be big loot. I think he had like a Tazar kit arm in that too. So, dude, I'm actually like really expecting this to be a good loot right here. Go get those. Yes! <gasps> Ancient staff, bro. Combat bracelet, glory, phoenix necklace. I got some runes in there too. I got some freaking big boy runes. How much do we get? Dude, that is really, really good. <laughs> that is really good. I am going to freaking bank right now. That that's that was it. That's it right there. I'm telling you it was worth it, dude. I am telling you it was worth it. Am I getting any of this? Doesn't sound like it. Oh my oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh, dude, I am set. I, that is it. I am set on the account, bro. I am set. Oh my gosh. That was like the best decision in the world. This is going to make life so much easier for me, bro. I'm just chilling in Edgeroll for a bit because I can just keep getting good loot. Oh, my. Oh, yes. My pin too. Got a rune crossbow. I think that's it. Yeah. Blue wizard hat. I think that is. Oh, I actually have a full bag. I got snakeskin chaps. That's going to be good at 30. No, I need 30 defense though. Uh, I guess it's not going to do anything. That's going to be good for me, though. So that was pretty much everything I got within three hours of looting. We can go back to the task now. I should be able to get 60 mage in just about no time, and getting the mage arena one cape is going to be super nice for mage to get the 75. Bro, my first rune item drop. That's a free 20k right there. Oh, yeah, and 57 mage. Three more to go, and we can do mage arena. That's a decent milestone. 30 slayer. Hey, another 20 bloods. Hey, I got another mysterious emblem. I might actually be able to buy some good stuff from the store now. I'll have 100,000 points total. Two more mage levels. Hey, Swamp Lettics. Let's go get another task, and I want to use this on mage. Please don't give me a bad task. I guess that's not terrible. I mean, that Slayer task literally took me like eight hours. That's not even a joke. So next episode, we definitely need to get 40 range to ensure that our plan works. Now that we have achieved 43 prayer, our region 1 goal of completing Mage Arena 2 has just become a lot more realistic. And with prayer now out of the way, we are now able to move on to our next big goal, obtaining 75 magic. The reason we need to obtain 75 magic is to meet the requirements for Mage Arena 2, which requires us to of course complete Mage Arena 1 as well as having 75 magic. The most realistic way to accomplish this goal is going to be through the spell Fire Strike since it is a very cheap spell to cast. And with a current magic level of 58 and a target goal of 75, we will have to cast Fire Strike roughly 78,000 times. Assuming that we are always casting a Fire Strike, it will take us roughly 65 hours to achieve our goal of 75 magic. So this leaves us with the question, how do we safely use 78,000 Fire Strike casts within Region 1? I think I just found a glitch. So if you far cast these Ents and you do enough damage to turn them into logs and you shoot one extra spell at the end, then you aren't able to actually chop anything down. So watch, this is what will happen. They normally die and they turn into an Ent Trunk, right? He's going to turn into an Ent Trunk, then he's going to get hit for extra damage, and then he's just going to turn to bones instead, which is not supposed to happen with these guys. See, here it goes. 
There it is. And now it's bones. That's so weird. I accidentally just discovered that too because it was stuck in the furthest possible spot. One more to go and we can do Mage Arena. I just want to be 60 magic already because I am so hyped to just get it done. That's a nice little HP milestone too. I still think I'm going to have to go and Alk soon, but as of right now, I'm just going to go ahead and Alk some of this stuff. All the ammo and stackable items that I have, that's what I need to Alk. There we go. I got 81k from that and now we can go and buy a lot more runes. That should be enough runes to hold me over for a bit. Terrible Slayer task didn't get any emblems or anything but it's not terrible that's actually good i think that's pretty good because i need to get blood runes and they drop them semi-frequently i always feel like a special boy whenever i get a lamp put it on magic again of course and also look I got 11 blood runes from this task so far i'm about to hit 60 mage 60 magic huge huge milestone now i can finally go and do mage arena and then that just leads to me doing mage arena too i'm pretty sure there's a safe spot that i could just far cast this dude from the entire time let me get him over here first, though. I see all you really need to do is just get him trapped behind one of these skeletons, and then you can literally just far cast him in AFK. You don't even need prayer or anything. There we go. Mage Arena done. Super easily. Now we can get the God Capes, which is a free plus 10 mage attack and plus 10 mage defense. I want to get the Zamorak one first, because obviously that's the most aesthetic. And I believe that since I went for the Zamorak Cape first, amongst all of the other ones, that I should still get that as my cape. I mean, we can even find out by just wearing this, but I believe since this is the first one I went for, or... Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it goes off of that. <laughs> so really the last thing I need to do is get 75 mage. And how I think I'm going to do that is I want to splash the majority of it. But before I can splash, I need to get 40 ranged. Because I need to get at least negative 65 magic to be able to splash. I could go and get an iron kite shield, but... I should be fine with just the Dehyde Van Braces alone since they are negative 10 magic bonus. So that's why it was so important for me to get ranged. As of right now, I'm just going to buy a lot of splash runes and then we're just going to go and train range straight to 40. All right, there we go. Just got done spending quite a decent amount of GP. Now I only have like 90k. Well, that's actually still pretty good. But as of right now, it is time to go and train range. It's going to be quite a bit of time that I have to spend getting 30. So pretty much I have just a short bow and bronze arrows all the way until level 30. But the gear is looking pretty good. We're looking pretty strong right here. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to kill a bunch of low-level rats until 30, at least until like 20, before I can move on to another NPC. So it's going to take a really long time. Just got 10 ranged. You know, I'm actually realizing that I should probably just go and train on men in Edgeville. So I'm going to do that instead of this because I'm taking too much damage. I think if I gear up to kill this guy, I might do that. I might gear up to kill this guy. That's really upsetting, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. He'll, he'll probably come back, though. He'll probably come back. I don't think he even noticed that. Hope he doesn't tell you, dude. Ah, well. <laughs> All of that build up for nothing, bro. <laughs> if this is a maze, this could be really... Yeah, whatever. I'll do it anyway. Now use the glass wall emote. Well, I think that was a waste of time. Just got 20 range. That's a nice little milestone. So now I can go and upgrade to the coif instead of the leather cowl. That's a nice little upgrade. It's not much, but it's still something. So since I do have a willow longbow, I would go and get a string. But the only way to get a string is to either pick flax and then spin it into string and then put it on your bow. Or get it as a drop from a monster. But the only monsters that drop them are spiritual rangers as well as mutated blood builds. So... That's not going to be happening. There we go. 30 range. Big boy milestone right there. So now we can upgrade to the maple short bow and the adamant arrows. Yeah, we have 1.2k adamant arrows. I probably should switch locations if I'm going to be doing it. Because I feel like these are just going to shred these skeletons. And like I want to go more AFK with this stuff. Yeah, I probably will just use the rest of the bronze arrows and find something else to kill. Honestly, the 1 to 30 grind wasn't even that bad. It only took a few hours. I think it was like 3-4 hours in total, which isn't really terrible to do. I'm like just about done using all of my bronze arrows. And this is the perfect place to actually train ranged, but I keep getting hit. And I want to be able to take as least damage as possible. So I think I'm going to get 10 defense really quick. And then I should be able to just AFK and not 
really take much damage from these dudes at all. All right, I just got 10 defense, but I think I'm just going to use all these runes and get at least 20 defense if I can, because I don't really need to get defense up too much, but the more defense that I have, the better off I am tanking these dudes. I told you it was going to happen. This guy was just sitting here. He's gearing his little count, getting ready for it. Here, get, get attacked by these demons, bro. I know you want to. Get attacked by the demons. Yeah, kill him. Kill him, demon. Kill him. <laughs> of course, I ran out of runes when he has like one HP. <laughs> Am I going to hit him with my eight strength literally ever? We'll find out. All right, it's been a minute. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not happening. Whatever. I'm giving up again. <laughs> I'm going to go get more runes because I really do want to get 20 defense. So I'll just go use all the runes I was going to use on splashing for that instead until I get 20 defense. Dude, look at that. Rune battle axe. That's such a nice elk. Nice little 20k. I mean, like, that doesn't seem like much, but that's like that's a lot for me. That's really good to have. Wait, didn't I get the other part of the key? Yeah, I think I'm a full key now. I'm not sure. There we go. 20 defense. Now we are good to wear the Mystic Boots we have, too. That's going to be really nice because I can tank a lot more stuff. So I'm really close to 61 Mage, so I may as well just bust it out, and then I can go right back to range. There we go. 61 Magic. Now we can just go back to getting our range level up to 40. I have definitely noticed a huge improvement because of this defense. I have just not been getting hit at all, which is really nice because this definitely does take a lot longer than it usually would to train. So it's making the grind a lot nicer because i can just afk for longer amounts of time and not have to worry about anything well i completely missed the level unfortunately but 40 range is finally done that took quite a decent amount of time but that is really nice to get done on this account now i can go and kill revs for loot i can splash it's just good to have 40 range out of the way with this account all right now i'm just gonna sit here and splash oh they hit on me maybe not I don't know. We'll find out. Honestly, <laughs> I might either have to splash here or the wilderness. It depends if these guys can hit on me. I mean, if they can hit on me, I might just go and wait to loot a bunch of better armor. We'll see. Ooh, I just got a maze. I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, obviously. Let me in. Anything good. I could get death runes or something like that. That's actually pretty decent. I actually just got six hour log, but I got 64 magic. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find an iron cut shield as well as a steel plate body. So before I actually go and get the steel plate body and the iron kite shield, I just remembered that I have two emblems and I can go ahead and trade it in. I got 100k points and now I can buy the best in slot hat for me. It's a mystic hat. That's pretty goofy looking to be honest, but it's really good to get. Here we go. There's our steel plate body. Well... Gotta go get another steel plate body. Why do I keep walking that way? It's such a force of habit. I got a mithril full helm. All right, we just looted for like another hour or so. So let's go and uh, sell this stuff to the shop again. Well, one of the bots is selling you short bows to the store, so I mean, it may as well buy that. All right, I think this is going to be the last of my things I sell like I of course still have more but I don't really mind I got 307 K out of that that is such a massive amount of GP I'm gonna go buy a lot more runes and just go and splash them more yeah I'm probably gonna spend like all 300 K on runes to be honest this should seriously be more than enough runes for a long time that took so long to actually get I think I made money on this too technically yeah you technically make money on buying rune packs, but I mean, it's such a small amount that it's not even worth it. So far, I've managed to get 67 mage, and I'm just going to go ahead and continue to get more splash runes, maybe get like 180k, because I need to go make more cash again eventually, so. Alright, I think that this is, again, more than enough for quite a while. Let me just go ahead and fill the last inventory up. Alright, I may as well finish the rest of my Slayer task while I'm at it, so I can use a Zerissian top since if I die, it's really not a big deal. It looks so scuffed, but honestly, it's probably not getting better than this. I'm going to bring a looting bag so I can have a full inventory of food and not have to worry about it. That was actually one drop I wasn't expecting to see, 15 Pure Essence. That's good, because for the second region, I needed to unlock Swamp Letixville. I feel like that will be useful for something. Yeah, 
I'll keep it, because that'll probably be useful for something, to be honest. So, of course, I've been planning out what I'm going to do in Region 2, and uh, one thing I'm not going to be doing is mining Pure Essence, because I just got 60 of them. You only need 50 for the quest. I was really worried I was going to have to do anything that was attached to the skill of runecrafting, but we're good for now. Well, even though I haven't gotten any Mysterious Emblems, and it looks like I'm not going to, at least I got 32 or more Blood Runes, which I obviously need for the end goal and 80 death runes, which is going to be nice for some magic XP. There, there we go. That took a really long time. Hey, extra blood runes. I just got blood runes up here too. 22 blood runes towards it. I got a decent amount of runes from this task, which is always really nice. By the way, I would just like to add that doing this with mine runes is a slow and painful existence. It takes so long. Give me a good task. Oh, why do you keep doing this to me, Crystalia? Do you think this is funny? Because it is not. I'm going to go loot for a few more hours so I can get some more GP. Anything I can get that's stackable and alkable and everything will be good. Bro, what is this guy doing? He has full void out here. You will 100% lose it. Now he's starting to get the idea. <laughs> this guy's literally going to follow me to the edge of the earth? Come on, bro. And there was red dehyde right there. Wow. <laughs> he went for me again. <laughs> Dude, why? I don't even have anything. Like, I do, but, like, not anything that you want. <laughs> yes, my pid. I got an expeditious bracelet. I am really embarrassed. That, and I forgot that there is an iron kite shield that spawns out here. All right, so I want to go and get a lot of mage experience and I want to get it for free. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and loot a full inventory of all of this bot food on the ground. I don't need that. And then I'm going to go and loot those chaos runes again until I have like couple hundred so right by the north rev cave entrance there is a spawn of six chaos runes within level 37 to 39 wilderness by the moss giants so what i'm going to be doing is collecting these chaos runes in the free-to-play worlds until i run out of food i'm just collecting the chaos runes in a free-to-play world because nobody's really going to be out here to pk me and uh this is like the only dude to ever train on Moss Giants in level 40 Wilderness and Free-to-Play. So I actually found something pretty interesting. If you notice, none of the Moss Giants go over to this Chaos Rune. And every few worlds I hop through, the Chaos Rune is not on that spot. And I saw a few level 3s there. So what I'm thinking is that there's level 3 bots that are hopping through the worlds just collecting that one Chaos Rune. I'm going to see if I can kill them on another account. Of course, none of the runes will go to this account. I just want to see if I can get them. Like, see? Right over there. There's not a rune. So I guarantee they're hopping around right now. Got one. Yes, dude. Dead. He's already dead right here. Yep. See, I knew I'd catch him. How many do you have? I have 298. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anybody else. Oh, another one. Another one. That's a one hit already. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I cannot believe I found this by mistake. All right, so I really don't have much food anymore. So I got to go bank this. But I mean, that only took like almost half an hour to get 200. So it's not terrible. I think I'll just do that until like 500 runes overall. Look at this tank gear, bro. No one's messing with this guy. This guy would cannon blast both Swampletics and by release. No doubt in my mind. Well, I have literally tried for the better part of an hour to loot just tuna or some free-to-play food so I can keep doing this in free-to-play, but it uh, didn't happen here. didn't happen in World 8, the free-to-play PKing world, so I'm literally just going to go back and go for a new plan right now. Ooh. Oh, magic logs. Ooh. <laughs> That's decent. I could probably use that for something. Oh. Could probably use that for something eventually. Oh, bracelet of Ethereum! Dude! <laughs> yes! Oh no. That's not good. Yes! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna uh, bail now. I'm gonna go back to my plan. Let's go, go and wait for some more food and then I can just go and get some more chaos runes. The Venezuelan decides to attack? Bro, what? Come on. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> oh, dude. These guys are absolute savages. <gasps> yes. There we go. Caught another one, bro. Only took like another two hours. <laughs> but 
Caught another one. How many? Oh, just 38. This guy could like literally die so easily. I might just try to kill him. Maybe he's like botting or something? There we go. I hit him once. I hit him once. That's it. That's all I needed to do. And now he just needs to die to a moss giant. There we go. He's dead. He's down. That's my drop now. Rune Scimitar, bro. Holy crap. It actually freaking worked. I don't know if he was botting or something because he was there like an hour or two ago. Either way, I just got myself a Rune Scimitar and an Adamant Plate Body and a Power Amulet and 257 Chaos Rune. So we can go and bank now, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. And we made it safely. So now we can actually bank this and be good. How many runes do I have now? Overall, 500 chaos runes. That's exactly what I wanted. So now I can go, go do that task. With our magic level currently at 69, we are at most 40 hours away from 75 magic. Once we actually hit 75 magic, then only one obstacle will be in our way and that is to obtain blood runes. To actually complete Major Arena 2, I am going to need at least 800 blood runes, and they are very hard to come by in the wilderness. Because I need so many, and they are hard to come by naturally, I estimate that it is going to take me anywhere from 30 to 50 hours to collect the amount of blood runes I need, with the assumption that I don't get PK'd. That is going to take a very long time to do. Unless we make a discovery. The blood rune discovery. <laughs> There is only one real obstacle in my way of achieving the Major Arena 2 cape within Region 1, and that's the Blood Rune. Now, there are quite a few ways of actually obtaining Blood Runes within the Wilderness, but the majority of them are heavily luck dependent. I could get them from Ankus, Greater Demons, Chaos Fanatic, Black Dragons, Revs, Blood Vilds if I have the Slayer level, or of course just by looting them too. There is even a spawn of one Blood Rune by Anacarl. I need at least 800 of them to complete Major Arena 2. 600 of them simply being used to unlock the ability to use each spell outside of the mage arena and if i'm lucky only 200 would be needed to kill all three bosses so with this in mind let's finish out 75 magic and test our luck with these blood runes so i have one pair of mystic boots but i'm gonna get another because why not just in case i lose one pair i have the other 70 mage five more levels and we can finally start mage arena 2 and move on to our next region. I'm actually getting a lot more Slayer levels out here than I thought I would. <laughs> so I've collected quite a few Blood Runes just by doing Wilderness Slayer. I think I'm somewhere around 200. And even just to get those Blood Runes, it's taken me at least 20 hours. And that's just for 200 Blood Runes. So while killing NPCs does get me Blood Runes, it is very slow. So I think I'm going to try my hand at looting for a bit and see if I can loot any Blood Runes or just get good loot in general so I can go and finish up 75 Magic. Oh, another bracelet. Ooh, and bolt tips. Cash deck. How much? 11k. Uh, that's actually still good. And clearly Rev Caves is the place to be, dude. This is the solid loot right here. When it comes to actually finding these loots, it could take me anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to actually scout it out. So after a few hours of scouting, I found my first Blood Rune stack, but it got looted. And the Blood Runes were at the top of the stack when there was things like Glories, Rune Crossbows, Black Dehide in there. So it must have been at least a couple hundred Blood Runes to be on top of the stack, and I missed it. Really happy to get another Glory, and there was a decent amount of... Yeah, like I got a decent amount. Oh yeah, and when I'm doing this, people do try to kill me. A lot. Yeah. I win, buddy boy. Oh, another glory. <laughs> Taking that. <gasps> another glory. Another glory, bro. Just edge on in here. Miss the cat, dude. I'm getting like everything I need. Nice. 
Got him. Thank you, Dragon. You have the a Ring of Wealth, too. Yeah, get out, bro. All right. Let's go ahead and sell a bunch of the stuff we have. There's a lot of stuff I have to Alk, too. Can just sell these, like, one at a time, right? Yeah, let me sell them one at a time. I'm hitting login limit, so I'm cool with just selling this amount for now. I got 209k out of that, though. That's a lot of GP, and I still have a lot to elk. I have a decent amount to elk now, so let's go ahead and get everything else out. I think I'm just going to scroll through. Really? I have that much crap in my bank. I have almost 300 items. All right. Yeah, I'll look through and find some good stuff to elk. I feel a little dirty elking these, but I'd rather have the GP than not, to be honest. Plus, after that, I still have, like, seven glory, so... <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Dude, all right, yeah. I think this is enough runes. Let's just finish up buying in this world and then I'll be good. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot to work with for splashing. And I still have 110k left over, which is a really good feeling. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. It took like 30 minutes to buy all those runes. kidding me took me like six minutes from these guys but i finally got another looting bag back so i think we can just walk down and go right back to caves oh whatever they're not gonna get off is this guy literally tr are you kidding me are you absolutely kidding me that he caught that bro there's no freaking way that they're catching that i'm gonna die because of this dude the people at Revs are complete and absolute savages. There's nothing else to say about it. <gasps> Blood runes! Yes! Alright. Absolutely bailing. Absolutely bailing. Let's see how many Blood runes we got. 20? You know what? <laughs> it's literally better than nothing, honestly. Oh, yes! Yes, dude! There we go. That's some loot right there. And then this guy's gonna die, and that's even more loot on top of that. Holy crap! Yeah, so literally none of that was uh, blood runes. But that's still pretty decent. I can't complain with that. Come on, loot up here. I know you want to. <gasps> blood runes! 53 of them! Yes! <laughs> yes, dude! <laughs> Alright. Alright. I legit didn't actually expect it. Oh. Okay. So, 400 blood runes. I'm going to play this safe. I'm going to go ahead and use two of the spells so I can get rid of all of the casts so I only need to get 200 more all right so I need to go and buy the other two stabs anyway so I'll do that right now 80k each is kind of steep for this too it's pretty sad so we already have the Serdom and staff Guthix and Samurak I really hope I'm right about that I'm, I'm, I'm like next to positive though I have the Serdom and staff yeah, see? So I'm going to splash on these guys because I feel like it's probably my safest bet to not get killed by anyone. Because if I never actually kill the dudes I'm splashing on, there's no chance at any point that the dudes can attack me. So I'll do my 100 cast on this guy. There we go. Can now cast Flames of Sammy outside the arena. Now we just have to do Ceradome and Strike and uh, Guthix's Guthix bike. And there we go. Ceradome and, Ceradome and Bad Boy. Oh, wow. Well... Can't win them all, I guess. You know what? It's been a very, very long time of me trying to loot blood runes. And I've had it. I'm going to go ahead and just go to the original plan. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a singular blood rune spawn at Anacarl in level 47 wilderness. With this current method that I have, I am able to hop about 10 times every 5 minutes roughly, which should get me about 10 to 11 blood runes every 5 minutes. The reason why I can't actually loot more blood runes within the 5 minutes is because I keep getting the logout timer within those 5 minutes since the game thinks I'm hopping too much and it's gonna become very cumbersome to just keep logging in and I'll get the too many login attempts message. Getting 10 to 11 blood runes and then logging out and Waiting another five minutes is probably going to be my best method here. And with this method, I will get 132 blood runes every hour. So while it is going to be very tedious and it will take a long time, I should be able to get these blood runes within five to six hours. All right, so that guy... Let me go bank these. Yeah, I'm going to go bank these and I can come back with runes to kill that guy. <laughs> Maybe he has some on him.
Yes. Hell. Yeah, he's an Iron Man, bro. Oh my gosh. Even before he brings another account to come kill me. Yes, I got him. There we go. What do you have? Cannonballs. 670 cannonballs. He had blood runes, but just six of them. Green D-eyed van braces. Sorry, bro. I know you're an Iron Man, but... If it makes you feel any better, it's going to a good cause. So I figured I have a pretty solid plan. Even though it's going to take a long time to get the blood runes, I have a way to get all of the blood runes that I need. It's just going to take a long time. So I walked back up after PKing that Iron Man, and then this guy gets on me. I actually nearly killed him too. He was a level 88. But nonetheless, I died. So I go to walk back up there to see if he left the stuff that he PK'd off of me. Wait, is that a blood run spawn? I guess that is. <gasps> Dude. Is this a better blood run spawn right here? Oh my gosh, I think it is, bro. I think this is... I think we're switching it up. That's gotta be it. I think this is gonna be... Alright. I gotta, uh, I gotta work this up. Finding these three blood runes was a big discovery because this meant that I can collect three blood runes every single world and because I'm gonna be walking between each blood rune, I will never get the logout timer, meaning I can continuously collect the bloods until I have as many as I need. Now there's only one problem that comes along with that. It is in the middle of all of these poison spiders and that's essentially a minefield for me to just keep getting attacked and even die. But luckily we have a solution for that. If if you guys have ever been to rock crabs or sand crabs, then you'll know that after about 10 minutes, you lose your aggro and they will not attack you anymore. So what you have to do in that situation is you run outside of the aggro area for the rock crabs or the sand crabs, and then you run back into it. So it sets a new aggro timer on the rock crabs. We're going to take the same concept and apply it to this situation. The way the NPC aggression timer actually works in this game is you can get chunks of the map all within the same aggro region. So you have to walk around until you have a big enough circle for the area that you want to be affected by the aggro region. After that, it's as simple as sitting and waiting within that area for 10 minutes until the aggro timer on the NPCs runs out. Then, after that, they are no longer aggressive to you, meaning you can move freely within that area with no problems. What? Dude, I would have been so upset if I died. What is Callisto doing down here? I have literally never seen him wandering through these woods. That would have been really bad. He could have one-shot me and he could have knocked me out of my safe zone. <laughs> this is a lot of blood runes and I really don't want to die with them. So I'm going to go bank these and go and get more. So this brings us to 219 blood runes. I can go and cast the others. I'm going to go get another 150 blood runes so I can make sure that I have enough blood runes for the actual boss itself. This is the last of the runes, dude. Unless I get PK'd, this should be the last bit of blood rune looting that I do on this account. And that wasn't even that terrible of a time. I mean, it took two hours, but I expected it to take a lot longer. And overall, I have spent like at least, and I have spent way more time trying to get blood runes at revs or just anywhere. The fact that I came across that method and it only took two hours, I'm happy with that. So overall, how many runes does this put us at? I think it's like 400 plus. Yeah, 430. So we'll have 230 runes to take on Major Arena 2. So before anything, I want to go and not die here. Jeez. I want to go get more GP so I can get runes to splash. All right, now we can go get runes and go use those 200 blood runes so we have all of these spells unlocked. There we are. Every spell is unlocked. That is a big part of this grind done. All that's left to do is get 75 magic and then do Major Arena 2. Oh, that feels so good to be done. 75 magic, and now what we can finally do Major Arena 2. This guy's dead ass stalking me right now. He's gonna come try to kill me. Watch. Watch, he's coming to try to kill me. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I don't even have anything, bro. All right, we can begin. Let us start Mage Arena 2. Yeah, actually, uh, my current cape is fine, so leave me alone.
two more hits. That might just have it right there. Come on. Yes! First boss down. There we go. Demon's heart. Now we just got to get out of here in one piece. Now we can just transport this there safely because we only have two items. And even if we die, we will still keep the demon's heart. Two more bosses to go. I'm getting killed. Oh my gosh. No! No, bro! Oh, I need to go get more blood runes again. Where am I going? Why do I always do this? That should be 62 casts. It only took like 24 minutes. So, round two. go now he's got to get it back safely number two one more and we're done we just gotta get sarah doman and we're done Drop, bro. Just drop. This should be the last hit. <sighs> now we get out. The second we teleport out is the second we're safe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's done. It is done. Oh. Just soak it all in. This is it. 59 combat, 75 magic, 43 prayer, 50 HP. We did it. We have completed region one. Let's imbue this cape. Yes. Oh, it is so satisfying. Oh, I cannot believe we actually were able to do this. Well, it is time. Region one is complete. Region 2 is unlocked, and it is time to progress to our next goal, the Fire Cape. I could see this through, I could wait another night, one more night, one more night. I could fight it through. Till the darkness turns to light One more night, one more night Say it's gonna be okay Cause this winter is so long Feels like it's haunting me Say there's gonna be a change Cause I With Region 2 unlocked, we now have access to Lumbridge, Karamja slash Brimhaven, Tazar City, Crandor, Entrana, Swampletics, and of course, Varrock, with the restriction of no access to the Grand Exchange. And now that we are in Region 2, we have a new goal, achieving the Fire Cape. Achieving the Cape with lower stats is going to be a bit difficult with no access to the Grand Exchange, but of course it is possible with a little bit of planning. 
Now that we have unlocked Region 2, I need to work towards two important goals that greatly increase my chances of taking on the fight caves. Completion of Dragon Slayer as well as 70 ranged. For Dragon Slayer, I'm going to need 32 quest points, which is good since there are enough quests within Region 2 to achieve 32 quest points in total to access the quest. Now, 70 range is going to be a difficult obstacle since it's going to cost quite a decent amount of GP and ammunition, and normally that wouldn't be an issue since I could just train with an Ava's accumulator. But that's just it. I can't. I am able to do the majority of animal magnetism up until the point where you need to obtain a blessed axe from Turiel, who is located in Region 3. And the unfortunate thing about that is I literally only need to go there for about 20 seconds in the quest. But that would mean I have to go into Region 3, which is not allowed. So that leaves us with figuring out an alternative to getting 70 ranged. Well, now that we are finally in Region 2, we may as well just jump right into it and go for 32 quest points so we can get Dragon Slayer done, and then we can get the entire plan in motion. Cook's assistant done for the first quest, because obviously you gotta do that for the first quest. Alright, up next, Black Knight's Fortress. Need this, need that, need a house too, and I need that. I'm gonna be honest, I never knew that you needed 12 quest points to actually start Black Knight's Fortress. Alright, so I'm gonna get a few pickaxes from here. So I need 6 clay and I need 2 iron ore, and a few monsters actually drop them, a few NPCs. One of them is actually dwarves, so uh, let's get killing! You weren't kidding, the, s the first one I kill on the surface. I get an iron ore. One more. There we go. There's our second iron ore. These guys drop it so much. I'm convinced the guys downstairs don't. I killed like 40 of them. Now we just gotta go and mine clay. Alright, that's six clay. Let's go and get Dork's Quest done. Here we go. Dork's Quest done. That's 11 mining. And now we can go and get the Knight's Sword done. Not even like an hour and we're already back to go and get something from the wilderness in Region 1. There is an iron bar spawn up there, and I'm going to need quite a decent amount for a lot of quests coming up, so I think I'm just going to fill up my inventory with iron bars. I think this is actually a popular spot for iron men. They can just come and loot the iron bars right here. You just get one per world. It's very, very nice, honestly. So according to the wiki, which, you know, is literally never wrong, I need 16 iron bars for all of the quests that I'm going to do in this game. And I do eventually have to get a quest cape, so I may as well just get 16 iron bars. I'm sure I'll need more, but as of right now, I'm already here, so I could just go and loot at least 16. Oh, that's 17. Alright, well, we're good. Now we gotta go get an aphrodisiac for dwarves. Red berry pie. I gotta make some red berry pie, so I just got 10 cooking for that, but I'm just gonna get a few more levels anyway. I think I want to get, like... 10, 15 fishing. 10 fishing. All right, 15 cooking. Dude, I didn't remember this process taking like a legitimate hour, but it took so long to get literally just 10 fishing and 15 cooking. I didn't think it would take this long. Extra! Oh, come on. Both of them burnt? Please don't burn this. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can actually start this quest like an hour later. Hey, what you doing in there, Thurgo? 29 smithing right off the bat. Really nice. Romeo and Juliet done. That's Rune Mysteries done. That's the Restless Ghost done. Hmm. Why do none of these guys want 10 mil? Okay, no problem. Here we go. Sheep shear. One more quest and I can go do the other quest. And then I can do more quests. <laughs> I feel like I should buy this anyway since I'm eventually going to need to do herb lore. So, may as well unlock it for now. Which is potion. Alright, now we can finally go do Black Knight's Fortress. Black Knight's Fortress done. That's three quest points. That's super nice. Let's go do Demon Slayer now. I gotta say, this is quite the fight. I haven't, uh, haven't even hit him once yet. Ah, never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh, that was literally the longest fight in the world. I'm not even kidding. That was a that was a three minute fight. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> that was so bad. May as well get Gertrude's cat done too. Yeah, look at that cat, dude. That is an HD cat right there. That's goblin diplomacy done. Now I have a big quest that I need to get done, but before that, I need to get the requirements for it. The quest is the lost tribe, and for that quest, I need thirteen agility, thirteen thieving, seventeen mining. That's fine and everything, but in my region, there are very, very few ways to get agility. In fact, I believe there's only one way to get that, and that is the agility course on Brimhaven. So it's going to absolutely suck because I have one agility, but in theory, we should be able to get this done. So the nice thing about doing agility here, and just in general, I have an unlimited supply of food I could just keep buying from this shop. This should be a really good source of food for a long time. So now the moment of truth. Can we actually get in here with one agility? Guess we can. 
It wouldn't let us in if we had one agility, right? I think the best one to go and find would just be this wall right here. I can just keep climbing over the low wall. How much XP does this get every time? Eight. Oh, absolutely gonna just keep doing this then. <laughs> I have to do this till level 10. That's fine. I guess I'll grind this out until level 10. We'll see how long that takes. Well, you can stumble on this, but I guess it doesn't hurt you, so... I didn't need to get the food. I'm getting like 3k XP average an hour, so I don't think it's going to be longer than like half an hour for this. Not a terribly long grind. 10 agility already. Now that we have 10 agility, we can do the Draenor agility course, which is really nice. But before that, I want to go and use this shop right here with the food to its full potential. So I'm going to buy out maybe four inventories of food and i can just use the bank in the tazara city so i'll do that for four inventories all right now with that out of the way we can go and get 13 agility then 13 thieving then 17 mining it shouldn't be terrible i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't even realize i got 13 agility until right now now that i have 14 agility <laughs> all right uh up next 13 thieving so we can just pickpocket this bad boy right here all right now we can upgrade to t stalls but i also need five attack for uh, steel pickaxe for mining, so. I'm gonna kill this guy now. Eh, never mind. You're good, you can live, bro. Hey, once more, didn't even realize it. 13 mining. I meant thieving. Now for mining, though, for real. 17 mining. Now we can finally go and start the Lost Tribe. I'm gonna be honest, this guy is absolutely just bending me over for this freaking candle, but I need it, and I think this is the only candle you can get in the area. So we'll just kinda deal with it. <laughs> Let's go get this done now. I also could've just stolen it from this church on Entrana, but, uh, I mean... Too late now, I guess. So a problem I mentioned earlier, I do not have access to AV's accumulators, so I really only have one option for range ammunition, and that is cheap ammunition. And the cheapest ammunition that I'm going to be able to get in a plentiful amount is bone bolts, as well as the Dorgish and crossbow. And to actually get access to those, I am going to need to complete the Lost Tribe. So even though it's going to make range training really slow, at least it solves the issue of getting ammunition for ranged. One thing I find funny about this quest is if you click on the mini map, it will just automatically bring you to the correct path. Like I could walk right there, but it would be a booby trap. So it's not having me go through there. Instead, it's just bringing me on the correct path the entire time. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's what you can do. Lost tribe done. That is a really good quest to get done. Now I have access to the shop. They sell Dorgish and crossbows as well as bone bolt packs. All right, that should be more than enough for a long time. Let's go and get the rest of the quest done for now. I know it's really random, but looking at this room fully zoomed out, kind of weird. Vampire Slayer done. Oh, I got 21 attack now. That's actually really good. Good quest to get done. Now I've unlocked a training spot. I'm not going to go for it right now, though, because I still need to get Dragon Slayer 2 done. Dragon Slayer 1. Dragon Slayer. That one. Dude, I did not know that they sell to this store, too. What the heck? I guess it's the safer alternative. One more quest point is all I need. Here we go. Now we can go and start Dragon Slayer. Without crafting leather, this has to be like the slowest way to train crafting in the world. I finally got the level I need. It's only eight, so it's not that bad, but I didn't realize how slow it was to actually train crafting in free to play. Do these guys have planks? Oh no. I'll just get 90 steel nails and then I have a little method to getting planks. Oh, there's actually someone there. Bro, no freaking way. No way, what? <laughs> What's the likelihood, bro? <laughs> All right, let's go to another world. We should be good after this, but like, what's the freaking chances? <laughs> so yeah, here's one plank, although I think there's a, a spawn of them, like three of them on the other side. So like, I wouldn't even go for that. Yeah, one, two. Oh, I guess it's just two. Oh, well, there you go, that works. Oh no, three, I was right. All right, there we go. That's the three planks I need for the ship. So to get a piece of silk, there is literally only one place that I can get it, and I can only get it from Thessalia. The other place that you would end up getting it is the Alcarid silk stall for three GP, but I don't have access to that, so it's really good that I was able to get the silk from her. Oh, I got a range level doing this. That's kind of cool. Bro, if this guy thinks I'm giving him 10k, he has another thing coming. Either you kill this guy or you give him 10k, but I think Jimmy said it best. Here's the deal. You ask for for 10,000 coins from an Iron Man, you, you get hurt. Oh, no. I don't have an anti-shield. <laughs> I just forgot about that. Oh, okay. That didn't happen. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to try that one again. <laughs> Round two. 43 range dominates. Elvark didn't even know who she was messing with before she came to me, bro. She? He? 
Either way, I'm ripping off our goddamn head. What defense is this gonna get us? 35 defense. Now we just need five more levels and we are good. I got 33 strength from that too, dude. Now comes a big part of the grind. I'm gonna be training my defense to 40 and then my ranged to 70. Luckily, we looted at least nine Venezuelan sets right here, so we're good. Well, this is us until 40 defense and then until 70 range. And this is where we're going to be training for the next, I don't know how long, in Swampletixville. One important thing to note is that I can at some point start the Creature of Fankenstream quest and go down to the experiment spot and train there. It's a pretty good training spot, but this one is AFK. So that is why I opted to choose this spot. <laughs> Pretty important milestone. 40 defense. Now we look uh, even dumber, to be honest. But you're looking at our best gear for a while. Hopefully 70 range doesn't take too long. I have to go buy more bone bolts. I have like none, 56 range from that. And 54 HP though, so. I might have to alk some stuff too, so I can actually afford it. All right, so I still have a decent amount of cash, so I can just go and outright buy the bone bolts as is. But I still wanna alk some stuff. Honestly, I'm not even gonna need these stabs, and they both alk for 60K. So I get 60K out of the 80K investment back in both of those. Honestly, I think that's good for now. Let's just alk all that. Oh, let's not alk that. Never mind. Probably should have checked the alk price beforehand. 60K. Oh, not even, bro? Thought I would get 60K. I guess it's close enough. I'm gonna go sell some of these Revenant Ether. I wanna get more cash out of it. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm gonna be done selling these for now, but. I'm gonna go try and see if I can get that girl PK'd. I really hope I'm able to get this. <laughs> if she's AFK, I'll be able to get it. <sighs> well, I tried. Yeah, we're gonna take like 80k for now. This should be enough for at least 60 something range. All right, last world. So now we have 18,900. That is more than I expected it would be. That really should last me a decent amount of time. I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm gonna I'm a call, uh, I'm calling it 66 range. This will get us to at least. By the way, something I just realized is I showed the wrong version of the map in episode one. Uh, you can always check the description to see the correct version of the map. I used the correct version since then, but I just realized that right now. My bad. <laughs> Well, that was just like a day later. Finally got 60 range. I'm gonna get 56 HP. Here we are, 56 HP. Now that we have laid the groundwork for our Region 2 plan, we are able to move on to the next part of that plan. We need to come up with a good method of getting powerful ammunition to actually take on the fight caves, and there aren't really that many options within Region 2 that we realistically have. And when it comes to this plan, I really don't want it to be RNG dependent either, so I think I figured out what I can do. So in order to defeat Jad, I needed a plan on how I could acquire good ammo to use against him in the fight caves. I wanted this plan to have no RNG element to it, and I wanted the ammo that I could use to be plentiful. And a few of you guys kind of managed to guess that plan correctly. And there was also this dude who overcomplicated the hell out of it, but he was kind of right too, I guess. This is the plan. We are going to do Slayer until level 55 in order to unlock the ability to equip Rod Bolts and make them in case I am not able to defeat Jad on the first go and need extra bolts. So we will need 55 Fletching too. 
The only unfortunate part about this is that we need to do it all through Wilderness Slayer, which is incredibly slow. On average, it's about 2-4k to 4K Slayer experience an hour for me, since I don't have the best gear and I don't have the best stats. This means that I'll have to spend roughly 40-60 to 60 hours doing Wilderness Slayer to reach our goal. The reason why I can't do regular Slayer is if I get a task that is outside of Region 1 or Region 2, I am not able to do it and this plan is busted. That's why we need to do Wilderness Slayer. Yep, garbage task, 96 greater demons, but, ooh, we can do that. Are you kidding me? He is, like, right there. He's literally right there, and I can't go and do it. Ugh. Just in case I die, I want to go and get more green dehyde. I already have one of these bad boys, so I can just go get another green dehyde top. 39 Slayer to start. 40 Slayer. These lower levels are really satisfying. There's something about playing like a snowflake that really makes getting all these stats a lot more satisfying overall. Like 40 Slayer actually feels like an achievement. Hey, finally got a Mysterious Emblem. That is my cue to go bank, even though I'm literally 200 range XP away. Even though these tasks take a couple hours each to complete, it's really nice to get the Alks. So we got 35k from that trip. Pretty decent. And there it is. A very important milestone to hit 61 range. Hey, you actually got a hard clue scroll. Is that doable? Oh, no. Not even a little bit. 41 Slayer. Bro, are you kidding me? Bro, no freaking way. Yo, am I actually getting clanned right now by like the weirdest clan ever? What? Come on, bro. And I need to get a prayer pot, I bet. <laughs> he just DDS his friend, bro. Well, enjoy your nothing. Framed? Framed. Yep. Framed. <laughs> How much you want to bet they looted literally all of it? It's like snakeskin and green dehyde. Like, I get, like, the bone bolts, but, like, how much you want to bet they took all of it? They left the bone bo What? You guys took the wrong things. Okay, they took the snakeskin bandana and the green dehyde van braces and... <laughs> The only thing that costs anything, they dropped. <laughs> I don't get people, bro. I really don't. All right. We're good. Another three or four hour task done, finally. Only one death. That's actually not terrible. Thank goodness, dude. Second kill, and I get the looting bag back. 42 Slayer. 62 range. 57 HP. That's another task done. Let's go get another task. Oh, yeah, another decent task. I'm gonna go stock up on food again. All right, that should be enough. Yeah, we have quite a decent amount of food. Another task done. Next task. Oh, come on! 43 Slayer. Oh, God. Dude, why are people PKing here now? They never used to PK here. 63 range. I think I'm gonna go bank after this. I don't really like the way this guy is eyeing me down. So, in Alks, we have a decent amount, dude. We walked away with 15k, plus these are all gonna be decent Alks as well. Even though this is one of the slowest tasks in the world, it is good for money. 44 Slayer. 58 HP. 45 Slayer. 64 ranged. Finally, another Slayer task done. I mean, at this point, it's only like a couple hours, which it's not terrible. I need more because of ranged all right more elks and more cash tail i'm gonna go and elk the rest of the adamant stuff i got should get like 20 something k from this yeah 27k never hire me to be your accountant all right give me a good task yeah pretty good hey finally got a mysterious emblem again oh i guess i can do this oh i can't even do this anyway i have to go to shanty pass another task done let's go get a new one. Oh yes that's actually a really good task now i can get my prayer up that's really nice that is, thank you, Cristelia. You are a beautiful boy. Well, got attacked, but should have banked anyway. 46 Slayer. Hmm. I'm going to run this guy out of food. I can guarantee it. Yep. I told you. Now that I'm done with this task, I'm going to go and use all the bones I have on prayer on the altar. Oh my gosh. I am getting so lucky this trip. Dude, I have gotten so lucky this trip. 46 prayer from that. Oh, crap. 47 prayer. 48 prayer. 49 prayer. Eh. Yeah, again, it's okay. Finally got another mysterious emblem. Dude, it makes me so happy to see one of these things. 65 range. Hey, I got another one. Oh my gosh, that feels so good, man. I really freaking love that. That's going to be the end of the task right here anyway. I also have 275 Slayer points in total. If we can get something like an ends task, that'd be really good for the HP. Fire Giants. That's actually really good, I think. That could be a really good task. 47 Slayer. Yes, bro. Another Mysterious Emblem. 59 HP. Ew. Bro, I always get a little smile on my face every time I see that freaking drop. 48 Slayer. 66 ranged. That's another task done. I kind of hope I get this one again. This is a really good task. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This dude just comes out of nowhere and specs me. What are you trying here, bro? <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> I swear, these guys are everywhere, just not knowing how to PK for the for anything. Yeah. I got another one. <laughs> 49 Slayer. All right, another task. Uh, hmm. Bro, what is my luck with this? I'm just getting so lucky with these emblems, left and right. Another task. What's our next task going to be? 132 ice giants. I'm not getting lucky with these things. 60 HP. 67 range. Getting really close. Three more. For real, bro. 50 Slayer. Five more to go. That is another task done. I have a feeling once I actually progress from region two and I'm able to move on to region three, that I'll be able to get a Slayer helmet very fast due to the amount of points I am getting from Wilderness Slayer alone. I have never done Wilderness Slayer this early on an account. All right, give us another. 80 Scorpion. Okay. Uh, so, I actually want to try to kill one of these guys, to be honest. <laughs> Keep seeing them run by. Probably not this dude. I'll probably go for someone else. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> I actually got him. <laughs> well, look at that. Another glory. A rune pickaxe and a glory. Alright, let's suicide and go do our task. Well, while I'm here, I may as well go and get more bone bolts. Get like 40k of work. I should get close to 10k from this. Yeah, pretty decent. 9300. I forget what the benefit of this random event is, so... I guess I'll do it. I think this is the prison idea. Ooh. That's pretty okay. The only unfortunate thing about pulling this lever is I'm not able to pull it again to get back to Edgeville, so I have to go to the Mage Bank to be able to get back. Since whenever I do pull that lever, it will bring me to Ardoin, and I am not allowed in Ardoin. So I have a Scorpion task, and a really fast way to get this Scorpion task done if you just want the points is to go inside Scorpia's lair and kill all the level ones. They literally all just have one HP. It goes by very fast. And there we go. Task done just like that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, finally got another emblem. Feels good. Bro, what is this pathing legit? That was the worst thing ever, to be honest. That was bad. Bro, I'm being attacked by a 110? How? Alright, see ya man. They're not gonna be attacked by a 110, bro. I guess I could be attacked by him until level 42. 68 range. Task completed. Next task. 51 Slayer. We are getting closer and closer to the goal of 55 Slayer. This grind is so much longer since I have to use this gear and I have to do just Wilderness Slayer. Hey, look at that. Another mysterious emblem. Got an emblem and I already got 20k, but I got a nice 10k alk from it too. I honestly couldn't decide before if I like this task, but I think I do since you get decent drops like mysterious emblems. You can get a rune scimitar. You can get alkables. You can get runes. And generally speaking, even though the task is long, you get anywhere from like 10 to 15k experience in Slayer every time. Are you kidding me, bro? I literally got back-to-back -back emblems. Legit. That was actual back-to-back -back emblems right there. This is a little bit weird of a milestone, but 50 prayer. Bro, you for real? What a bully, bro. What a straight-up bully. Look at that, bro. I did not expect to get a rune scimitar at all. Bro, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll get away. Thank you. Yep, all right, I'll just wait a little bit. Six plus one is seven. Does anyone else want to tell me why this green dragon bot is at the fire giants? Because I have no clue. 52 Slayer. Th oh, that's a nice little 52 Slayer congratulations gift. Three more to go, man. Three more to go. Too slow, bro. Way too slow. I get a little smile on my face every time I see one of these, man. Really long task, but the Slayer XP is decent and the drops I get are really good. This is the most amount of drops I have gotten from any Slayer task. So this guy works in a museum and he needs help identifying all of the things in here when the scout hasn't even explored like a 20th of the map. Yet he needs my help when he's the historian down here. Oh, never mind. Thousand. Good, man. Good. It doesn't seem like much. And aside from getting Nine Hunter, it actually saves me about 20 minutes of time for Slayer. And that doesn't seem like much, but that means a lot to me that I got that done. Even though I like that task, don't want it again. Ice Giants? No. See, I have enough points to actually skip tasks now, so I think I'm going to, because I really don't want to do them. With about 50 hours of progress put into this video and roughly 15 more to go, we are finally able to take on the fight caves in the next video.
Bro, what? Thank you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Glory 5. That's really good to have. I attacked that guy before, and he just completely walked by me, so... Either he's just really not paying attention at all, or maybe he's botting. I'm not sure. I was trying to kill Runecrafters so I can get a few charged glories, but I ran into this guy who kept trying to kill the Runecrafters himself. I fought him quite a few times, but I ended up not killing him, and it was a waste of supplies. You see, these Slayer tasks are really nice for you guys, because you get to watch them be over in like five seconds, but it takes me like three or four hours every task to do. But we're so close to 55 Slayer anyway, so I'm just pushing for it. Nice. Another Mysterious Emblem. We are getting so close man two more to go 62 prayer wait no why do i keep doing that i got a rune full helm from this which uh i actually really needed for jad so thanks guys another task done decent amount of gp from that overall too see this is why you sit there and actually loot i have never actually done this before until this account but I got about 30k almost in just raw cash, just from looting that. Plus, this is all a bunch of decent alks too. I think we're going to stay here until I actually hit 70 though. Because I really want to get 70 range before I do my next Slayer task. Since Black Dead is so much better anyway. And I'm just so close. I really want to get 70 range so badly. That's such a big milestone for this account. So I really just want to get that out of the way. Guess who spoke way too soon. Yeah, well he's not going to kill me so. I think we're okay. Yep. We're fine. Alright, well, I'll just go train in another spot then. There we are. 70 ranged. Finally freaking hit it. I almost just missed that. Look at the difference in this armor though. Right? Look at the defense difference. That is huge, dude. The magic bonus alone goes from 38 to 94. Tell me. Tell me that's not the most broken thing in the world. Plus, just the difference in... It, it just looks so good. I'm so happy to be able to use this. You have no idea. Anyway, what is the task we're getting? 13 black dragons? Eh, it's not really worth it. I mean, it's a fast task, but it's not really worth it, man. Smork. Nice points task. I got one mysterious emblem from that too. So I'll go get another task and then I need to go and get more food again from the Karamja store. All right. Again, I, I like those tasks. I'll take it. I think I'll be able to get 55 Slayer within like the next 10 hours. Come on, one more hit. Yes! Dude, yes! There we go. Glory. Oh, I thought he had a freaking rune chain body. I'm so dumb. Whatever, that's still really good to get. That's still really nice. It's another glory, a glory too. See, I feel like that's still good though. I feel like I might need those items and it might not be easy to come by them. I'm not sure when I'm actually going to go for my Alks, but for now I'm going to use 60k on all the food. I don't think I'm going to get any more tuna for now. I have a decent amount of it. You know, that should actually be enough. I have... Yeah, that, that's more than enough food. All right, we can go get the task done now. A little insight, by the way, for why I actually am wearing an anti-dragon fire shield is because a lot of people PKing in the wilderness use rune crossbows and dragonstone bolts since they're so cheap. Normally, those bolts have a decent chance to use their special and hit very high on me, but because I have an anti-dragon shield, that's just not possible, so I can't really get KO'd out of nowhere by anybody. So while it really isn't much in the way of defense bonus, it's very good against PKers with rune crossbows and all. Bro, what? And there's two guys in here. Wow. Yep. <sighs> Guess there's PK still here. <laughs> you know, that hurt too much. I'm just gonna go bank really quick. Too much food gone and poisoned, so it's just gonna keep running me out of food. Look at that, bro. The second kill back here, and I got a rune scimitar. That's so nice, bro. Wish I could put that in the bag, but then I'd lose it right away, so I'm keeping it in the inventory. Dude, I'm just getting all the drops I need right now. Bro, another rune scimitar. <laughs> yes! Again, this is the best task. You can't convince me otherwise. 54 Slayer. We are one level away. Oh yeah, I also got a rune bar like half an hour ago. Figured it wasn't really worth mentioning it, but I guess maybe it is. Bro. And that's how you get away, because you don't want to lose this aggro. <laughs> that ain't bad, man. That ain't bad. Although, I have to do another 23 of these, so... 
Hope I don't die. Here we go. Probably the last fire giant's task that we need at all. Unless we get another one, but I really don't want to do another one. So I'm, I'm really considering just skipping it, to be honest. Let's go get, hopefully, our final task. Because we only have 7k Slayer experience left. Uh, why is there so many runecrafters in this world? I swear, <laughs> I saw like 10 of them just run out. Assignment. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good last assignment. That's really safe, actually. I'm good with that. I'm good with that being my last assignment. We have 565 points. Bro, what's this guy doing in my spot? Yeah, that's right, bro. It's my spot. I'll be honest. I was not expecting to get a range level during this. But I'm not going to argue. This is going to be the last level we get before 55 Slayer. We're very close. Here it is. Oh, finally. Finally, bro. 45 hours of Wilderness Slayer later. We are finally done with Slayer. And that actually sets us up nicely for Region 3 as well, since we're going to need to do Monkey Madness 2. At this point, we only need like 14 more levels in Slayer. But we got a lot of decent points from this. We got 71 range from this. That just took such an incredibly long amount of time. And I don't even want to do the task anymore. I'm done doing Wilderness Slayer for now in this region. I'm just going to be done doing Slayer overall in this region. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the task now. So now we need to go with the next phase of the plan. We need to go and get 55 fletching. Once more for broad bolts. Let's see what we've gotten from that overall. I have a lot of stuff I can go in elk. And I have a decent amount of loop halves of keys, I think, too. Yeah, look at this. I got five rune scimitars from that. Of course, I don't need five, though, so I may as well just alk those. I got 15 mysterious emblems from it. I have another idea, too. I kind of want to treat myself here, and I want to get a mystic top and a mystic bottom. That is going to be 500,000 points, though. That's going to be 10 mysterious emblems. We're doing it. I don't even mind. As of right now, these emblems are kind of worthless anyway. Boom. 500,000 points. And now we have full Mystic, bro. What? Why am I? Oh, dude, I can't do math. Or can I? Oh, no, I definitely can't do math. There we are. Now look at us. Oh, that looks so stupid. <laughs> Let me go get the cape. This kid definitely just grabbed his mom's credit card and bought like 50 bonds and then got this outfit, to be honest. But it looks so good. I know it looks like stupid overall, but I love the look of this. This is so cute looking. <laughs> anyway, let's go and elk all of this stuff. This should get us a decent amount of elks. There we are. 124k cash from that. So I'm going to actually need to probably spend all of this. I just have to buy the unfinished bolt packs. 1,000. Oh, crap. I did not mean to get another Slayer task. There we are. 2,700. Now, the long grind of getting 55 fletching. So I could just keep grabbing the four log spawns here and then hopping around worlds. But I'm not going to do that since I want to get wood cutting up as well. So instead, I'm going to chop down trees, then put feathers on all of the arrows to make headless arrows. freaking kidding me i got a magic seed from a freaking bird nest now all that's left to do is to actually make the broad bolts all right one carpal tunnel later <laughs> finally got the bolts done so let's see what our current fire caping gear is looking like Welp, this is us with 40 defense 71 ranged 63 hp we're going into <laughs> the fight caves like this this is the best kite shield that i have as well this is literally all of my supplies. I'm going to have to go get more if I do run out. And I will need to get more GP for more broad bolts if I don't actually get this attempt. So getting this on the first try is a pretty big deal. And I also have a ring of wealth for luck. I mean, it does nothing, but you know, I have it. All right, let's do this.
I'm not gonna go do it again. I'm s that was so stupid of me. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not gonna type the jad anymore, to be honest. Uh, is this fishing? No, it's not. Oh my gosh. We have enough uh, supplies to do that again, but uh, just one more time. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's not do that again. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I messed that up last time. That made me so nervous for this time, man. But it is done. Region 2 is completed. We have gotten the fire cape. Region 3 is finally unlocked. And with that region is going to come a whole new ball game of challenges. But for now, let's just be happy that we got the fire cape. I see how the tables turn I swear I will never learn That this life on oh, It kills fire on oh, And I know that you'll get by Yeah, I know that you'll be fine With that life on oh, I'll die down on oh. Region 3 is going to most likely be the region that I spend the longest amount of time in, and while I have unlocked a good portion of the map, I still do not have access to some of the best training methods, money makers, and some bosses, as well as not having access to the best in slot helmets from the Fremenic quest line. Now the goal of Region 3 is to complete Monkey Madness 2, which will not be an easy task. To even get access to this quest, I will have to achieve 55 agility, 55 thieving, 60 fire making, and 60 hunter, which honestly shouldn't be that hard, but two stats that will be hard to achieve are 69 slayer and 70 crafting two levels that will be very difficult to get without access to the grand exchange and region 4 housing some of the best training methods for those stats in particular which i of course do not have access to now with that being said i also decided to change something about region 4 Originally, once I unlocked the fourth region, I would have access to the Grand Exchange, but after thinking about it for a long time, I decided that it would be way too easy to give myself access to the Grand Exchange in that region. So, I decided that I'm pushing back the Grand Exchange unlock until region 5, meaning that I will only be able to access the Grand Exchange once I have entered and unlocked the fifth region. Now, let's get into region 3. Now that we have unlocked Region 3, there is a lot to do. I have so many quests ahead of me, so many requirements that are just going to be ridiculous, like 70 crafting. That is going to be very hard to do without a Grand Exchange. And I know, Iron Men do this all the time, but uh, Iron Men aren't real people, so we're not going to take their opinions into account. So what we're going to do first is go and get the Grand Tree as well as Tree Gnome Village done. I just want to get those quests out of the way, and then we can also go and get ourselves an Ava's Accumulator. I I really wanted that, but I could not get that in Region 2. So now, Region 3, we finally have access to that. And the silly thing was, it was only because one part of the quest was not in Region 2, and that was this part of the quest right here. Otherwise, I could have had that Ava's in Region 2, and I wouldn't have had to go for 55 Slayer, 55 Fletching and everything. But it's very good that I did, because now I have a lot more unlocked with the account. And the 69 Slayer goal of Monkey Madness 2 is well on the way with 55 Slayer. Very glad that's done. I figured I'd get 25 Agility in the Grand Tree, or Tree Gnome, Tree, tree Bill, uh, but I didn't, because it was a slow and painful existence. Oh god. 
I'm gonna have to pick flax on this account at some point, aren't I? You know, since I'm over here, I may as well start this quest too and get this one done after the next. Here we are. That is Tree Gnome Village done. That should be a bunch of free attack experience. I'm probably gonna get most of my base starter levels from these quests. So you might be sitting here thinking to yourself, oh, there's uh, two general Kazards. So, you know, are you gonna have to fight two? Uh, no, you'd be wrong. I don't have to fight two. I have to fight a million of them. So, <laughs> I think I found a glitch. Are they all gonna attack me? Okay, only one of them attacks me. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I didn't even mean to do this. I just kept clicking on the door because I wanted to leave. Because you don't actually have to fight this guy. And I made a million of them. There we are. That quest is done now. That gets us some nice thieving XP. That's... That's real good. Does anybody ever try to persuade this guy to give them the lumber order? Or do you just kill him like I do? I feel like that's always the easiest way to do it. That's the grand tree done. And I really don't think that I should go any more time without getting an Ava's accumulator. But first, I really don't want to pay 10 GP to keep going in and out of Alcarid. So let's go get Prince Alley Rescue done. If you've ever just walked around and talked to the NPCs, you would realize that you can ask this guy to just kill his warriors. And he just goes, yeah. I don't really care about him. This game, man. There, now that that's out of the way, let's go get animaltism done. Something I'm just now realizing is 19 crafting is probably going to take a decent amount of time since I have to go and kill all these cows myself, get all the cow hide, turn it to leather, and then go and craft everything. I can imagine this taking up to an hour, to be honest. You know, I probably should just go and pick flax. I'll just go and do that. <laughs> even though it literally doesn't even get newbier than this, it's probably a lot faster experience to just do this to 19. Remember just coming home from school, running onto the computer just to go and pick flax for like six hours just to turn them into bowstring to sell them for like 100 GP each or something. Now those were the days, bro. There we are, 19. Can't even lie, this is quite the process to do this. There we are. Thanks, buddy boy. I had to make all those iron bars, then I? Eh, not a big deal. I'll go get some more. Ooh. I might try to go kill that guy. Yeah, why not? Maybe he's AFK. Is he AFK or something? I don't get it. Stop. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> get ourselves some iron bars. Let's go get leather now. There we are. 12 years later. Finally got buttons. And this is literally the one part I needed for this quest, which I couldn't do because it was outside of the region. There we are. Animal magnetism done. That is big for me. 60 wood cutting. So now we have to go get uh, so many more quests done. There's there's a lot of quests, and I have to collect all the supplies myself. <sighs> so before I continue doing quests, I want to go get a decent amount of GP. So I am going to go utilize a method that I really did not utilize in Region 1. So I'm going to go and collect the Steel Plate Body Spawn at this spot and alk it through every single world. I'll get 1.2k every single alk. Alright, there we go. Now, full inventory. Oh, I guess I could get one more. Someone else is hopping through these worlds too, so I'm not getting all the steel plate bodies that I can. So I'm going to come back one more time, and I'm going to bring some gear to PK. I'm going to see if I can catch that guy who was doing this. I want to see how much this guy would actually buy steel plate bodies for, because apparently in specialty shops, they buy it for a higher amount. They buy it for the actual elk price. Wow. He buys it for elk price. He's collecting steel plate bodies, so, I mean, that's worth it in and of itself. He's dead. Yep. It's for the plate bodies. Sad. Coins. This is not nothing, my man. Look at all these steel plate bodies as well. This is definitely not nothing. How much is that? Yeah, 22k overall. Yeah, there's no way that's not nothing. So I do feel bad, but I need the stuff too, so I'm gonna kill him for it. I left everything else for him, so if he wants to go get that stuff, he can. Here we go. Just sold all my plate bodies. Let's see how much cash we have now. Let's see what the stack's looking like. 221k. That's looking a little bit better. All right, now we can go back to the quest grind now that we have a decent amount of cash again. Slowly but surely, I need to get myself the stats for Monkey Madness 2, and one of those stats is going to be 55 agility. That is the first thing that I want to work out, but first, what I'm going to do is complete Temple of Icob so I can get the Boots of Lightness so I can make agility a little bit better. But first, I need to do Temple of Icob for that. And first, I need to get 20 Limpwort Roots and then 42 Thieving. Everything is just a process with this. I don't have a key. I was literally just thinking to myself, I have not actually gotten a giant key yet. And it's been like an hour. And then I get a freaking giant key. I guess I get to do that after. Maybe I'll get a rune item, which will be really nice. Pfft. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> well, that works. That's literally why I went in here. I was like, oh, I couldn't get limport roots from this. There we go. That's that's that done. Probably would prefer a rune item, but that's cool too, I guess. Oh. Huh. I've never had it where I've only kind of completed the quest. That's cool. Hey, look at that. I got an extra five coins out of it. Plus, I got 22 thieving. That's why I was really doing this, to be honest. Since it's productive to the overall goal of getting a quest cape, which isn't going to be for a long time, I think doing as many quests as I can to get XP will probably be in my best interest. So that's Tribal Totem done. 26 from that. This is probably the best general store in the game for me, to be honest. So while this quest doesn't give me any thieving XP, it does help me unlock the Ardoin teleport, and I can also go and start Biohazard, which does give me thieving XP, and I need that quest eventually anyway. Yeah, I just found out that apparently you could just go ahead and get two of everything, and then just walk right by the guard, and he'll only take the first set of everything. So I could have just done that the whole time too, I guess. Oh, look at that, 28 thieving. There we are, 30 thieving. Now we can go and start the feud. All right, there we go. This should get me 15k which would be 37 thieving that's super nice a nice little mechanic that i'm using here to get 42 thieving is i have the town crier right next to me you talk to him once and then you can just go and continue pickpocketing or stealing from the cake stalls as long as you don't move he should never move himself so these guards can't ever catch me in the act i mean they can but like they can't do anything about it there we are 42 thieving. Now we can go and start Temple of Ikov. Like, I'm not gonna kill this guy the second I get the chance to. So, have you gotten the Staff of Armadale yet? <laughs> Dude, you suck. Ooh. Yeah, I just realized. Why don't I just do Taurus Trap and get a bunch of free agility XP like that? Alright, here we are. Now we should get the choice for agility. Yeah, because really, out of all these things, I prefer agility the most. It's the slowest. Yeah, that's real solid to get 36 from that. That was definitely worth the time. Plus, I had to get the quest done anyway. Listen, I'm not normally one to throw around the term macro-efficient, but I'm being pretty macro-efficient right now. I'm going to get a bunch of quests done, because I need to get these quests done anyway, and then I am going to get the agility experience from these quests. I'm even going to do one small favor, just so I don't have to click around a course for a million different times to get agility. Because the early agility levels freaking suck, and I may as well get these quests done anyway, since I eventually need to do all of them. Yeah, this is definitely a process to get 10 trouts. Uh, I just realized I forgot a tinderbox, though, so... Let's go get one more and hopefully not burn them. Oh my gosh, I think I got it exactly. Yeah, I needed one iron bar for this quest, so uh, I got 24 of them. Give. Wait, give. That's Death Plateau done. Now we can move up the mountain and get more quests done. Look at this freaking dude. He's just trying to sit there with a big log trying to beat me like my real dad. That's Troll Stronghold done. Now on to Troll Romance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, is there an uncut sapphire spawn up here? I mean, <laughs> that could actually be decent. It literally is, bro. I have literally never known there to be an uncut sapphire spawn up here. There we go. Troll stronghold or troll, troll love done. Now we have to go and do one small favor, but before that we have to do four quests or three. Maybe, maybe just three. While I'm here, I may as well use all the gems I have. Ah. All right, well, I got 24 out of it then. Wow, it actually turns out that I'm going to need 25 crafting and 30 smithing anyway, so I may as well go get that. There we are, 25 crafting. There we are, 30 smithing. I was just going to go buy coal, but I completely forgot that I got coal from Revs a while ago. There we are, Druidic Ritual done. Oh, oh, what's this? All right, so now we go and get Shiloh Village done. Did I say Shiloh Village? I meant Jungle Potion, and I didn't mean to lie when I said uh, Shiloh Village. Uh, actually, I'm telling the truth of this. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, this quest is normally like, what, five minutes? Nah, took me like half an hour because I wanted to make sure that I have an extra one of these things for any future quests. I'm not sure if I actually need them for future quests or not, but... Yeah, I want to make sure I did. So we have a lot of bases to cover for Region 3, but I know that we will eventually be able to complete Monkey Madness 2, because that is what this series is about. Setting a hard-to-achieve goal and achieving that goal in a way I've never done before. So that got me thinking ahead to the final, final goal of this series, and that is achieving the Infernal Cape on an 80 attack, 80 defense account all made from scratch. The Inferno is the single hardest thing to do in this entire game, and I wanted to make sure that I could do it, so I set myself the challenge. If I can complete the Inferno on my med account with only 60 attack and 70 defense, I can definitely do this on my gridlocked account when the time comes. So let's put it to the test. Am I able to complete the Inferno on my med account?
Oh my god, yes! Yes, dude, yes! Yes, yes! Yes, dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! So since it only took me a literal 4 attempts to get the Inferno Cape on my med, which will have significantly worse stats than my gridlocked account, I think it's pretty safe to say that we will be able to get this cape when it is time to get this cape. All of that was live streamed over on my Twitch. If you do want to see my live reaction when I actually got the cape, I'm going to put a link in the description. I'll also put the full Inferno run in the description in case you want to watch that too. We have a lot coming for gridlocked, and now that we have the Inferno cape on my med, we have a lot coming for that too. I don't know if you're actually going to believe the extent at which I'm going to to not train agility, but as of right now, I am literally doing all of the prerequisites to one small favor to do one small favor just so I can get the XP lamps so I don't have to do agility for a little bit. Yeah. How about you make me a pretty girl? So, oh, why'd you make me bald? All right, well, let's go do recruitment drive so uh, I never have to be like this ever again in my entire life. Hey, there we go. 13 herb lores, five more. Five more bad boys. Right, let's go turn this character back into not this. I don't think it's going to cost GP, but I guess we can find out. Hey, yeah, put it back. All right, there we go. Now let's do the bald reveal. See if we're still bald. Yep, perfect. So definitely lost money on that quest. Ah, eh, whatever. It's too expensive to have hair in this economy anyway. Meet Baldletics. My Rogaine for Men locked ultimate bald account. There we go. Dig site done. Oh, 19. Whoa, I start this quest and I immediately get called an a-hole like eight times. All right, calm down, guys. So I've always wanted to see what happens in the Shiloh Village quest if you try to make a ladder or a pole vault out of this broken table. So I wanted to see if my character would actually turn it into a ladder or a pole vault, but it turns out it just turns into a bunch of broken dreams because nothing actually happens that he can't leave. Shiloh Village done. Now we can go and start one small favor. Yeah, yeah. So I actually need to get myself 20 herb lore so I can clean this Harlander and then I can make a Sandview Serum. So I could do one of two things. I could go all the way to Narda and then have this herb get clean for me. Or I could go to the Sorceress's Garden then go to the highest room possible, which I believe is the Spring Alcarid region room. And then just keep picking those herbs until I get 20, so... I guess I'll just do that because I need 20 herb lore anyway eventually. So you come over here, you can either pick that or you can come over here and take these herbs and be an idiot like me. Because I thought I would get some herb lore experience, but I guess not. Alright, well we can take the other route and just go to Narda and get this clean then. <laughs> That's fine too. See? You can just come here and get that done. Alright, so crush the first one, bought another one, crush that one. Thank goodness. Perfect. Woo, please. Perfect. I think I can only buy one last one, please. Come on! I don't think I can buy any more. Yep. <laughs> Crap. Now I gotta go freaking mine more. I need 40 mining to mine this rock. Are you kidding me? There we are. 40 mining. Now let's go and mine those freaking gem rocks for the red topaz. Here we go. Please. Come on, dude. Thank you. Now we can go back. Pretty. All right, now begins the process of talking to everyone else, going back through the loop, and then getting this quest done. All for a little bit of agility XP. And I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure you don't need to have base 50 stats. I think it's base 30 stats. So this could have all been for no reason. Well, that was a pleasantly unlong quest. But now we have it out of the way, and we get to get ourselves a nice little key ring. Plus, I think we should get ourselves a free 20... Yeah, I think we get ourselves a free 20k experience in agility yes there we are one and two 44 agility from that i'm pretty sure i spent like six hours getting all the requirements and doing that quest just to avoid like an hour and a half of agility but it's more efficient this way overall i guess <laughs> turns out you need 49 crafting for hand in the sand and i don't have that so i'll just buy law runes from here Oh, it's actually pretty good, too. All right, so while I still do need to work on my agility, I also need to get 30 farming for the requirements for Enlightened Journey, which is a requirement for Monkey Madness 2. So we're going to go do quests that give us that XP. All right, so this is what we have to do. We have to get 31 crafting, get Lost City done, then do Nature Spirit, then we can start Fairy Tale Part 1, then we can do Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf, then we can do Garden of Tranquility, then we can do My Arms Big Adventure, and that's going to get us 33 farming, and then we are good on the Enlightened Journey pre requirement 
experience, and then we will get 55 agility. And to get even more experience, we're going to go do Itcheron's Little Helper and then Underground Pass. But for now, what we're going to do for crafting is just do glass blowing. Something that, honestly, I don't know how to do. But now I'm going to learn. I think you can just buy all these out right here. Yeah, we're just going to do that. All right, that should be enough. I think for 70 crafting, that's going to be what I have to do. So doing it here will be good enough for now. But eventually, I'm going to be doing this at the Ghost Ahoy place. There we are. Lost City done. Now we can go do Nature Spirit. There's our sickle. That's Nature Spirit done. All right, so for my three random items, I need a Nature's Talisman, an Advanto Herb, and an Irrit Leaf. I feel like for some reason, I actually got a Nature Talisman at some point and kept it thinking I might need it. Yes. Okay. Uh, then Avanto. Wow. That's really lucky. That's fairy tale part one, 18 farming. I'm going to go and start fairy tale part two. So I have access to the fairy rings and we have fairy rings. I have literally never done this in my life to actually get barley malt. Guess there's a first time for everything. Well, that wasn't that long of a way. I only got three from that whole thing. And this right here is why we get fairy tale part two started. Yeah, I just realized I have to do Giant Dwarf first. My little brain figured out how to finish fishing contest. Finally, I can use my three IQ play and just not chop down trees at all and just light these logs on fire and then hop between the worlds to get all my fire making XP. Yeah. I'm going to need these for the quest, so I'm just going to stock up really quick so I don't have to worry about running back and forth. If you want to make the part of the quest where they request ores easy for yourself, you can just get all of one ore and then you can continuously ask them to get a new job and just don't accept it if it's not the ore you have. So just keep bringing the one type of ore and canceling out if it's not that type of ore. And then as long as you keep giving them that one type of ore, you'll eventually be able to just go on to the next part. You can do this with the bars too. The giant dwarf. That's forgettable tail done. That's 25 farming from that. Hey, who let this guy be taller than me? Thanks for the ring, buddy boy. Now let's go do Garden of Tranquility. Again, buying all the seeds from here. Well, that's Garden of Tranquility done. 30 farming. I'm really happy to never do that again, to be honest. There's a few different ways to actually get these compost potions, but thankfully I have that because now I'm able to do my my next quest for my arm is big adventure you are required to have seven super composts so while i wait for all that to rot i'm gonna go do edgar's ruse yeah i gotta do two quests first though shades of morton and zogar flesh eaters because i need 31 herb lore and that's not even gonna be enough to get me 31 herb lore anyway but we're gonna do it shades of morton that's 23 herb lore forgot i have to do this quest too chompy bird hunter that's zogar flesh eaters done and that's 25 herb lore from that if you didn't realize we literally just did that for the herb lore since we need 31 so yeah i'm an idiot i accidentally made super for compost anyway so i didn't even need this yeah so we need more of this that's that's great that's a 60 percent favor requirement for tybo well i was gonna get all my herbs here but none of these guys are actually aggressive so may as well go to the wild for that all right first inventory right here all right second trip is this guy literally trying to pk me here back off buddy inventory number three trip number three what what the heck you almost got me oh you got oh nice you got him what is it, like the fourth inventory I think. Inventory number five? I really have lost count. Inventory number... Number six. Oh, here it is. No! Come on! <laughs> he depo spec me and he actually killed me! Bro! I gotta go get another freaking Ava's. Welcome to Gridlock, episode 40. This is the walk of shame. I think that's more than enough. I don't want to go back to the wild, man. It's a scary and dangerous place. There should be more uh there should be more than enough herbs though. Holy crap, we got a lot of grimy stuff from this. I right, may as well clean it all. Let's get some more of these bad boys. So I have 78 guams right now, and I feel like that should be more than enough to get me 31 herb lore. So let's go find out. So I got 28 from that, and I'm just gonna collect secondaries until I can get 31. So right now I'm just getting chocolate dust. And then I think I need to cut down like 60 logs or something like that so I can get ashes for secondaries. One of these has gotta be an oak tree, right? There we go, 31 herb lore. So now we can go get Edgar's ruse done. There we go. Big boy quest to get done. 36 herb lore from that. That's not as much as I thought it would be. Well, it's, it's good to get it done, though. Oh, yeah, because my arm's big and faster. <laughs> I completely forgot I was doing that. Okay, let's go do that now. I just realized the one good thing I came out of that quest, too. Well, the many good things. I have this teleport now. Life's good. This is a pretty nice one to get done. My arm is big adventure. I have 39 herb lore from that now and 33 farming. Next quest on the list is Ichiran's little helper. That's for some agility experience. Why did I think that this gave me agility XP? I mean, I got thieving from it, so that's cool. Oh, it did. That's why. 
<laughs> there we are. A long grind later. 50 agility. Now we can go and do Falador courses until 55. And then we are done with agility. My least favorite skill. The fact that anyone can get 99 in this skill is amazing to me. It's a few seconds for you, but it is many hours for me. We are finally done with agility, and I am very happy to get this done, dude. I just do not like agility. I will be very upfront about that. I would rather runecraft. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I'd rather do neither. I, <laughs> I'm still only one runecrafting. All right, so let's go and cash in our goodies. We have, we have 86 marks of grace total. I think it might actually be worth getting four more. Uh, I'll just get four more, honestly. That can't be that much longer. There we are. That's our last one. This is the best use of them, I think. So while I still do have a lot more quests to go, something that I've been putting off for a while is training my melee stats. So I think it's finally time to spend my entire cash stack, unfortunately. And then we can go and gear ourselves up for rock crabs since we have one spot that we can use in rock crabs because right here is region four, but this is region three. So thankfully we have that spot to train at. And while there are a few decent training spots, that's probably gonna be the best training spot spot that I have that's AFK. Oh, I don't want to do this, but this is going to be our best in slot armor for a while now. 64,000. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. I mean, I am looking fabulous though like this. And then we come here and it is 84.5k. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. I am definitely going to have to get cash after I'm done training because I'm not getting rid of my rune for anything. <laughs> That's so dumb looking. Dude, I look silly. I look really silly like this. Well, let's get a let's get my helmet too. Thankfully I got these boots a long time ago too, so we do look very unit like, but there is still one thing that we have to equip, and that is the fire cape. Oh, this is it. This is where the fire cape comes into play. Looking like we have no idea what's going on with ourselves, but I'm very proud of this gear. I know it looks like like not much, but I, I'm I'm proud of this, honestly. So the target goal for the stats of this account for a while are going to be base 70s, so I can have 70 attack and 70 defense, and I will just not touch those for a while. And then eventually later on, I can get those up. But as of right now, I need to get base 60s, which is going to be a couple days, and then I can go do Monkey Madness. Then I can get the Dragon Scimitar, make more money, and then I can get base 70s. All of that is probably going to take me about maybe 10 days to do. Four days of training later, we have 60 attack, 64 strength, and 60 defense. And we got quite a few decent drops. This was from a maze event. So now I think it's finally time, well, for one, to go get cash, but two, to go and start Monkey Madness 1. We got to get that out of the way at some point, so we may as well start now. But for real, first I need to go get cash. I only have 4.4k. Let's spend it all on the armor, but... I mean, the armor does look good, so was it really a waste? I just wanted to come here for one inventory so I can get a decent amount of cash. So I want to go get Monkey Madness done, and then I have another plan on how I can get quite a decent amount of GP an hour. So that's going to be 56 plate bodies, which if I sell it at 1,200 each, that is 67K, but I'm probably going to get a little bit less than that since I'll sell two at a time at the store. There we are, 66K. Good amount of starting cash. All right, let's go prep for Monkey Madness. I can't believe people actually used to pay 200K for this <laughs> i don't think people can hear that i can't believe people actually used to pay 200k for this me being one of them yeah so i know i lost the last two gregories that you gave me but uh you know can i borrow a third one well, well i see no problem with that that's fine yeah i'm not gonna lose it man i promise i'm not gonna lose it oh man i'm sorry to tell you i think i lost that toy that you gave me though wait 
Wait, what? I, I don't know where it went. This is gonna be a difficult boss fight, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't actually know if it's gonna be because you guys are gonna do it for me. Good luck. Yeah, well, now that you guys did 99% of the work, I come in doing the last 1% and take all the credit. Thank you very much. Here we are. Thanks for the stuff. Oh, I got 10k from that. See, I remembered getting 10k, but I wasn't positive of it. I'm thinking, what do we put it on? I'm thinking... Oh, wait, I just realized I just ruined my 60, 60 defense pure. So for this next moneymaker, I need to complete Death to the Dorgashin, or I need to at least start it. And for that, you need two sets of full ham robes. It has been literally two hours that I've been trying to get this stuff, and I still don't freaking have it. Oh my gosh, finally, dude. Like another 20 minutes since the last time. Now we can actually start the freaking quest. Here we go. This is what I wanted to get done. So now I have access to a money maker. I have two money makers that I want to test out. One is the agility pyramid, nice and simple. And two is doing the ham room storage stuff. I've seen a bunch of different rates for GP I can make an hour, but I want to test the both of them since on this account, there's no use for having the GE. So I'll go get more Alks and then I'll test both money makers and see what's worth it. Oh wow, I actually made GP. Just busted out 50 thieving really quick because I wanted to get the rogues outfit. But I just wanted to take note of something real quick. Why is our character stealing from a guy that can phase through walls at will? That's probably not the best idea for us, to be honest. Nor is teleporting right in front of him when he can just hit me once. But, I mean, this guy's afraid of me, so it's all good. So, you know, I want to start this mini game. And he's like, oh, I'll give you another jewel. You know, good luck. I see no jewel. Do I enter? Is that what I do? Oh, okay. There we go. First attempt. I think that... Yeah, I think that's good. Piece of rogues. I don't know what a rogue kit is. It could be made into a chisel, rope, tinderbox, or spade. What, bro? What even? Trip two and... Wow. What an honor it is to get that. Thank you so much. So, this is the third attempt. And... I hate this. Yes, there we go. Two out of five pieces done. Legit accidentally failed on that guard right there. So uh, that was another waste of turn. So please, yes, I'm gonna say, give me this for me being really bad at the game. Thank you, bro. Two more to go. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. I don't know like what the likelihood actually is. So I could be celebrating over nothing, but I have failed a few times. So I'm very happy to get it regardless. Please let me be done. It can do almost anything, except make me happy. Please let this be my last one. Yep, great. <laughs> Please be kind to me. Please. Yes! There we go. We are done. Gloves. Now we have the full set. Very, very good and very important for the next grind. This is literally the first time I've ever had the full outfit. So why do I even need it anyway? So the reason I decided to get full rogue is the special effect of the rogue set. It steals twice the amount of loot that you would normally get so normally you get one steel key at a time you get one thing at a time but because i have the full rogue set i got two keys at a time in theory that should make what i'm doing a lot better gp an hour because i'm able to go and steal a lot more keys per hour i can already tell this is so much more amazing too just by doing this this feels so good getting double loot this fast. I actually watched a video on this by a guy named Wild Mudkip. He had the hookup with this, so thank you, Mudkip. You're the best, bro. I believe all the chests have the same amount of chance at dropping loot, too. But look, diamond necklace from that. That right there is a 2k out. So this method is really good, to say the least. I mean, look, you even have the chance at getting multiple pieces of jewelry from this. Plus, I could get jewelry that I need. Legit, after 22 minutes, I have already gotten myself 58k plus a lot of gems. I want to keep these gems for crafting XP, so it is going to be a little bit slower than what I would normally get. But I really do like the money that you get here an hour. I think it's roughly anywhere from 100k to like 200k. I'm going to assume on the lower end though, maybe the upper end being for someone who's really efficient and maybe a bit lucky. Alright, I'm done with my trip for now. That was about 48 minutes. I used 183 runes and I got 135 5k so i'm gonna guess it's somewhere about like 150 160k an hour i'm gonna keep doing this of course but i want to go get more runes for now but very very happy that i found this method i of course have known about this method for a long time but i've never needed to use it because i've never been an iron man but since i can't use the ge for a long long time 
this is essentially going to be one of the best things I can do for GP. So I have 223k cash from that. I'm going to still continue to keep doing it, though. Let me go to the rune store and get more. I only have 18 cosmics. I think I'll buy more, too. All right, so I'm going to use all 300 nature runes, and I will be back when I get that done. There we go. Got through it all. Got 252k. Got 252k cash from 300 nature runes. So it's like 60k invested. I'm going to just take this cash stack out right again, but... 417k man that feels really good to have uh i think it's like 120 130k just to make sure i'll bring a decent amount now i can go buy a dsm and then we'll, we'll, we'll go do the freaking bullcrap freaking agility whatever the hell oh here it is oh it's only 100k oh thank you so oh my gosh that was a mistake that was a mistake <laughs> okay we're good we have to Stupid fucking dragon, whatever the fuck. Well, I was going to check out the other shops there, but you know, I guess not. Well, I got an agility level, and this guy's going to give me a little bit of fishing, so here, I'll do it. Yeah, so uh, what the hell is going on in this godforsaken unholy land? Because uh, there's this little island, and then there's some lava over here. I got, like, the, the depths of hell. I don't know. Oh, this is definitely just where you do all the, like, rune crafting and everything, or other random... I don't know. I'm leaving, man. All right, last agility pyramid, a bit over an hour, but I made 160k from it, so, you know, not bad. I guess you get the train agility, but I still don't like it. Overall, I think I'll probably go back there again if I want to train agility, because at least I'm making money while I'm doing it. Anyway, time to go back to training, because I want to go enter the Warriors Guild eventually, so now that we have a D-Sim and uh, like a million freaking GP, let's go train. I'm going to get a little bit more Karen Bomb. I have a new path, at least, so I don't have to have to keep walking back in the volcano i think th i think this is faster at least so yeah you get that you come over here you go to shanty village where am i going shiloh village you go to shiloh village and there you go you're right here so i think i'm gonna do that for a few more karen bomb then i can finally train Yeah, so I was AFKing Rock Crabs as usual, and I blew right by the milestone of 70 defense. So now we have base 70s for everything. I'm going to train a little bit more strength here while I still get other stuff done, because I've just been AFKing this. It's been six days now that I've AFKed here at Rock Crabs. So I might get like another level or two in strength, and then finally go and get stuff done, because I need to get stuff done at this point. For you, it's been like, what, like a minute or something? For me, it has been six days. I need to get stuff done. <laughs> All right, got 72 strength. That's enough time here. Let's go and finally get ourselves a defender. I think we uh, need to replace this thing. This thing is looking a little crap. But first, we obviously need to see how many uncuts we've got. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm going to do them. Got 37 crafting out of it. That's probably the only level I'm going to get. The nice thing is now that I have access to the warrior skill, I can go and buy potatoes in a bunch of different worlds. So that could be my new food source instead of having to go on to Karamja. Because instead of having to go to Karamja and make the trek back every single time I wanted to bank, I can just buy them out from these worlds. And I can just go and bank it right there. Okay, that's good. I keep getting the log out limit. Got a decent amount though. We have ourselves 200 on the dot. All right, now watch. This is the method. Just use my rune armor. Just sit here and flick this bad boy for a while. All right, that should be enough for now. Let's go and get our defenders. There's the first defender. Had I not realized, I just got another strength level. 75 HP. That took an incredibly long time, man. That was like three hours for this freaking defender. I had to keep going back and getting more tokens. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Literally the first one. This is the very first kill of the Cyclops when I got in here. So I feel like that just made up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Game just apologized to me or something. Nice, not too long for the Black Defender. Pretty close to Rune. There we go, now I got Myth. Two more, man, two more. Bro, are you kidding me? Again, the first one in here, I get a freaking Adamant Defender. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I really can't complain anymore about the luck. 74 strength, no freaking Rune Defender yet, but that's fine. Hey, complaining works, there we go, Rune Defender. Now it is finally time to go to the big boy room where I actually have to pay attention for the the majority of it is at the prayer flick. What is the, what's the difference between a hooker and a drug dealer? What's that? Hooker can wash her crack and sell it again. What the hell? Oh my gosh, finally! There we go, man. Done. 
We are finally done. It took a very long time here, but we finally have our Dragon Defender. Well, now that it's out of the way, I think I'm going to go get a bunch of diaries done because I eventually want to get a Black Mask too since I need to get 69 Slayers, so I think lamping the 40 would be good. So I'm only going to need like 20k farming XP, so I should be able to get a lot of these achievement diaries done and just get 33 to 40 with no issues. I do need to get a few rune crafting levels though, so that's really cool. <laughs> Pretty sure I needed 9 rune crafting exactly, and I got that. Yep, I needed 9 rune crafting exactly, I just got it from that mini quest. 34 farming. This should be 35. Doing the diaries and it's got 52 saving from it. That's 37. Well, that was only 3 kills. That's 38. That's 39 farming. Wait, so I hit a rock as to what I can do for the Achievement Diaries, so I will get 40 farming soon off of Achievement Diaries, but as of right now, I still need to get a lot of other requirements out of the way, one of them being 53 fishing and another being 53 cooking, so I'm just going to AFK this for a bit and see how far we can get from AFKing. There we go, like 10 hours later, 53 fishing, 53 cooking. That's all we need to get for Hero's Quest. We also need to go get 50 mining for Hero's Quest as well. That went by quicker than expected. It's only like an hour and a half. I've been putting this one off for a bit. It's finally time to do Enlightened Journey. Now, I've never actually done this to where i need to plant the tree so uh you know figure out what that's all about there we go so i guess you just kind of plant this and do I have to wait that whole i'm gonna have to wait aren't i for a long time hey it's much later now do i get xp for this oh i do that's pretty cool i literally need one more easy achievement diary lamp and i guess to rake a patch once and then i have 40. you can legit just come up to this guy this homeless guy and just tell him to go get a job i love that <laughs> Need to recruit the help of the Shield of Erev CC. So, I think this guy's gonna help me for this. Okay, here you go. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. Iron Man and, and normal people can be friends too, guys. Stop hating on Iron Man, alright? I know they're not normal people, but we, we can get along. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a lot of money. I've been meaning to make more rings of dueling and games necklaces for a while. So I'm going to make a bunch real quick. Guys, I'm self-sufficient. Look. Yeah, there we go. Looking hot. All right, now it's time to get Merlin's Crystal done so we can get Hero's Quest done. So I can finally start charging these glories, man. I'm tired of not being able to teleport to Edgeville because I'm afraid of running out of charges. All right. See a thought. Hey. Thank you. Yep. Give me, give me gold. Oh, wow. Thank you. Give me gold. Please tell me you sell black play bodies. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, just sitting here with my new partner. And uh, he's too busy getting killed by dogs. This guy is just absolutely terrible. Don't watch any videos that he may or may not make. He's just not even freaking making any animation. Oh my gosh, it's Eric. What the heck? <laughs> All right, well, he told me he was going to help me. And then he said he doesn't want to help me. So I get Jimmy. And then he helps me again. What the heck? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Stats and things. This is such a shot in the dark, but I get glory sixes anyway, so I don't care if it doesn't go eternal. Inventory one. No eternal! Sad. All right, finally got enough of uh, everything for him. For oh my gosh, I don't have 12. Oh, thank you so much. Here we go, I got that done. That was a, a big boy quest. Yes, that was actually enough to get 40 farming. Now we can actually do cabin fever. I honestly didn't realize that there was a... Uh, XP rewards from this. That's workshop one done. 40 crafting from that. Oh, this hurts. Here we go. I'm at the workshop two. 41 crafting. A little disappointed. I figured I was going to get a bit more than that. Oh, well. All right. Well, this is literally going to be my best training method. Do not look forward to doing this. Literally all the way to 70. I got to do this. I'm pretty sure. Unless I figure something else out. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a while now. So, guess I'll buy everything out. I just realized I should be doing this at Porkazard, man. It's going to be so much faster there. Okay. Not that much faster, though. All right. That should be good for now. I think I got like close to 400 buckets. That should get me 45 crafting. I I, I got to figure something out because I do not want to do that to 70. All right, there we go. Just got all 400 done. I mean, we only need 45 for cabin fever anyway, so I can just save the rest for another time when I just want to AFK it. There we go. 45 crafting. All right, so uh, I got to go to Keldegrim now to get my smithing up, and I want to show you something sad. I, I could just, you know, go right here, right in this little trap door, and just go right to Keldegrim, you know, for free. But no, I can't because that's region four. Actually, technically, now it's region five. So I can't use that at all. I have to take the freaking long way. And I have to go talk to the uh, the cave gremlins or whatever you want to call them. Just so I can go buy a ticket to get there. Yeah, I could have actually just fairy ringed. I realize that right now because there's a fairy ring right next to it. But I'm already doing my thing. So, oh man. 
Smithing's gonna cost me a decent amount of GP. Well, you know what? We only need to get 40 for now anyway, and then we can use Goldsmith Gauntlet, so that'll save us a bit of GP in and of itself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to spend, like, my whole cash stack, so. Oh, whatever, that's fine. I'll get more cash anyway. Okay, that cost the majority of my cash stack. I only have about 100k now, but there we go. That's all the gold ores I need. Now, to get 38 to 40, all I need is 160 coal and 80 iron ore. I mean, I can honestly just buy all these out. It's not a big deal. It's not even that expensive. All right, 40 smithing. Now we can go and get family crest done so we can get 40 to 50 with the goldsmith boys. Yeah, give me them. All right, now we can get goldsmith gauntlets and we can go and get 50. There we are, 50 smithing. All right, now I can go and get all the quests done for cabin fever, which is how I go and get myself a black mask for Slayer. All right, Jag, actually going to stop making people taller than me or what? <laughs> That's rum deal done. There we go, bro. Cabin fever done. I finally have access to cave horrors for a black mask. I'm not going to do it now because I have a lot more to do. I want to get my uh, crafting level up. I want to get a bunch more done. But I'm definitely happy to get that quest done. That's a big quest to get done. Give me the 10k. There we go. 49 crafting. Now I can do hand in the sand. And then I could finally buy the runes from the wizard's guild as opposed to going to level 55 wilderness every time. Starting to get a little annoyed with that. Anyway, let's just hope I don't get PK'd. I'm going to go out here to the rogue store and sell a bunch of stuff I have. So for the longest time, the only shop I figured you could sell items to for their high alk value was the Wilderness General Store. So I went to go sell my items to the Wilderness General Store like usual. And I was just sitting there on a call with Jimmy, and he told me that there was actually another store that you could sell to and get high alk value price. And I didn't believe him, so I went to go check it out myself. Are you kidding me? You can. <laughs> so... So I've been doing this wrong the whole time and you get more for it. I, okay. Is, is this like a real thing? Have I literally never known that you can just do this right here with 50 agility and 50 thieving? Oh no. Cause other people, other people freaking do it too. Oh my gosh. Cause when I sold 10, okay. I might be getting more GP per item too from this store. What else is the worst part about this? One who, one who discovered this Jimmy. Jimmy, the guy who has no clue how to even spell his own name, let alone anything about this freaking game that he just reads on a Wikipedia page yet. Yeah, no, he found this. Like, what the heck? Well, it was only like 20 minutes selling everything. 268k out of that, though. I mean, if I really just wanted to keep going, I could have gotten a lot more GP out of that. Don't do it. Not yet. Don't do it. There's the lantern lens. I've been buying these out for like the past half hour. I don't know how long I'm going to do it. Maybe like another hour. Uh, I've done this for like about an hour now. And I haven't really even checked aside from the last time how much I've actually had. Maybe like 40 minutes in between that and now. So we got almost a thousand. I may as well just buckle up and get a thousand really quick. All right. There we are. Okay. Now we can go do hand in the sand. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I'm, eventually I'm going to have to do that. Hey, look, no one's opened this door since the update. <laughs> now it's open uh, until the next time it's updated. There we go. Hand in the sand quest done. I do want to do barrows, but to do barrows, I'm going to need a good way to conserve my prayer. So I need to go and get proselyte and I need to do a lot of quests for that. The shop has got to be so much better that you need hand of the sand quest done. Yeah, that should be more than enough law runes for a long time. That sea slug done. Look at this guy, Solus Deligar. What, what sort of name is Solus, bro? What does that even mean? So, um, you know, I'm supposed to be sitting here talking to Solus right now, but it zoomed me all the way down here to this huge mushroom near Canifus. Yep, see? Look at that. Camera moved from here all the way to there. Oh, now I got his... Oh, come on. Let me wear his little hat. Oh, okay. Let's go get... Look at some rune crafting done. Maybe I can avoid that though. I just need to go and get five construction now so I can do Isaac Love for you so I can get a bunch of rune crafting XP. I think it gives me like 6k or something like that. So I literally gotta sit here and mine these essence, dude. I might go and find something to kill actually. Okay, it's actually not that bad. It's going by relatively fast. Eh, never mind. I'll just suck it up and do this. I gotta get 13 for a mud room so I can make that. Just realized I actually did two out of three quests. I can get free 1k experience lamps from this. The three quests are Making History, Shield of Erev, and Merlin's Crystal. So that's the one, and then this should be Merlin's Crystal. There we go. Oh, level 20. Perfect. I will hold on to those for later. <laughs> I got that on the first try here. There we go. 13. There we go, man. Finally got another freaking water talisman. Once more, if you really want to not have to do math like me, all you do is just, you know, Keep dropping these and keep asking for more. And yeah, make sure you do it after, though. So, you know, you can actually get more than, you know, the two types. 12k magic XP. I can finally cash in these two lamps, too. 27 out of 30. There we go. Finally got a fire talisman. So I need a lot more essence than this. But what I think we're going to do is just go and do Nightmare Zone. I haven't done that. 
like at all on this account. So I'll just do that for like a couple minutes. It's gotta be a lot of decent essence. It's like gonna be like 400, 500 plus maybe. Actually no, cause I was doing it at 27. That should be like maybe 700. And I was literally gonna sit there and mine essence. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Here we go. I just spent 13 weeks getting 30 rune crafting, but now we're finally done, man. I love how this guy's like, oh, you almost got killed. That's, that's just fine. I don't really, I don't really care. Oh, here we go. Now we can wear proselyte. How much bonus is this anyway? How much prayer bonus overall? 23. Yeah, that's super solid. I decided to get my crafting done for now just to make all of these molten glasses and maybe I'll get 57. I'm going to see how much I can get after, but 52 crafting for now anyway. So with all the molten glass I have, I should get just shy of 57 crafting and then I'll get 57 crafting and then I have a secret plan as to how I am going to actually get my crafting level up. When it comes time to that, I'll probably have a whole video on that though. All right, again, that should be enough. This is just to get 57 crafting. Kind of doing a bit of overkill with this one. Uh all right, there we go. 57 crafting. That is a good stopping point for now. So to get barrows done, at least semi-efficiently for my account, I need to do two quests. I need to do In Search of the Myrek or Miracle, whatever. Apparently I pronounced all quests wrong, but that's fine. Uh, and then I need to start in aid of the Myrek. So then I have that little shortcut behind the Canifus pub. All right, this store, this store. I'm just going to make the steel bars for the last item. Okay, three steel bars, steel warhammer. That's in search of the Myrek. Oh, now we have the shortcut, so... I guess we don't even need that then. Something else I realized is that I actually have a fairy ring right here. So that would probably be my fastest way to get back. All right, so I need to make a bunch of prayer pots. I need to go buy runes. And I need to buy this Slayer Staff. That is 21k. Yikes. There we go. All this literally for a dragon dagger. I'm hoping that the runes are going to be self-sustainable at a certain point. I guess it really depends, to be honest. So I'm going to go to PvP Worlds again. Not the smartest idea ever, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm dumb. Good amount of runes. Thank goodness there's a three spawn of Snape Grass by Falador because that's the only place I have access to it. There's also another spawn on Hasidius or by Hasidius House, which is, of course, Zaya, not allowed. And, of course, there is on Waterbirth Island, but again, not allowed. All right. Done, let's go make them now. I can also farm them too. This might not mean a lot to you, all right? But this is my first time I've ever freaking done this. So I want to test my luck at barrels with 50 chests to see if I can get anything. The items that I want to get are all needed for Slayer as well as Monkey Madness 2 bosses. These items are a Carol's crossbow, any tank helmet, any tank plate body, and any tank plate legs, as well as a Carol's top and a Carol's bottom. If I get any of these items early on, then that would be a huge advantage moving forward. All right, the first chest, nothing. Chest number two. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Well, that's already one item down. All right, chest number three, chest four, eh. number five, chest number six, eh. number seven, chest number eight, uh, oh, number something, chest number five. Oh, gimme. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! 13 chests. I got the freaking Carol's crossbow and I got an Aram skirt. Back to back? No, I wasn't expecting it. First actual herb run. Let's see how many I get. Oh, three. That's amazing. Thank you so much. All right, I just stocked up on a bunch of potatoes as well as a bunch of super strength pots. So it should make doing the runs a little bit easier now. 76 magic. Give, 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 please. What? Give. Hmm. Give. All right, please. Please give me more than three. Oh, perfect. I love this patch so much. Thank you so much, bro. Please. Ah, please. Give. Please. So I have five clue scrolls and I'm gonna see if I can do all five clue scrolls I'm doubting it to be honest, but we'll see if we can get all of them done All right So for this medium clue I need an adamant halibur and to get that I need to get underground pass done and then I need to get I think regicide done uh, I've needed to do underground pass for a while. So I guess this is uh, a good excuse for me to do it now Yeah, so fun little method. I never knew but thanks to getting the thieving outfit now I do you can just do the three trap method, the three step trap method, whatever it is. Trap right there? Who cares? What does that even do for you? Nothing. Just walk right by it. One, two, three. Ow. Okay, fine. But this one won't hit me. See? It's because I went too far. Get smoked. Get fucked. There we go. We're done. 
Now I gotta go get regicide done or all those. I am definitely not over here. All right, camera. Well, I made it four steps into this elite clue. Oh, three steps. I'm an idiot. I made it three steps into this elite clue, and this is where it temporarily ends for now because that is region four. I'm not gonna get rid of the clue. I will save it until region four. There you go. I've been waiting for you, buddy. Thanks for the message. Anybody who has done this quest before and can read this chat box knows my pain. Please. It's been like four times I've fallen. Thank you. Man, this guy is evil. This guy is definitely evil. He's an evil little jerk. But you know what? We're good now because uh, now we can go and get the thing that we need to get. There we go. Now we got access to these bad boys. All we need is the adamant halibur though. Nice. Actually got it. All right. Now we can open four clues at a time. No, worst the best. Oh, okay, next one. Uh, ooh. Oh, mm. oh, yeah, that was all worth it. That was worth doing two hours of questing. <laughs> yeah, I should probably put this weapon poison on. All right, back to the grind. Please, nope, please. <gasps> yes, yes, dude. That's one of the items I wanted, yes. Yes, dude, yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh, that is such a good feeling. Give. Ah, uh, no back to back. <laughs> you know, I keep saying give, but I'm very happy with the amount of runes I'm getting from this anyway. I don't actually expect to get any more items within the 12. I'll be very lucky if I do, but it's not like I'm owed them anyway. Because look how many death runes I have, dude. I have almost 1,100 death runes from that. I've obviously banked a lot. A lot of blood runes and a lot of chaos runes. So it's going to be very good. Oh, no. It's going to be very good for my plan. Give. Whoa. Give? Oh, wow. Look at that. Give me barrows. Oh, come on. Like, I don't even need that. No cut and spear again, please. Oh. Second to last one. One more. Last chest. Nothing. Well, I gotta go make more dueling rings anyway. But for now, look how many freaking runes I got from this, man. This is 100% the best part of doing barrows, aside from the items, of course. If you need runes. And of course, I need runes, so... This is really nice to have this amount of runes. I'll be able to burst eventually and get 82 magic. These are all the items I got from it, too. I got... I mean, I guess these are actually pretty helpful now. Got Carol's crossbow, Aram skirt, Carol... Blah, 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 and then this. With the amount of ridiculous luck I got from these barrels chests, I think I need to go for the black mask. Since I have a pretty good feeling that I'll get it within a few hours if I got this lucky. We still have a decent path on our way, but we are well on the way to getting the requirements completed for Monkey Madness 2. Finally being able to complete Monkey Madness 2 and going on to the next region. All right, yeah, I'll kill all of you, no problem. Are these guys all bots? Maybe not. Okay, there you go. All right, how many we have? 39, that's good enough for now, honestly. So one of the goals I'm going for is that I have to get 69 Slayer for Monkey Madness 2. But before I do that, I need to get 58 Slayer first. The reason I need to get 58 Slayer first is so I can get a black mask, so I can get a Slayer helmet, so these tasks will go by much quicker. And as of right now, my first assignment is the kill ends. I'll probably do a little bit of Wilderness Slayer just so I can get some points anyway. Here we go, task done. How many tasks in a row? 22. I think that's okay for now. I can come back to Wilderness Slayer if I need to at some point let me go and get normal slayer done now though should probably get food first though yeah i'll get food first this guy's actually buying from these stores he's going to kill me <laughs> hey, you want to go bro oh yeah get cleared <laughs> oh my what you had 86 rune arrows <laughs> okay i'm i'm cool with that man that and a free few K from it. See, every now and then you actually do find people trying to buy food from the PvP worlds. All right, first assignment from this bad boy. Hellhounds, I already hate you. Yeah, this is a waste of a task. It's going to be such slow experience and going to cost me so much. Yeah, uh, go ahead and cancel that one and give. Oh my gosh, I think that's even, <laughs> I think that's even worse. Uh, that's actually not terrible. I'll do that. Yeah, 56 Slayer. Two more to go. 76 Strength. All right, task done. Pretty close to 57. Let's go get another one. Hellhounds. What did I do to you, Neve? Task done. 
Don't know how I feel about that. Well, I can only do one type of troll anyway. Yeah, there we go. And I can grow more of these bad boys. 57, one more to go. <laughs> one more to go. Shut up, man. All right, that's this task done. I pretty much should just need one more task and I'll have 58. See if we can get lucky. Greater demons, uh, no. <laughs> Don't give me a big boy task. Ankus, 77 strength. All right, I lied. I need to do one more task. I don't like you. Okay. Oh, perfect. Maybe don't do that again. Oh, I like, I like that. I like when you just ignore what I say. That's very kind. Oh, I'll do that one. All right, 58 Slayer. Now it is time to go and finally get ourselves the Black Mask. Well, I got a hard clue, so I may as well go do it. Well, can't do it because I need to have this soundtrack unlocked, and that's Waterbirth Island, and I can't get there. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, this is only like two hours. Yes. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude. That is good luck. That is such good luck. Oh, now I can actually do Slayer and not hate my freaking life, dude. Yes. Neeb, come on. Let me let me uh, smack your boys around a little bit. I'm not going to do any more tasks for now. I need to go and get myself those gloves. I, I, I just can't be level 90 with a fire cape and no gloves, dude. I'm going to get mocked. Look at me. People are going to literally bully the hell out of me and I, I don't need that i'm already balding from stress well time to start this hellhole of a quest all right that's witch's house <laughs> where the heck is this oh crap forgot get cleared bro yeah there we go so i think i could just go and get 45 herb lore now so can you act i guess you can super compost the super compost patch all right now it is my time to shine let's get more than three this time six exactly double of three Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to do Nightmare Zone for a bit because I want to get some of the rewards from this shop. Hey, do you think people should subscribe to you on YouTube? Uh, do you have a channel that anyone follows? I don't think anyone knows who you are, dude. Yeah, so make sure that you guys subscribe to me because everybody's talking about me and you want to make sure that you're not one of the ones missing out. All right, that is 78 strength. About to get 77 HP. 70. Doing this so I can get herb boxes anyway. I can get 15 a day. And I just realized, actually, because this is for Legends Quest, I'm pretty sure to start it, I don't even need 45 herb lore, but... I mean, I may as well get it anyway. Why not? Yeah, I got 42 herb lore and decided I don't want to keep doing that because I don't have to. <laughs> okay, so let's go and get all of the gloves that we can get from here. That's another done. That's another one. All right, that's another done. Murder mystery done. That's another one of these done. Well, since I'm doing RFD, I need sweet corn and it needed my cat to fully grow. So I just did this for a little bit while that happened. But I got a free 40k out of it while I waited. Two more remain. I can just get this guy's done now. Well, I mean, when the sweet corn actually grows. Look at that. I got some corn. All right, I want to see if this will actually allow me to get killed. If I can die in this cutscene. Please kill me. Sure, that's easy. Go ahead. I'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I love how my, I said that. My character was so unsure of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you die. Oh, I don't have the token anymore. But is it? Oh, it's brulee. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, man, that's great. There you go. So, yeah, you can kill yourself in the cutscene. All right, so I, I got to get 70 cooking for King I will go, whoa, 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 whoa. And this is the plan for that. So I think the fastest way that I will be able to do this is if I buy grapes from this store and make wines out of it. So right, let's just see how much I upgraded. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Plus, I don't look dumb anymore either. I mean, like, maybe a little bit dumb, but whatever. But I can hop between every single world and always be able to get seven grapes in each world. So I think what I can do to actually avoid the logout timer on hopping worlds for buying the grapes is I can fill up one, maybe two inventories of jugs of water because I need to fill them up. And then I can just go and hop through a few worlds and buy all the grapes for one inventory and then just do this again. I should be able to avoid the logout timer like that. All right, I've done this for a decent amount of time. So far, I've gotten, I think, yeah, like 620, something like that. Just so I didn't go crazy, I actually bought all these grapes on stream, just like I did for the buckets of sand. If you ever want to watch me on stream, by the way, most of the time I'm not buying crap from shops. Then you can actually watch me over there. But yeah, I mean, if you really want to go back and look through all my VODs right now to see if I bought all the grapes from the shop, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> all right, I bought quite a decent amount, but... 
I'm gonna stop for now because I literally bought out all the worlds and they are all low like on the grapes I actually spread this out over like two days just to get this so far now I need to get another quest done I need to get it's kind of a big quest it's desert treasure but I do need to get cooking too but I, I can't I can't with the worlds being like this so here's the nice thing uh if you remember in the first region I'm sure it was on video at some point I got magic logs and that was going to be the hardest thing that I was going to have to do for this quest. I think I'm going to be getting all my levels here. I'll get 53 thieving off the Master Farmer. And then I have to chop down my own logs and then burn them. So, I don't think it should be terrible. Well, I got an easy clue from a random event. So, I can go do that real quick. See what I get. Alright, let's see. <laughs> uh, I, I need neither of those things, to be honest. But... Like, I, I can't even use that. I can't even use the money from it, but I guess it's cool to get. <laughs> there we go. 53 thieving. All right. Now uh, I got to start a long process of cutting these bad boys down and then burning them. Here we go. 45 fire making. All right. Move to maples for 50. Yeah, everywhere else sucks. I'm just going to stick to this place for now. I mean, it's only four more levels. Here we go. 50 fire making. We are done. <laughs> oh, that, that sucked, dude. I literally had to chop down all the logs, then burn them. It took me four hours to do that, from 30 to 50. I've never done it this way. Anyway, I got two clue scrolls in the process, so I'm going to do them. Yep. I can't do this one because he is in the Grand Exchange. Literally, the guy I got to bow to is right there. So I can't freaking bow to him. <laughs> I have to get a shower done if I want to do it, but... I don't want to do it right now. I'll do it later. All right. So far, I have 1,700, uh, 1,300 more to go. Uh, but what I've been doing is I've actually been hopping back and forth between uh, my PC as well as mobile. I was actually wrong before. I don't know when I actually said this last, but uh, I was on my phone, but I was on the same IP address. And the way that hopping between worlds works is it logs how many times you hop, not from the account, but from the IP address. So... Let's say a bunch of people are on my same IP address and they all keep trying to hop. Everyone's going to get kicked out very fast. But if you do it on your uh, on your phone and then you just you know don't have any Wi-Fi, then you're able to hop through like 30 worlds or something like that. Maybe not 30, but a lot of different worlds. You can go back and forth between your phone and then your computer. All right, I'm going to stop at 2K for now. We need 1K more, but I want to go get DT done for now. What is this guy possibly trying to do here? Bro, are you kidding me? I got it on three freaking lockpicks. That's some weird luck. Dude, I have the hookup with this switch. Yeah, this is the first and last boss that I ranged, dude. That was a dumb idea. All right, that's diamond number two. I guess for no reason in particular, range is really good on this boss. So <laughs> I'm glad I brought it for that. <laughs> I just brought it for the trolls, to be honest. Come on, just die. Just die. Okay, I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying up here, dude. I'm not gonna freaking walk back up here. <laughs> yeah, give me the freaking diamond. Yo, I hope the stranger doesn't appear, dude. I'm literally gonna die if he appears. This guy is all sorts of ugly. Look at this butt ugly motherfucker. You are ugly as hell, bro. Thank you for the stupid diamond. I can promise you that guy's mom does his hair for him every single morning. Don't kill me, no. No, don't do it. Please don't kill me. Don't do it. Oh, man. Let me go AFK. I'll be right back. There's no way in hell I'm dead yet, dude. There is, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> Please don't tell me I fell. Oh my gosh. Yes, first try. There we go. Desert treasure done. Feels good. This has been such a long grind that I kept needing to take breaks and doing it between a few days. <laughs> this is the third day of doing this, and I think I should get this done within like an hour or so. Once more, I'm doing it all on stream as well, just so I could be validated. Last inventory right here. Finally done with this. That took way <laughs> too long. Way, way, way too long. All right, next up, I need to fill all of these jugs with water and the best place to do that is pvp worlds with this off all right last inventory there we go now we should have more than enough to get ourselves 70 cooking at least we should get very close with this i probably shouldn't do this in a pvp world see i don't know if the way i'm doing it right now is smart but i am doing it like a couple hundred at a time just so i can get the cooking experience and fail less and less as time goes on like say 97 bad jugs of wine but i think the higher the cooking level the better chance to just not fail. So I think if I did all of them at once, it would just be like kind of wasting the grapes. Yeah, I don't know if that actually helped, but now we're 68. So now there is no chance of actually failing. So now we can just power right through to 70. I'm actually going to need 650 grapes. So I will go and get the rest of those really quick. There we go. 
Got that done now. I can head back out there. Because I don't want to do it at this bank. You know, I'll do it at this bank. No, I won't actually. Will I? Yeah, I won't. Nope, that's it. It's all the wines. Let's look at the XP drop. There it is. 70 cooking. Completed. Now we can go and get recipe for disaster done. And I was thinking to, that I was just going to get dragon gloves, but I'm so close to actually getting myself the barrel's gloves. I'll just go through the entire process. I get barrel's gloves. It's just easier like that. I've never looked at the chat head for this. It's interesting to think that they actually had to make one. I've literally never seen the chat head for it, though. Wow. Two out of the three. That's actually pretty good. Well, we saved all of our boys. So now it, we literally just need 15 quest points. We have a few quests that we need to get done anyway, though. Yeah, I can't even do this clue anyway, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> do the rest of the quest. Yo, this quest sucks so much. I hate this quest with a passion. I always get it wrong. Every single time, dude. I always get this quest wrong. Regardless, we are 11 quest points away from getting Barrow's Gloves. So at least there's that. Holy Grail. Hmm. There's still a lot of grinding to do, but by the next video, we should have Barrow's Gloves completed. Halfway through this quest and now I just realized right now I can't do it because I have to go to Relica and I can't do that. Wow, <laughs> that's upsetting. That sheep shear kind of scrambling to find another three quest point. I don't think they actually have any. Observatory quest done. All we have left is dwarf cannon and then we can go and get ourselves the barrows gloves. Here we go. 175 quest points. Time to go and get my b-boy gloves. Are you kidding me? Okay, now we got that quest done. Now we can go and do it. All right. Now this time for real. Here we go, bro. Yes. Feels good to be done. Even though it's going to cost me a bit more for that. It's probably Slayer is the, uh, the better of the two. 130k. Yes. Looking hot. Now we have to make a lot of money because I think the next thing I want to get done is 82 magic. And I can get that done by just splashing it. I think we'll go and get the money now. All right. The goal is to do this until 60 agility. Whether or not I actually do that remains to be seen. Okay. So that's 60 agility, but I kind of want to keep going. I'm really enjoying doing this at the moment because I get 10k every time. It's a rewarding way to actually do agility since I do need GP anyway, so I can go with the next part of my plan. So I'll do like a few more laps out of it and then we can move on and get 82 magic I'm actually pretty close to another agility level anyway 250k from that no more food so that's why i had to stop i've got some items to actually elk too in the bank so i'm gonna go through that and see what i can elk yeah <laughs> there's actually a lot to elk there is quite a lot to elk here all right this is everything that i actually have so now i can go through it elk it i should get a decent amount of gp from this to be honest there we are 240k in addition to that. I've been waiting to actually elk. 
That's so nice. Okay, and now I am able to go and get a lot of splashes. So I'm going to be here buying for a little bit. Right, I think that's the limit on what I can get. Yeah, well, that works for now, honestly. 20,000 cast. That should be a decent amount. It's a fourth of what we need. Look at me and tell me I'm not balling out right now, okay? I got the black kite shield G. I got the fake amulet of magic on. So I guess I'll see you after 20,000 casts. 20,000 runes later. We got one mage level from that, and we are semi-close to the second mage level. Are you kidding me? So as of right now, I still have like another 17,000 runes, but I don't really have the money for the air runes. So I could do agility, but I think I'm going to go and do ham storage room. All right, I did this for a little bit. I got almost 70k cash, but uh, I think I want to do the agility pyramid more. That's eh, good. 61 agility. All right, I'm gonna go get an Ancient Staff now. Maybe I'll go do a Wilderness Slayer, though, because they just released Wilderness Keys or Wilderness Slayer Keys, kind of like Konar Keys. It could be some decent GP. And since I need to do Wilderness Slayer anyway to get myself the points for a Black Mask, for a Slayer Helmet, rather, we'll be balling for a mere 80,000 gold. Give me some symbols every god, bro. First task. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like you. Oh, here it comes. You can only attack me for one level. And now you can't. Oh, nope, level 17. Yeah, you know I'll try to fight him. Come on! <gasps> no! There we go, clue scroll. All right, I can do that. So I literally have to pay 40k for a Mystic Fire Staff, complete a quest, Scorpion Catcher, and then make a Diamond Bracelet just for this one clue step. I really hope I can do it. Here we go, Scorpion Catcher done. Turn this into a thing. Oh, thank you. Mm, I actually needed a rune kite shield, so that's actually pretty good. I can't complain with that. Here it comes. Oh my gosh. Nice. Can we do it? That's the question. Love a Kang? Oh yeah. No. Dude, I didn't even know I was 59 Slayer, but now I'm 60. This is a good day. As I just asked, what's the likelihood of a key drop? I get one. <laughs> All right, that's task complete. Let's go and use our key now. Uh, I guess that's not bad. Next task, Earth Warriors. That's actually a pretty good task. Uh, whole reason I'm even doing this is so I can get a freaking Slayer helmet. That's 400 points, and I keep having to use my freaking things, dude. Okay, oh, they'll do it. Wow. Ah, right, well, there goes my defender. But, oh, my freaking DDS. I'm gonna go and do the medium tasks really quick. I think I need five mining, five mining levels. Well, either way, I'm gonna do it so I get the shortcut right there. Not worth it like this. I missed it, 79 strength. Oh my gosh, thank you. I didn't know that this chest was actually guaranteed to drop all of this stuff every single time. So it's like 1.5k profit every time. I'm not having a good time right now. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, charge in earth orb. We can do that. Look at this. Oh, black DI too. All Please. Yes, okay, good. Oh, that solves the black DI issue I just had. Oh my gosh. Crap. That's not what I wanted. Well, I guess that works anyway. <laughs> there we go. That's all I needed. There we are. Whoa, I'm real ugly in here. Well, that's really specific. Your helmet starts to feel heavier and heavier while you have the feeling it somehow keeps you in the rock. You think you can only keep it on for about eight more minutes. That is so specific. How do you feel if you can keep a helmet on for eight more minutes? That doesn't... Whatever, this quest for sucks. Okay, there we go. Oh, I actually got some mining XP from that. That's pretty cool. I gotta get 53 mining. Yo, are you kidding me? What are you freaking doing to me? Dude, why is everyone see me and just immediately attack me? Let me build my thing. Oh, 51 mining. Why am I still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Just got 53. That's all I need to do. Got a lot of decent gems from that. I think these are burning amulets, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Finally done. Now I gotta go do the freaking Slayer task. That's what that was all for. Again, it's probably best that I put all of the XP that I get from these things onto crafting. That was a pretty nice task. I got a Mysterious Emblem plus the Looting Bag is looking pretty good. 108k out of that. Got three Rune Scimitars, which will make for some nice Alks. Nice, I still have enough points. 15! 
That's not bad. All right, another task. Go on. Yo, are you for real? What you doing? Certainly not peeking, because that's an excuse for peeking, dude. <laughs> what the? Hey, eight more. Yeah, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Oh, you're so dumb. How much is even in that? 76k. Like, the most useful thing is probably the uh, black dehyde chaps and the potions. Plus, I got another rune crossbow and another glory. All right, let's do another task. Yeah, good. I have a medium clue. Let me do that first, though. All right, casket. Mm, not bad, actually. All right, another task. Good assignment. Yeah, pretty good. Are you kidding me? The very first drop, an emblem and a key. Key number two. Hmm, another task? All right, not terrible. Another task? I got 125 points. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh... All right, one more task. Last task, please. Uh, greater demons. I guess that's... Whatever, I'll go do it. Hey, got another key. Hey, 80 strength and 92 combat. Huh. Would you look at that? Hey, you got another key. Oh. All right, task done. <laughs> All right, that's my last task. I can finally go and get a big boy Slayer helmet now. Got a little clue and I got two of these bad boy keys. Get something good, huh? Key number one, 166 raw swordfish, and then three rune full helms. That's actually, that's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Rawr, look at that. Oh, oh, I am hot. I'm just going to alk my stuff for now so I can buy some more runes and splash. Good amount of alks right here. Plus, I got a bunch of keys. I might get something from the little chest. I got 178k from that. Wow, I got literally all spinach rolls and then a coal. Oh, I got 12k, never mind. All right, so this is going to be enough to get a bit past 80. I just realized that I'm also almost 62 Slayer, so I guess we'll do that after. Uh, and then I have enough runes probably to burst to 82 magic after it, so it's probably going to be like... Yeah, it'll only take 20 hours to actually splash these. 21 hours, maybe. So that's not that bad. All right, there we go. We're done. Not terrible. It only took me a few days, to be honest. So I got 80 magic from that. I'm pretty close to 81 mage, and then 82 is not going to be that far off. All right, that's good. All right, also needed some super antis, so I think we're good to go now. Yo, this is some horrible clipping, dude. Wow. You pretty much only see people in this spot if they are either A, a noob, or B, a pure, because there's, like, no use in actually coming to this spot at all. 78 HP. All right, last cast. We're outie. So we got the 78 HP, of course, and we got very close to 81 magic. As it currently stands, I only need to get 23,000 splashes of Fire Strike. So I'm only going to really need like 200k cash, so... 20 times at the Agility Pyramid, not terrible. I'm nearing the end of the trip, but I just got 62 Agility from this. Alright, squeezed it out. Alright, there we are. That's all the runes. 100 extra. Alright, another 20 hours, and then we are done with magic. Yeah, a little bit off. 243 XP off, to be exact. There we go. <laughs> 82 magic. Don't ruin this for me, frog. Yeah, back up. We can finally blitz, and we can finally TB with a wizard's mind bomb. Of course, magic potions, too. You know what? I want to go PKing with this. Let's try out PKing. Well, despite my bad gear and my low stats, I'm going to go PKing next video, and I can promise you that I will still be able to get kills. And I should be able to PK at least a little bit of bank. So here's the thing, the account only has 80 strength, 74 ranged, and 82 magic. And in addition to that, the gear I have is very poor, to say the least. Most people that see this account aren't really going to expect much from it, but it definitely can still get kills. I need to go PKing so I can earn enough GP to buy myself a cannon so I can do Slayer, and I need enough GP so I can do Crafting. The sooner that I can get the GP to get those levels up, the sooner I can get out of Region 3. Are you kidding me? Oh, now the Venny boys are on me. Go. Nice. Shouldn't have gotten <laughs> savvy. <laughs> That's huge. Any potions or anything would be great. 87k. Yeah, he's gone. Nice. Ooh, Rune Bar. Actually got bank. Five rune eight bars, black dehyde body in case I die again, which is good. Anti-venom. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, ancient staff. 
Oh my gosh, I really gotta get this loot and get out of here. That's second Gmall all coming in clutch. Two restore potions, too. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Kidding me? Yeah, thanks. Nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, loot and get out. 282k from that. Again, nice alks, nice potions, staminas. Well, it had to end sometime. Yep, all right, good fight. <laughs> had to end at some point. Best thing I've ever done in my life. 700k! I got 409k cash from that. That was like the best thing I could have ever done in my freaking life, bro. Oh my gosh, more ruined boots too, in case I freaking lose them. Oh my gosh. That was a chance. I probably have one chance at this. I get his tank on, which would be very nice. Please. That was my only chance. Holy crap. Messed that up. I messed up the eating. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm done PKing for now. Definitely going to return to it very soon, but for now, I'm just going to see how much GP I got from that. I'm going to get a bunch of Alex and everything. All right. It's okay. That's so nice. <laughs> Another 426k. Dude, I think I'm very close to a 1 mil cash stack now. Jeez. For now, I need more rings of dueling. Look at that. I got a crafting level. This is a stupid idea, but here we are. For real, I'll never do what I'm doing. This is like the stupidest idea ever. All right, I'm going to go buy a dragon battle axe. 200k. I have the cash now. It's going to be a really good tool for Slayer. I need to get myself a few more prayer potions, so I'm going to set up Aberrant Spectres for a bit until I get enough Renar weeds. Hold the phone. You can get mystic bottoms from here. The dark mystic bottoms? Are you freaking kidding me? That This is a 1 in 5, 12 drop? <laughs> I gotta ruin full health from these boys. If I'm being honest, I just got like 43 herb lord. What? Yeah, I just have a lot of crap in my bank. This is probably the last 50 barrels chest I do in a long time, if forever, on this account. I want to see if I can get the tank helmet, tank top, and tank legs. So, let's begin. Give, gib. I'm gonna freaking die. I'm gonna die, dude. Oh my, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude, <laughs> yes. That's that complete. That's the Carol's top and bottom complete. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. We are balling now. I mean, I may as well use these now. Give, come on, come on, give me one of those items. Oh, come on, come on, give me a million, million items, oh, come on, oh my, <laughs> like, what do I do with that, oh, whatever, come on, oh my god, come on, stop giving me these, f these used to be worth something, but I, <laughs> Are you kidding me? I completed. 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 Shaving off. What kind of place is this? Completed. Completed. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh my gosh. I finally have a freaking tank helmet. Look at us. Look how freaking ballin' we are. Oh my gosh. We look so good. I have needed a best in the slot helmet for a while. And this is going to literally be my best in slot helmet for a very long time. For the entirety of region three and the entirety of region four. Tank legs, let me be done. Okay. Are you kidding me? I can I can make my name gridlocked? <laughs> no freaking way. Wow. 
<laughs> How does nobody have this name? Okay, well, that's my new name now. Mm. Probably Wooks, yeah. Hmm. So I just camped here for a couple hours so I can get a few more Renars. But I actually did get a few decent drops from that. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. You know, let's just save you some time. Last chest. Can I get lucky? Nah. That's fine, though. I got more than lucky on everything. Let me show you all the items I got. Of course, the Carol's top, the Carol's bottom, the Guthin's full helm, the Carol's crossbow, the Herm's robe skirt, an axe, and then two war spears. The Carol's top and bottom is going to be very good, and the helmet is the best in slot helmet that I can have for a long time. Even when I do get the helm of Nate is not in the next region, I'm still going to be needing this so I can go and tank. Anyway, since I didn't get a tank top, I'm going to go get a torso from Barbarian Assault. All right, ready? Go on. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that's one down. My team is uh, an elite squad, by the way. Just saying. No, it's actually me and my friends, to be honest. But you know, we're okay. And you're gone again. See ya, bro. All right, that's two rolls done. There we are. Another queen down. That's another penis queen done. I don't get these things. Like. Defender roll is the worst roll because these guys just get existential and stare at a corner for like 20 minutes. They literally just don't want to move. And that's Torso right there. All right, beer bait. Let me go get it. Little do they know I'm never going back. I'm never going back. <laughs> yeah, I could just go for a granite body, bro. That looks better. Better than this. There we go. Last game. Since I really do need tank legs, I guess I'll try my luck at Barrows a few more times. Play lay. Yeah. Tank legs. Okay. Well, if we don't actually end up getting ourselves the tank plate legs, I have another plan. I do have Karamja gloves. I have 12k tackle, and I have enough chaos runes. I can just go and buy myself obsidian plate legs. Go on. Oh, come on. Oh, cool. Plate legs. Oh. Go on. Give me. Oh. Come on. Oh, cool. Come on. Okay. Give me anything. All right. Here's our last chest. Anything. No. Okay. Backup plan now. Obsidian plate legs. All right. So I should be able to sell these to the store for overall nine. Yep. Yeah, people already sold the hell out of the store. There we are. Done. There we go. Pretty. Alright, so at some point I do need to imbue my Slayer helmet. But as of right now, we're going to go back to the grind for a bit. So, the first task, DKs. 79 HP. And I missed it again, of course. 62 Slayer. Good luck. Oh, cool. A couple tasks done. Here's another one. Oh. Woo! Big milestone! 80 63 Slayer. Six more levels to go. Hmm. Hey, good task. Aber inspectors. These tasks are all like two hours each, at the very least. How do I always forget to record the Slayer levels, man? Yeah, these tasks take 12 years. Come on. 122 dragon. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Whoa. I need. How about you give me a little task? 172 black demons. I cannot wait for the fucking rock to crush you. 83 strength right there, man. I right, got that task done. Another task right here. Oh, another level I forgot to record. That's that's cool. Four more to go. All right, done with that task. I think I'm going to go PKing for a little bit so I can get enough money to buy a cannon. So we're just going to have to see how that goes, I guess. <laughs> Come on. That was really bad, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, he's back. Oh my gosh. Get his D-Boots, please. Oh my god. Yes, I won! <laughs> oh my gosh, finally. I was on the line right there, man. Only 93k from that. stepped yes oh my goodness <laughs> got 93k this bed whoops all right what hello Whatever. That was a free 136k. 60 cannonballs, which is nice. More black dehyde, which is super nice. Another G Maul. Bolts. I'll be very good for Vorkath eventually. Go 
on. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes, dude! Archer's helmet and everything. I got the smite on him. How many had like a million freaking things on him? Nah. Still, black dehyde, archer's helm, that's a good elk. Oh my gosh. Good fight. Yes! Good. Well, you know what? I need cannonballs, so that's good. All right, we're changing up the location for now, and we're looking a lot beefier like this. Yes! That was sick, dude. That was so sick. Got two emblems from that. Super nice. And then I got 176k. Mainly the potions is what I'm excited about for that. Just got some more D-bolts and everything. Could have been better, but I'm still very excited for the potions. Die! Yeah, I'm the best, dude. Best PK around. Mysterious emblem and another emblem. <laughs> there you go. Upgrade. Upgrade. And another emblem. <laughs> dude, I think I should just do this to 10. If I do this literally to 10, just finding these guys, then I'll be able to get a lot of alkables. That's it. One more chance. Yes. Emblem? No. That was my chance. I could have killed him. I technically could have killed him right there. I technically could have killed him. I literally just had to hit. Oh my... No! Yeah, I wasn't really happy with dying to one of the biggest noobs in Edge Dungeon. And a lot of the guys that PK here are noobs, but this guy's one of the noobiest noobs ever, and he's risking bank. So, I wasn't cool with that. I geared back up as fast as I could and tried to find him again in a different world. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh! Fury! I got a Fury! I got a Fury! I got a Fury! A Berserker Ring! Oh my gosh, this is like the biggest PK I could have ever gotten in my life on this account. Oh my gosh! I'm actually lightheaded. That's so, 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 so much. I randomly found that guy in a world too. After I calmed down, I realized while it was a big PK, it doesn't really help too much. I mean, it's a slight upgrade to the gear, but... I don't really need it. I mean, the, the best thing out of it was the 300k cash deck, honestly. It will end up making Slayer a bit faster, but that's kind of about it. Regardless, that is the biggest PK that I have gotten on this account, obviously. And it definitely made me want to go back there on all my accounts. Because if you remember, I also PK'd D-Claws in there. I've just PK'd so much loot in there. Point being is you're probably going to see a lot more of Edge Dungeon pretty soon. Hint, hint. Yeah, I'm not going to buy it. Tier 6 from that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Emblem too. Six. Seven? I'm on a seven. Yeah. By the way, if it's not obvious enough, I'm killing people who are either looting or trying to help their friends boost emblems. Oh my god, I could have killed him. Go! Oh, I could have killed him. What are you doing? What is this guy possibly doing? Holy crap. Thank you. Very weird. Got a tier 9, I got the emblem, and then I got 115k. I have more than enough alkables at this point to buy myself a cannon, I think.
Nice. Tier 10. And I got an emblem from that too. Dude, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, I bet I got a lot of Alcables from that too. From everything I got. Mysterious emblem as well. See how many mysterious emblems. 20 emblems as well from that. I mean, it completely shot my supplies as you can see. I have like nothing. I went back and bought a few more, uh, you know, Karen bombs and a few more potatoes with cheese, but I had like 30 prayer potions and now I have like nothing. So now that we have ourselves a tier 10, we can go and get a bunch of alcohols from the store and we can go and finish Slayer, most likely next episode as well. We are also getting very close to completing region three and finally being able to move on to region four. All up in my grid, feeling kind of locked. I'm gonna make love to you with my heart. Oh. Gonna make love to you. Oh, yeah. Make love to you. I'm green now. Yeah. Oh. Well, we got ourselves the tier 10, and now we can finally get a bunch of alcohols five million points dude <laughs> that's so nice and all you have to do is literally just kill emblem boosters i mean i still did get a few pks on pkers here and there but that's all you have to do i do eventually need to get a rune pouch but i really don't need that right now i would much rather prefer to get a bunch of elks how much is this in alcohols 600k yeah okay i you know what I think we're good. I'll leave 1.6 million uh, points in the shop. It's like way more than enough. I already nearly have 1 mil cash, even despite the death with everything. Let me see what else I have to elk. I feel like there's got to be more, to be honest, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go elk this stuff. I also had a berserker helmet there. Let's get elking. Oh my gosh. Safe to say I can buy a cannon now. I got to go get a bunch of iron ore and then start smithing cannonballs. Okay, I got like 300 of them, I think. All right, got them all done. Like 2k task. Good task. Hey, it's me back with missing another level here. 80 HP. All right, task done. Got a clue. Okay. Oh, those can actually be helpful. You know what? I'm very close to 45 herb lore. And at that point, I could just make super attacks. So I'll get an assignment and then I'll see if I can get myself 45 herb lore just to make my slayer a little bit better. Worms. I can't even get there, Neve. Still dragon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Neve. Stop. These are literally tasks I can't do. Whatever. I can at least do that one. 45 herb lore. All right, that's all the irrits I had. Pretty sure I'm close to another. Yeah, I may as well just get to the next level. There we go. Had to get the level. All right, 48 super attack potions. I'll get some more potatoes, more defense potions. I won't get to it. Please don't give me another bad task. You can actually do that. Garbage task, please. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Task done. All right, I'm feeling lucky with this, man. Come on. Oh my god, come on. Why are you like this? 66 Slayer, three more to go. I think when I run out of cannonballs that I'm gonna have to go PKing for more of them. But now the nice thing is I PKed a fire battle staff. Wait, I PK'd a smoke battle staff, so I will be able to splash easier to 85 magic. I didn't need 85 magic before, since I could have just had wizard mind bombs to pot up. But since I have the smoke battle staff that I PK'd, this is just easier to do. All right, task done. Let's see if I can do this clue. Yep, can't do it. Come on, Neve. You know what? That's not even that bad. 84 strength, man. All right, not bad with the cannon, to be honest. Guess that's not bad. You know, I feel like I can finally afford to get a haircut, but it's too aesthetic now. I am just bald. So now that I actually have a cannon, the best way for me to go about getting cannonballs is by PKing people who are doing Slayer in the Revenant Cave. I'm looking to get at least 6,000 cannonballs because that should be enough for me to get 69 Slayer. Oh, come on. That's unfair. That's unfair, bro. Already died right away. Literally right away. Perfect. Oh no, this might be bad. No, you're not getting me. Goodbye. How much cannonballs we get? 312. 966 myth darts though. That'll be good for training. Plus I got some potions too. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh, it's gold. Nice. 
paradise. <laughs> Now, nah. ah, uh, well, you all suck. All of you suck. Well, whatever, time to splash for now. All right, that should be more than enough runes. About a week later, and we are finally done with splashing. 85 magic. Now I'm gonna beat this thing to death. <laughs> Gosh, dude, no freaking way. I gotta go back and get that loot. Dude, did they just leave it? Yeah, I'm home free. I got my dehyde back. I got a DDS. I got my rune crossbow. Yeah, I definitely made more from that. Oh my gosh. Whew. <laughs> Dude, I have literally been doing this for like hours and hours. I just don't find anybody and then I run into PKers nonstop. Oh my gosh, yes, dragon, yes. There it is. Cannonballs, please. 340, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, dude. How much? 84. Yeah, those dudes don't bring that many cannonballs, but it's still worth it. Come on. Yes. Dude, I can't attack him right here. I literally can't attack him right there, dude. Love the potions, dude. Love, love, love the potions. 454 cannonballs as well. Nice. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I almost killed this guy. Yes, dude. These random dudes are helping me out. Yes! There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. I chased that guy like 20 million freaking times. Like all this probably for nothing, but still. Like you saw, he had like what? Like 80 something agility? Don't even know how many freaking cannonballs. All for 259 cannonballs, but obviously it was worth it. Come on. Cannonballs. Come on. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to run out of my uh, supplies at all. Didn't want to use any of them. How many? 55. Dude, you're a cheapskate. Oh my gosh. Does he have the avarice on? He does. Yes, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yes, dude. <gasps> I got the avarice. Yes, I got the avarice. Dude, that's a uh, kind of a big PK, honestly. If I uh, want to sit here and train with it myself, dude, 140 cannonballs. That's good. That is sweet. <laughs> I gotta drop this cannonballs. Well, that's what I want. Well, you know what? You're dropping your cannonballs? I'll take them. Didn't even have to kill them. 200 cannonballs. <laughs> is he AFK? He is. Maybe I can kill him really quick. Come on. Nice. Don't AFK in the wilderness, bro. Come on. It's the one place you don't do it. He totally could have survived, too. Like, easily. 888 cannonballs! 
Oh my gosh. Yes, dude, that is a huge PK. I think you're gonna kill me, bro, come on. There we are, what are we looking at? 140, not bad, just die, bro. There you go. What did you just drink? Yeah, 65. With these dudes, you don't really get too many cannonballs, but you do get green dehydes and you get dragon bones, which is why I go for it. Yes, I actually got a 109, dude. Oh my gosh. Money, cannonball. How many nade is not? Decent. Decent kill. How many cannonballs? 683 plus 100k cash. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, Mysterious Emblem too. 439 cannonballs plus all the prayer potions and everything. Blue. Holy crap. What do you have? Yeah, he's doing a clue. Ooh, the spade. Nice. I think he can get his clue back. Either way, 5.3k fire runes. Well, the full stamina and prayer potions make me very happy, so that was very worth it. I have one chance at this. I've got nothing? I think he got cannonballs. Cannonballs. 40k? No, cannonballs. He said 40k. Let's see if that's true. Oh, he had 50k. What a liar. Oh, uh, yeah, 39 cannonballs. Oh my gosh, smite it as well. Good fight. 430 cannonballs. Good, dude. Yeah, I mean, this guy going in. Oh my gosh, smited. Come on. Yes, good fight. <laughs> 145k. Three cannons in here. One person's gonna have to come back. Well, he scold on accident, so we're gonna kill him. I don't even know if he realized he scold. Go on. No food here. Oh, smited. Smited, I got his boots. I got his boots, dude! <laughs> right? Ancient dehyde boots, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. And I got cannonballs, too. Dude, that is so perfect. 120 cannonballs, but... Ancient dehyde boots and a bandos coif. That is perfect, dude. Now that is perfect. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Please be dead. Yeah, okay, there we go. How many cannonballs? 130, that's okay. Getting more bones, which is good. I had nothing. Hmm. Oh. What? Why do you have five? Okay. Come on. Dude, what are you doing? No tank or anything. Enemy of glory, cannonball. 43 cannonballs, perfect. He's AFK. Yeah, 129. Good, dude. Could be good. 104. Oh, Laren's key. Three of them. I honestly didn't even realize I could get them. Like, I wasn't even thinking about it like that. Three Laren's keys and 600 cannonballs and all of these potions and everything. Dumb idea, yeah, but I'm doing it. Good fight, boys. I'm in multi. You know what? That'll be my ending point for now. Let me go get my keys. Key number one. Ooh. Not bad. Key number two. <laughs> Key 
lucky number three. Wow. We ended up getting roughly 6,000 cannonballs from that, which should get us close to 69 Slayer, if not get us 69 Slayer. And that's important to understand because next episode, not only are we getting 69 Slayer, but we are getting 70 crafting and finally completing Monkey Madness 2 to move on to our fourth region. Madness 2 is just a short bit away, and we're finally going to be able to take on and complete- This idiot doesn't have a clue, does he? He's never had a clue on anything. Not even once. You're making a lot of sense right now. I know. Gridlocked? More like, Grid convince everyone to not watch anymore. Uh, you're on to something there. You're done for, Frame. <laughs> done for. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? It's got 75 range. <laughs> All right. About to finish the task anyway. All right, there we go. Now task's done. I'll go get another one, but I have another clue too. Hey. Uh, Rangers. No. Oh. No way. I actually got dragon legs. No way! These are what I needed! This is literally the reason I was doing this task! Now those are the, uh, the best legs I have for the rest of my Slayer levels. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I didn't bring enough runes. We didn't need it. Yeah, never again though for that task. Literally never again. Two skips. 19 black dragons, I'll do it. Oh yeah, I, I just did the task. It's done now. I'm gonna go get more food. Come on. Okay, that's good. You mean like 90 of them. All right, we're rocking. Seven's pretty good. 67 Slayer. We are so close, man. So close. All right, please. Please give me a good task. Yeah, that's actually good. Dude, this task is amazing. Legit, probably one of the best tasks ever. I didn't even realize how good it was. I got 183k cash. It drops like two to four K at a time, like every one in four times. And it drops alkables. It drops ridiculous amounts of runes. It drops you food to stay there. Like, dude. Probably the best task ever. Yes, good task. Another task done, medium clue. Come on, okay. Don't do this to me, Neve. Just, let's just be cool. Just give me a little task. Ah, right, there we go, that's cool. All right, task done, another task. Come on, ah, right, yeah, let's shake that. One more Slayer level to go, and we are done. All right, new task. All right, new task. All right, new task. All right, another task. Just got 85 strength, that's nice. All right, probably one of the last tasks I gotta do. 12k left and we are done with this freaking skill. Oh, that was a really good yield. Oh my gosh, here it is. Oh, that is big. One of the two requirements down. 69 Slayer. Very, very big thing to get done. The next thing we got to get done now is 70 crafting. There we go, 155k cash. We have so much GP from this. A lot of runes too, so that's pretty cool. Since I need to go and PK, I gotta go get a lot more runes. So there are two reasons why I'm gonna go PKing. One, I'm gonna kill green dragon bots for their green dehyde, and two, I am PKing them so I can get some GP so I can do another crafting method. I vote no. Cool, man. Respect from me. I got his dragon scimitar. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't even get anything I wanted. Oh, a Laren's key. I want that. I got 95k. Oh my god, he's an Iron Man too. So I got his rune boots. So I guess to go get those again. All right, there we are. Oh my gosh, go on then. Oh my. Is this guy in full rune? Oh my gosh, what is he doing? That's not gonna work for you. That was admin H5 plate body. We're gonna be doing this for a while to get the dehydes we need. Hey, never mind, we're good. Hey, I got a glory from him. There we go. That's the mother load right there. All these freaking bones. Oh my god, he's trying to TB me. Are you kidding me? 
and he TB'd me successfully. In Dehyde. Yo, are you kidding me? I'm gonna die to this guy? I swear. Okay, I I would have been very, very upset if I died to that dude. Yeah, that's a weird dude. Nice. What are we looking at, though? Not bad. What the hell? Oh, look at this. Ah, pretend like I'm scared. Yep. Thanks, man. Oh, he's so bad. Yep. Oh my gosh. PK Bank. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Oh, he has debones and everything, too. That was like the easiest thing ever, dude. 430k PK. Nice new set of Mystic just for the fashion scape. A bunch of potions. That was so easy. <laughs> Perfect. More. Knob. Okay. He plays the piano for his own enjoyment. I bet he does. Alright, well, these guys are weird, but they do drop <laughs> green dragon hide. There we are, rune plate body. All these bots are 100% gonna loot the rest of these. God damn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Coins. Maybe he had Barrow's Gloves? I don't know. Hmm. Ragbolt him to death. Good. Alright, yeah. I'm done with this. Let's see how much we got, though. We should have gotten a decent amount. 230 green dehydes. Got 238 debones. Alright, I'm gonna tan all of these hides, and then I'm gonna turn them into van braces, and then I'm gonna alk the van braces. That should give me a decent amount of GP. Then I think I'm gonna explore other options for crafting. Yeah. Didn't even get a single level. <laughs> Close to 60, though. Alright, now I gotta alk them all. Alright, 342k. Good amount of GP from that. It's 1.4 mil now. Alright, now we can go and explore other crafting options. So honestly, I knew about this method before, but I never really thought that it was that viable because I've never looked into it until a lot of people told me to. This is the method. You go and you get a bunch of chaos runes from the Wizards Guild or whatever shop and you sell them in Morrek or pretty much the Tazar City. Then there is a shop in the southeast of Morrek where you can buy uncut gems. So you buy out the sapphires and the emeralds and then for me, since I don't actually have a gem bag i just ran to the northeast where there is a bank with a gem bag this makes it so much faster but without a gem bag it's not terribly slow it, it of course just takes quite a few more hours but it's not that big of a deal because i didn't want to go and get a gem bag all right last inventory all right, let's go see how many we got and we got a lot all right, let's get to chiseling probably the last level i'm gonna get just from cutting these still gotta turn them into bracelets and stuff all right now it's time to spend like all this on gold ore i'm gonna need to get my smithing to 70 anyway so it's worthwhile. Need a little bit more GP, so I'm just gonna alk this stuff. All right, here we go. I got an extra 268k. That's a lot. Okay, we're good. Now we can start making them. All right, that's good. We're done. Got 58 smithing from that too. I'm gonna need 70 eventually anyway. This is probably gonna be the last crafting level I get with these gems, but we are four crafting levels away from getting 70 crafting. I'm pretty much just gonna need GP to make it happen. All right, these are all the bracelets that we got. So I think I'm going to alk the diamond bracelets and the ruby bracelets in between hopping worlds so I don't get the logout timer and then I could just sell these sapphire and emerald bracelets back to the store. Okay, last one. All right, we're gonna leave 400k and then we can use 1.2 mil once more to go and buy more rooms. Then we could buy more gems and get back to cutting them and making them and doing smithing. Uh, I hate this. Time to go sell them now. I right, got 107k. This should get us a lot. All right, last bit of tackle. Took me like two and a half, three hours to do that. Definitely hated it. But overall, we have like 2,100 gems to cut. Probably the last crafting level we're going to get just from chiseling emeralds. So I have a Laren's key, and I need to get a little bit more GP. So I'm kind of hoping I either get gold ore, which I don't even think drops that, or an alkable. Oh, perfect. So I think I'm just going to alk a few things in my bank that I really don't need anymore. You know, I don't need the Dragon Battle Axe because I'm done with Slayer. 
Don't need the two D Sims. Can knock a few of these. Don't need any combat bracelets. I could probably off all of them. Oh, I also have the cannon. I completely forgot about that. I could probably get most of my money back for that too, but let's still out everything anyway. Let's get, get a big old boy cash deck. All right, 382K. Yeah, that's pretty much just best to everything. All right, last inventory. All right, we got to make another 2,000 and then crafting should be done. Oh my gosh. We are done. Oh my gosh, that feels so good to be done. The two big milestones that I had for this account, 69 Slayer and 70 Crafting, are now completed. I believe all that's left is Hunter, but as of right now, I want to go get my cash back. So I'm going to go and sell these to the shop. And that's everything. I think the only thing left to really do here is to get myself Hunter. I mean, as well as two thieving levels, but that's nothing. But then I just need to unlock the Gnome Stronghold route for Enlightened Journey. Well, I think Hunter's got to get busted out first, to be honest. Hey guys, my Hunter level is 15. I'm actually done with Hunter. Up until level 33, I still have like 27 levels to go. 51 hunter so far. Dude, this took me literally all day to do this. 9 to 60 hunter is the slowest worst grind in the entire game. I hate that. Without doing birdhouses, that just sucks. I mean, you're able to do it in just one day if you do it straight, but that right there, that was very click intensive. There we are, 55 thieving. Are you kidding me? So for this, I need to get three magic logs, which I have, but I need to get 60 wood... Wait fire making oh that's gonna be such a long process yeah so in order to get 60 fire making i would need to chop and burn 1915 willow logs which would take a very long time there's got to be another way and i think i know what that way is <laughs> Come on, dude. Dang it, dude. Took me like 45 minutes to even find this guy. All right, I literally just found three people all in a row, back to back to back, so we'll see if it actually works. I should probably never PK again in my life. Dude, it's been hours. It's been two hours. How can I not kill dudes like this? Yeah, first to get killed. Also got a range level. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst ideas I've ever done. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's AFK. Please! Yes! <laughs> That's how I get kills on people. They have to be AFK. Oh, there we go. Magic logs, glory, black dehyde. Well, I mean, I got some potions. I mean, it's, it's okay logs, honestly. I think a lot more people are on now. Ah, sad. I just don't have enough DPS output to be able to kill these guys. Yeah, it's got 63 wood cutting. All right, I've been doing this for like over an hour because I'm not going to be able to PK them. So let me see how many logs I got this inventory. Yeah, that's not really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, chop logs myself. All right, that took hours and hours. But now we have all our maple logs. It took like an hour and a half. Not bad, but now we're finally done. We can go unlock the balloon route now. And there we are. Balloon route unlocked. Well, here it is. Can finally start Monkey Madness 2 and complete Region 3 to go on to the next area. Let's begin. What?
Oh, there we go. Woo! First try, at least. There we go, dude. Monkey Madness 2 has been completed. Region 4 unlocked. Finally, man. Let's go and get our extra XP, and then we can go into Region 4. Finally! I think we should put it on range, to be honest. We'll put it on range. I'm gonna need to get some range levels for Dragon Slayer 2. I think we're gonna get like 80 something, 85 range for Dragon Slayer 2. But for now, we don't have to worry about that. For now, we are finally going to go and unlock everything we need to complete Dragon Slayer 2 and go into Region 4. The main obstacle I'm going to have to overcome for Region 4 is getting these stats required for Dragon Slayer 2. And normally this wouldn't be too hard, but since I don't have access to the GE, I'm going to have to get myself raw cash so I can afford to get 70 smithing and 50 construction, which is going to be quite a decent amount of money. There's that, I have to complete a decent amount of quests, and I also need to grind out some other stats, which are just going to take a decent amount of time to do. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right. Time to go do Fremi Trials. alley -oop. That's Fremitic Trials. Now we gotta go get Fremitic Isles completed. Hey, I got an HP level out of it. And a thieving level. Well, you need 20 construction. I've been putting off doing construction for a long time because it costs a lot of GP, but 20 construction ain't that bad. Plus, I eventually need like 50 for Dragon Slayer 2 anyway. Well, since I have to do a bit of construction, I decided that I'll just unlock the balloon route so I can get to the sawmill very fast. There we are, 20 construction. Now we can go do Fremmy Isles. I wanna get my character hair first though, cause I kinda feel like my character deserves it. We're looking hot again. Dude, I'm sitting here just doing this quest and I get completely roasted. What the hell? It's a hard decision. I guess hit points, huh? There we go, Fremmy Isles completed. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one real quick. Ooh, 27 construction from that. Dude, that's solid. Look at us. We actually look halfway decent, man. We just need the dragon boots. I guess we're gonna have to PK those or something. And an archer's helm. Perfect, got everything we need. Okay, we're done. That only took me three days. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really even want to do it. So I kind of just AFK'd it over the past three days. All right, how much are we getting? Six, that's not bad. I just realized I can finally do this clue now that I'm in this area. All right, I was able to do the clue. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, uh, I can do it. I can still, still technically do it. So we'll, we'll just put this in the do later pile. Dude, this puzzle only took me four minutes and 40 seconds seconds i got like the luckiest combination ever you just literally go right down like this i've never gotten this lucky period with this quest all right lunar diplomacy completed we just need to do dream mentor now and then we'll go with all the quests here here we go dream mentor completed that's one of the sub requirements for dragon slayer 2 what can we use this on what do you want wow all right rude there we go 77 arranged so i'm going to attempt to do the quest taibawani trio right now so i have the ability to buy a raw karen bomb and i think i should be able to complete the quest but there is a chance that i actually burn the karen bomb that i am going to be given and if that's the case then i need to get 65 fishing so i would be able to catch another one i'm not going to be doing that so we'll see if i'm actually able to complete this quest or not oh my god are you kidding me you cook the karen bomb it looks very dodgy wait is that, is that what you're supposed to do? Try again if you burn. Ah, oh, thank God I did it. Okay, man. Shabu and Shrio done. Literally did this quest just so we can do our elite clue. Please let me do this. Oh, I literally need to do another quest for this. But I'm way too far to just not do it. Oh, I dropped my clue here. I literally just dropped it. You can see the red... You can see the red dot. But you can't see the clue there? No. 
No. It's got to be somewhere. Here, ground items. Look. Look. You, you've got to be kidding me. This is how I lose my clue scroll? The one I literally waited months to do? You've got to be kidding me. I just dropped it to get rid of the freaking thing. And now it's in the ground. This is the stupidest thing in the world. I am six steps in to this clue. I just spent the past three hours doing quests for this. And now it's just on the ground. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's gone. I'm going to kill everyone in this f***ing city. I'm killing everyone in this rotten city. Just, yeah, it's just gone. You drop any item there and it's just gone. Okay, well, maybe we'll get something good from this. Master clue. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, got that done. It's one of the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. In Depths of Despair complete. Give me a million spider cubes. Alright, so I'm new. Do agility till I hate myself. I have literally done this all day. And I have gotten 67 agility from this. I just need to get one more mark of grace. But I have literally done agility the entire day. That is literally 13 hours that I will never get back in my life. Wasted on clicking on a freaking rooftop. Let's go get a graceful bottoms and look aesthetic. Graceful bottoms? Completed. Wait, one more time. Graceful bottoms? Completed. Okay, one more time. Are you serious? You're yeah. just... <laughs> yeah, say, say it again. I, I oh. wasn't recording. Oh. Graceful bottoms? Completed. All right, it's been a long enough time. I think I finally need to imbue my Berserker ring. Yeah, of course, it was just a bit short. Just got to go back in there for like a little bit more. All right, like two hours, over two hours probably. I don't know. All right, enough playing around. It's finally time to become a legend. All right, we did it. Or legends. Wasn't really that hard, man. Oh, I already got one. Yeah. Who needs 85 smithing? This shop sucks. Man, I kind of hate these cats, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little magic trick to them. Binkus Bunkus, you're, you're disappunkus. You're gone now. You made, you, you got, you disappeared. Wait, what's, what's a better, what's a better spell? Binkus Bunkus, the cats are no longer am among us. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're gone now, though. Hey, thanks, man. Ghost Ahoy. Just have Bone Voyage, and then we have all the quests done. Then we just need the stats, and that's gonna be fun. 10,000. Yep. Alright, we're gonna do this stupidly, man. Yep, we're doing it. Eternal Glory. Come on, man. Yeah, this quest is the worst. Well, that's it, though. That's all the quest requirements that we got. Alright, let's just activate this little necklace on it, and then we need to go get GP so we can get a construction up, and so we can get our smithing up. Get, like, 200k for the runes I need. You know what? Don't ever do this, what I'm doing, because I've literally already found three people here, but his real name is Jim Locked. Yeah, that's Jimmy's real name. Don't show him that, though. He hates you. He hates knowing his real name. Yo, someone actually bought from the freaking PvP worlds, man. All right, that's good. All right, here we go. Round two. Looking like this. Gonna get another tier 10 emblem. Okay, perfect. There goes all my stuff. Hmm, this guy's really bad. I feel like I could smite for his AGS. Oh, dead. Oh, come on. I needed that. I needed that, bro. Woo! God, you gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, finally. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for a new strategy. I don't think it's gonna work here. All right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch up the strategy now. Gotta be done. There we go, I just killed him. This guy's boosting emblems. What did I get? Oh. Uh, he had a tier 7 on him when I originally saw him. Oh my gosh. All right. We will slowly but surely get ourselves this tier 10. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. That almost freaking worked. <laughs> oh my. Are you kidding me? What? Alright. Please. Thank goodness. Alright. Tier 4. Oh, he actually had stuff too. Yes! Another one. Tier 5. 
Okay, here we go. Tier six. By the way, this is like literally like an hour or so apart. It's not going fast like it seems it is. <laughs> All right, cheers, Sharon. Are you kidding me? He's gonna tell you here. Yep. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> he actually died here. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Tier 8. Okay. Tier 9. Oh, I got it back. Nice. There we go. Tier 10. Oh. That was like six hours. I mean, to be honest, the stats of this account are still really bad, so, you know. Can't really PK anybody else but, like, looters and people who are trying to boost emblems. Overall, we have 23 mysterious emblems as well. All right, time to cash it in. Yep, there you go. Five million points. All right. Put it all on rune plate legs. All right, so I got a lot out of my bank. I, of course, have the plate legs and everything, but I got a lot of other stuff out of the bank. So I'm going to alk everything I have here and see what we get. Keeping in mind, I have 852k cash at the moment. Oh, my gosh. 1.2 mil. Oh, that's so good looking. 2.1 mil cash, pretty much, man. Too bad I have to spend, like... Like, a lot of my money, though. Like, that's not cool. So, the first thing I'm going to be going for is 50 construction. And the best way for me to get 50 construction is to get access to the Woodcutting Guild, which requires 75% favor. The Woodcutting Guild has oak trees, as well as a sawmill that is very close to a bank. Which is going to make this grind a lot easier. So, it's definitely worth getting the 75% favor in Hesidius. Alright, finally done. Now we can go and start the grind. You don't know my story. No, I think it's all of them. Yep. Now comes the fun part. Yeah, I just watched a guy get lured out of a bank by that trade scam. So, like, don't ever trade or follow anybody. Because, like, those drag in. Anyway, this is pretty much the process I'm doing. I teleport to the house portal. Go into builder mode. Build my little chairs. And once I hit 33, I'm going to be doing oak larders. And this is pretty much me until 50 construction. There we go. 50 construction. Not a terrible grind. Literally from start to finish, it just took one day. Yeah, I'm going to need to get more money. We need to go PKing again so we'll be able to afford smithing since we don't have enough GP right now to be able to buy out all the gold ore. So next video, we will get 70 smithing. We'll get all the requirements that we need. And we will get ourselves Dragon Slayer 2 completed and move on to the fifth and final region. Yeah, so, you know, I really hate agility, but I needed to get 70, so it took me four days from whatever agility level I was before. I think I was like 63. Frickin' finally done with this. Oh my gosh, that feels so nice to be done. I needed to get this done eventually anyway, so now I just have 70 agility. Got my little clubbies. Okay, so I need to make about 1 mil more cash so I can get myself 70 smithing. So again, I'm going to go and kill anybody I can while getting myself a tier 10. Oh, come on. Yes, it actually worked. Nice. Oh, my. 217K. The raw cash really helps out a lot, man. That guy was very bad. Well, that was my only chance on this guy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Close. Dude, I can't believe I actually got him. Should just tell you right away. Dude, decent loot actually? Oh my gosh, the prayer potions. That is so nice. I was actually running pretty low on prayer potions, man. I was like about out. <laughs> Legit, dude, look. Going freaking prayer potions. 200k worth of prayer potions. Well, that guy got skipped, so... Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Oh. What? He had a light ballista? What are you doing? Dude, what? I don't even need a light ballista. I can't even do anything with it, but like, that was the last thing I expected. That was honest to God the last thing I expected to just PK right there off of that freaking guy. You know, that was kind of weird the way I even got it anyway, so I'll just sell it to the store. Oh my gosh, dude. Imagine. Oh my 
my gosh. What are you doing, bro? How much was that? 139k. Huh. Well, either way, it's a free emblem upgrade, which is good. And I guess there's some free alcohols in there. Come on. Dude. Could have gotten him again. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. I destroyed that man. I got two emblems from that. I got the six and then I have 300, about 400K from that. That's really good for alcohols. There we go. Oh my gosh, the freaking hits. Oh, come on. Dude. Tier 9, one more. Oh, he's in level 20. Yep. Dang it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Free tier 10. That was really convenient. Hey, look at that. So for the cash deck, we have 900k just about, and there is a lot of stuff in my bank that I can actually elk. So I'm going to find a bunch of things I need to elk, and I will see how much I need overall in the end. I feel like I had a million more things to elk, but I guess not. Anyway, cash it in, elk all this stuff. Yeah, it definitely feels like I had more to elk, but I guess not. I feel like just buying 15 rune plate legs is good enough for now. I can leave 2.2 mil in the shop. There we go. 712k extra on top of the 897k that we have. That should be more than enough to finish off the rest of the gold ore. Because I think I only need to spend one mil more on the rest of the gold ore anyway. Hey, so I'm buying out gold ore again because they finally have the money. And I just realized a bunch of random events are actually stored down here, dude. <laughs> Not sure what that is, but that is the Gravedigger random event. If you can literally see, I can get a right click on it. And I couldn't tell you what that one is. But I'm pretty sure that this is where all the random events are stored. Yeah, there we go. Last inventory. I think that's actually a little bit over. That's going to be enough to get myself 70 smithing then we just need to get, I think, a few more skills, and we are already good to go and complete Dragon Slayer 2. Well, actually, we're going to need to do one more thing, but you'll see what that one more thing is soon. Oh, my gosh. Ah, it feels so good to have smithing done. Give me my cash back, bro. So we only have two more skills, I think, until we are done, right? Or am I just making that up? Yeah, I'm definitely not making that up right now. We only have two more skills left. Mining and thieving. Thieving is not going to be bad, but mining is going to suck. At the very least, we get to do it in the mining guild. So that should make it a decent bit faster. You know, I loved mining so much that it took me a total of three days to get it done. I just really wanted to savor it. So I'm so glad that I got to spend three days getting my little mining level up 60 thieving finally have all of the requirements for dragon slayer 2 but of course we do have one last thing that we need to do aside from buying food we need to get ourselves ruby bolts e and diamond bolts e and i know i place with an abundant source of both of those things killing kbders baby bad doesn't matter though uh-oh we should probably get out of here at least we got some okay loot from that nice there we go first kill please tell me he has oh, adamant bolts weak man that is weak oh perfect See ya. Oh. Yes, diamond bolts. If he literally has like a hundred or something, then I'm good. That's literally like all I need. <gasps> yes. All right. Uh, I honestly think that's all I will need, but I could go with ruby bolts too. So I would prefer to get some of those.
almost killed this guy. Perfect. Yeah, whatever. I think I'm good on the bolts, to be honest. I gotta get myself fletching anyway, because I could just make myself ruby bolt tips. So to go about getting my fletching relatively fast, I decided that I will buy steel arrow tips as well as iron arrow tips from fletching stores around RuneScape. At first, I thought the arrow tips were only sold at the Void Knights Outpost until I realized that they're actually sold in the Archer's Guild. And then I realized they're actually sold in Catherby. And they're probably sold a few more places too. So I just kept hopping between the shops until I figured out which one was best for me. Then I got the fletching up. All right, now it's time to get feathers. Oh, never mind. I literally already have enough. All right, we're fine. Oh, I also have uh, a lot of headless arrows. <laughs> All right. Since it will take a long time and a lot of GP to actually get myself 63 fletching, I think I'm just going to get myself 60 and then stew my way to 63 and then just make the ruby bolt tips right there. All right. I think that's more than good. I had to spend a lot of my cash stack to actually get this, though. But this should safely get me 60 fletching. All right. That's 60, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my myth arrows because I'm going to train with all these arrows anyway. I want to get myself at least 80 ranged before I actually attempt Dragon Slayer 2. Dude, my cat is such a freaking weakling. Just kill it, man. You're gonna die. Spec him out, bro. Come on. Bro, risk it. Risk it, bro. Risk it. All right, let's see how lucky we can get. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Literally on the first try. That is so lucky. Dude, that couldn't have been any more perfect, honestly. Ah, oh, man. I need more cosmics. Let's just go get him how we normally get him. Might be poisoned too. Nub. Oh, I hope you're poisoned. There's no way you're not dead. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you don't even have a single cosmic rune. Oh my gosh, dude. That was ridiculous. 69, that's a decent amount. Maybe one more. Perfect. All right, what are we looking at overall? 125. That's good. That's very, very good. Perfect. All right, we are all set for Dragon Slayer 2. Now I just have to actually train my ranged. There we go. 80 ranged. All right, I just got the level. Here we go, man. It's finally time to start Dragon Slayer 2. I know it doesn't look like it took a long time, but it took me two weeks to actually get to this point. And the thing is, if I die, I can't afford my items back. I literally can't afford to die because I don't have the GP. You're very quite tough Always having bad luck You think you're going crazy Look up, there's a new life waiting Your head's buried in the sand You've been dealt the wrong hand Can't imagine how you feel Only you know that it's real Don't look back, just can't Try I defeat Galvec. Oh my gosh. And this guy gets cleared in one hit. Should have saved next time, bro. That was bad. I cannot believe 
I did that on the first try. Sorry, Neat. Looks like Neat would rather be alone right now. Hey, wanna go out? You have to help them fill our library of knowledge. Yeah, you're welcome. I just wanna get myself one of the capes. Who's at the bank, dude? Who actually uses this freaking bank? Come on, Jack, give me the good stuff. There you go. Thanks, Jack. You're a good guy, man. <laughs> We're gonna be doing another gridlock video. That's right, guys. So make sure you smash that mother oh. like button. Uh, we're gonna be heading into the wilderness today, guys, and we're gonna be killing some guys for some epic lootations. <laughs> Now that I've completed Region 4, I finally have access to Region 5, which sees me unlocking a major piece of content, the Grand Exchange. Last episode saw us completing Dragon Slayer 2 without any deaths, so now we are on our fifth and final region, and our goal is to get a quest cape and unlock the grid. And with a quest cape, I will be able to do Raids 1 and Raids 2, then I'll be able to make enough money for my Infernal Cape, and at that point I will be able to have the strongest PvP account in the entire game. But, for now, I want to be able to actually sell the things that I've had in my bank from the beginning. First of all, just uh, in case, you know, people thought I would actually come to the Grand Exchange, literally for whatever reason, I didn't. I didn't come to the Grand Exchange at all. So, there is a lot in my bank. I'm just going to, you know, scroll on through it. You can see whatever I have. I'm going to look through it for a while, see what I can sell, because I have a decent amount of stuff to sell, including those guts and spears that I got double of that I literally don't even need. A lot. There's a lot in here that I can sell. Plus, I have my clues, too. I want to be able to do that at some point. Dude, there's just a lot to do, and I'm really excited to actually do it, so... Let's get ourselves a lot of GP, and then we can start questing. I also need to get myself 77 prayer eventually, but 70 prayer. I'm just really excited to do all this, man. Finally, I can go from having a dud crap account to something halfway decent. I'm sure I'm missing something, to be honest, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell everything I have here. I know there's more stuff in my bank. I'll actually get that, too. I'll sell the Slayer Helmet, because I don't really think I need that at all. At least not for a long time. And of course, I can always just buy it back. It's not even imbued. Alright, let's start to sell everything, man. Again, nothing in the history. First price check, already 7.8 mil. Second price check, 11 mil at least. Wow. Third price check, final price check, 13 mil. Dude, that's very nice. Plus, I think I'm gonna sell some of the Barrow stuff that I have because I really don't need it anymore. I could go train right now since I could just buy prayer potions and buy everything I finally need to get. But I think we're just going to dive right into questing and just start off with literally all the quests. Just work our way towards Song of the Elves. Before anything, I actually think I'm going to start off doing all of these clue scrolls first. See if I can get anything from them. I doubt I can complete the master. All right, that's one clue. That's another casket. Another clue. And that one was literally one step. All right, let's see if we get anything worth anything. Nope, 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 and... Oh! Dude! <laughs> Pretty good, I already have these, so I can just literally pop them right back in and sell them, and then I can sell these. Dude, that was pretty decent. So I think there's a few more things that I can do. First, I think I need to build myself two portal rooms. You know, at this point, it's actually worth getting a rune pouch too, so I will go ahead and just get one. All right, one, two, room one, room two, altar room, and glory room. Altar, and that's glory. And that's all the portals. There's actually a few more I could get, but... It's okay for now. Completed. Completed. From bleeded. From fleeted. So the next quest I want to get done is Fairy Tale Part 2. So I have to get myself at least 46 farming and 57, 56 herb lore so I can just boost to get the stats for that quest to complete the quest. Herb lore ended up costing me a decent amount, but I think that I'll be able to get a decent bit back from it. Then there's farming, which also didn't really cost me that much. Plus, it really shouldn't be that bad. I think it should pretty much just be like two days of runs and I'm there. Like, maybe not even. Here we are. One more herb lore level needed yeah this is gonna be like 
a bad loss. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a bad loss. All right, whatever. I'm literally gonna just stick them in there at 304. Why not? So I got a decent amount more out of my bank. So I'm going to sell everything in here and see how much we get. And I'm kind of sad that I'm selling the helm because it's been with me for so long. But I really don't need it anymore. There we go. 4.3 mil. Jeez, that is a lot. Extra 200k from it. Here we go, 57. I'm eventually gonna need to get myself 70 herb lore anyway for Song of the Elves. All right, that's the last farming level of this run. All right, so it's finally time to get myself 70 prayer. I've been holding on to this for long enough. I've literally wanted it for such a long time too. So I am just going to get this done by burying them at the Gilded Altar. So here's how we're gonna do this relatively fast. I'm going to set my spawn point to Camelot and do this in a PvP world. So once I die from the altar, because I'm just gonna continuously suicide, I respawn right here here grab another inventory of bones and then teleport right out it'll make it a lot faster the only thing is i just have to start and do the knight's training ground waves which i had to do this at some point anyway so i'll just do it here we go see the only problem with that is that i got 71 defense so it looks kind of you know like a dumpster fire but i'm okay with that yo what the heck man i'm gonna go kill those guys hey i'm gonna kill you now <laughs> <laughs> there we go, man. 70 prayer. I died like six times or something like that. Uh, I guess I'll use the rest of these. Didn't take that long, too. And I actually ended up saving a decent amount of bones. I only really lost like two inventories. And I still saved 100 bones in the end. That's really nice to get out of the way, though, man. I'm super happy to actually have Pity. Plus, I mean, I don't want to look at this. So I'll just buy Preserve, too. Calls like 40k or something like that. I can get it with the remaining bones they have. Yeah, perfect. All right, just got 47 farming out of that. So let's just go and get this quest done so we never have to do it again. This has got to be one of the coolest places that was ever designed. Hey, according to some analytics that I just made up, you guys should subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. Just imagine that. Just imagine me with 300,000 subscribers. What are the odds, right? So since that's going to be the next big goal of mine, you guys are going to hear me begging for subscribers a lot. So how about you just shut me up and subscribe? Hello, my queen. There we go, man. Anyway, let's get back to it. Lundeeded. G-R-I-D-L-O-C-K-E-R. Wait. I don't think that's right. By the way, I just got 70 wood cutting, so I don't ever need to do wood cutting on the account again. Well, I'm going to need Tarn's Diary at some point, so I got that too. Quite a few more quests to go, but as I'm doing it, I'm slowly training up my rune crafting with all of the activities I'm doing. So if I'm lucky, I might not have to train it at all. There's another quest. That's Olaf's quest. That's Rag and Bone Man Part 1. And that's Rag and Bone Man Part 2 done. Uh, yeah, so whoever decided that making a second part to Rag and Bone Man would be a good idea with a 1 in 4 drop rate on... 27 different monsters. Yeah, it wasn't that good or funny of an idea. That's Rat Catchers. That's Throne of Miscellanea. That's Royal Trouble. I'm gonna make my cat a Christian. There you go, buddy. That's Tower of Life. That's What Lies Below. That's a Soul's Bane. I hate this quest. That's Spirits of the Elite. I needed 57 for Swan Song, but I got 58 instead. Now we can go do it. That's Swan Song. All right, so next up, I need to get myself 50 rune crafting. And instead of actually rune crafting, I'm going to do all of the achievement diaries that I can to get myself to 50. I feel like that's a more productive use of my time anyway. 46. That's 47 rune crafting. That's 48 rune crafting. That's 49. And there we go. 50 <laughs> rune crafting. The natural way. That's how you actually get 50 rune crafting, okay? Not by actually rune crafting. Rangers. Oh, close. I literally can't stop getting freaking medium clues, dude. I'm trying to do devious minds right now, and I just keep getting medium clues. Yeah, Rangers. Ah, uh, where are they? You know, I really don't need these anymore. I'd rather just get the money for them. Yeah, baby. Plus, I can replace it with that for the fashion scape. See? That's Devious Minds. So, it takes like over an hour to get favor for Lovacang, right? Very, very annoying. Then this quest is very stupid and takes at least half an hour. And what's your reward for it? You get 10% favor. 10%. Go frick yourself. That's the Queen of Thieves done. And let me be honest with you guys. Getting favor is one of the least funny things ever. I hate it. That's a scent of Arcus. Yeah, I've literally killed 350 of these things, so... I think I'll just go and get the Achievement Diary done. I want to get myself the Xerix Talisman, because I'm going to need it eventually. I've been here so long that I have gotten 81 range from this. 
All right. Finally. Where is it? Thank goodness, dude. Finally freaking got it. I got 66% favor. Wow. Never again. Thank God. That's all the freaking Zaya quest done. I don't gotta do this crap anymore. Man, this world sucks. I hate it. Slowly but surely, we are making our way towards 70 farming. It's just really, really slow, though. Like, really slow. That's Darkness of Hallowville. That's a Taste of Hope completed. Also got a little experience tome. Yeah, put it all on, uh... Yeah, baby! Only five more quests remain. All right, thank God. Never have to mine on this account again. Now all that's left is 66 fire making. There we go, 66 fire making. Guess I'll finish up Winter Todd and start making... A Making, uh, making, uh, making friends with my arm. So that is the last quest that I have to do before the big four final quests. Well, technically the big last final quest. I still have to get Roving Elves done, Morning Zen Part 1, Morning Zen Part 2, and then Song of the Elves. For now, I'm just going to get all of these stats that I need for Song of the Elves. So pretty much I just have to move into money making, and I think I have to do Tith Farming, Tithe Farming, whatever it's called, till 70. Yeah, it's going to be fair. Alright, so I didn't have to get 63, and maybe... Just maybe, if I sell literally all of these, we can literally just keep doing this until 70 air blur. Yeah, so for that many potions, I lost 1.7 mil. Uh, I mean, I could just always make money again. I have Vorkath now, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what's the best. Well, if I hate myself, I can always buy 14,759 guams and just make attack potions with the Eye of Newts, but... Uh, I don't want to do that because that's going to take a really long time. So I would just rather figure out what's better and then spend all the money. So out of all of that, I pretty much have a 1 mil cash stack left. And I'm going to get 2.6 mil left from it. So I'll have 3.6 mil, 3.7. Whatever, I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Here we go. Bled all my cash out, but we are finally 70 herblors. So that's one requirement down. Just get all my strength potions. Okay. Well, we have a decent bit of cash to work with. So all we have left to do at this point is to do some money making, get all of these stat requirements for Song of the Elves, and then finally unlock the grid. <laughs>give me some dirt age oh so for hunter i think i'm gonna do bird houses for a little bit and to make money i'm gonna do barrows but i think i need to get myself the mauritania hard diaries done because at least with mauritania hard i get double the amount of runes from here so i'll do like a few runs maybe just one i'm already here oh there we go first item mm. and i died in barrows Love you. yep oh i got a chain skirt too Dude, I am getting pretty freaking lucky. How much is that? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I got a double uh, item chest thing. Holy crap. Yeah, it's got Darok plate legs and Aram's robe skirt. I'm pretty sure that's like a couple mil. All right, one mil for the Darok's legs and 2.3 mil for the Aram's uh, robe skirt thing. Nearly 2.4 mil. Dude, that's freaking amazing. I'm putting 4.5 mil in there. Dude, I already made back like everything from Barrows. I'm so happy with that. I'm going to keep doing this, honestly. I really enjoy it. I'm also waiting to finish some more Tanya diaries, but I have to wait for the things to be planted. Here we go, man. Hard more Tanya diary done. I think it's like unlimited teleports too. Yep, it is. Nice. 57 farming too. I've been slowly training it up. Major. Oh. Can't do it? Nah, I can't. Oh, can't do this one? Yeah, I can't. Oh, another clue. Can I do this? Uh, more fishing? No, I cannot. Slowly but surely, we're getting this up. Oh, there we go. We're doing good on the rune so far, too. I just reloaded everything. I think I'm going to have to buy a little bit more blowpipe scales and everything. But we're doing pretty good right now. I think I want to use the rest of my Barrows teleports. And I should be good on cash for the rest of my stats and for, like, everything else. Got an HP level. Oh, there we go. Another item. I'm pretty sure that's a big item, too. Let's see. Oh, uh, no. I thought it was, like, 2 mil or something like that. I'm not going to complain. Let me see if I can get the collection log. See what we've gotten so far. Yeah, we've gotten a good amount of items so far. Oh. Yeah, that's something. Uh oh, did you look at that? Uh, oh. Yeah. Huh. Man, let me try. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> it worked for me. <laughs> this guy had a little spell and it didn't work for him. But, I mean, it worked for me. Hey, my Aram's thing sold. Oh, it's, it's not even that expensive. 
It's okay. I'm still gonna still gonna sell it anyway though, because I just want the GP out of it. Oh, another one. That one's expensive, I think. It's <laughs> not. Never mind. <laughs> I've literally done barrows all day. There we go. Done. I've done it literally all of yesterday and all of today just to get all of the money that I'm going to need for this thing. I got 3.5 mil even. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm done for now. I, I was going to do another 10, but no, I'm, I'm done. I think 250 is a good even number to go for. This should be more than enough money for the rest of my skills. Anyway, let's go. And first of all, I want to just show you how much GP I have overall because I, you know, of course, got the items and sold them. 9.8 mil, about 10 mil. Now we can go and sell all of these runes. I should get like three, four mil for it too. Yeah, or six mil. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wrong. I'm too tired to keep up. But 15 mil, nearly 16 freaking mil, man. That is why Barrows is amazing. It is slow and steady cash overall. Plus, I did get really lucky. I admit that, but... Slow and steady cash. Yeah, of course I didn't record it, but I just got 65 farming. So I can finally grow my first Hespori seed on the account. Here we go. Okay, 70 hunter, done. Next up is construction. All right, so for 70 construction from my current level of 54, I need to get 9,767 oak planks. And that's kind of pricey, but good thing we made all that money from Barrows. That, and I gotta go hire a butler, too. So, this grind shouldn't be terribly long. I really don't remember how long construction takes, but I've gotten 70 construction, like, probably, like, six or seven times between all of my accounts. So, this should not be that bad. Well, this is the first time fighting a Spory, so... Hopefully this goes well. That was easy enough. There you go. 12.6k experience from that. 67 farming. All right, that's another Hespori kill. Pet? No. 68 farming so far. Very close to 70. Plus, I've been doing construction a bit, and I'm 65. So we should be very close to getting Song of the Elves done. There we go. 70 construction. We need one more skill. It's just farming at this point. I could do tith farming, tithe farming, whatever it's called. But I have a few more trees waiting to grow, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get this very soon. I'll get this within, like, the next two days. All right, that's my third Hespori. And again, nothing. 70 farming. I'm not even done with the run. But now we have all of these stats needed to finally start all of these quests and complete Song of the Elves. Of course, we just need to get the quest done. May as well finish the farming run, but very long grind. Very happy to be done with it. That's Roving Elves done. That's Morning Zen Part 1. Yeah, this quest sucked, but we're finally done with it. That leaves one thing left to be done. Morning Zen. Wait, Song of the Elves. So let's go and get prepared for it. Here we go. Song of the Elves. Let's do it. Well, I got the whole puzzle done in under an hour. I'm about six minutes short, so about like 54 minutes for the puzzle. Took me like two and a half hours the first time I did it. Welcome. Welcome to the Oblivion. You're too easy. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Song of the Elves. We have officially unlocked the grid. Look at that dead freaking goddess. I did that. Yeah, that was me right there. Song of the Elves. I got that whole quest done in two hours, 48 minutes, and 18 seconds. Well, I suppose now I can do the gauntlet, but... I don't know how effective I'd be able to do it with these stats. You know what? Let me try one. I'll try a gauntlet. Uh, but first, since I have literally every quest complete, I'm going to get myself a quest cape. Look at this. I didn't barely even tell anyone about this. Quest cape, baby! Yes! 
<laughs> oh, this feels so good, man. I don't even have a quest cape on my main anymore. I gave people a minute to show up and they actually did. That's really cool. That leaves one last goal to achieve, and that is the infernal cape. Well, with Priftonus unlocked, I may as well try the gauntlet. I want to see if I can do it with these stats. I probably can. It's just not going to be the easiest. I'm not going to do hard mode at all. Let's go ahead and see how this one works out. So it's not terribly hard, but it's definitely not as easy as it would be on a main. I mean, of course, obviously it goes without saying, but let's see if we can just do a couple and see what we get because it's decent GP overall. Plus I'm going to be getting crystal shards. Not that I think I need them for anything, but we'll be getting them. KC number two. That's Hunleaf number three. Uh, number four, Blade of Saldar. Okay. Hunleaf number five. Chest number six. Uh, number seven. Number eight. Ooh. All right. So I think we're going to do this for like a quite a decent amount of kills. I think I will probably do the clues first. See if I can do the clues. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get like 50, 100 kills. Because it will get be a good amount of GP. All right. Number 10. So yeah, I'll just do like 40 more and then show you loot after that hey you got a range level in here all right so i have 18 kc in this and i'm going to go ahead and sell everything for now just because i want to get my clues done i still want to get 50 done overall this is the magic tree in here this thing's weak all right 1.3 mil from that i mean it's not the fastest or the best cash but i really do enjoy doing it and i could get the blade of salad which would be a nice big bonus anyway let's go and see if we can get our clues done oh my gosh are you kidding me this is seven steps done this is seven freaking steps done. All right. Well, at least we can do this one. Oh, yes. Okay. Wow. Well, it's something, I guess, honestly. The 900k I spent on the crystal boat does not make up for this, but whatever. Let me go use these crystal shards that I have and see if I can get myself the enhanced crystal keys. I think I can for like an extra five things per. I've never done these before. So let's see if we get anything good. So far, not even a little bit. Wait, actually, it cost me 120k, and then I got back 260k. That was actually okay, to be honest. Well, I can do this clue, so I'm going to sell all the loot again, just so I don't have to bank and find it. There we go. Another one mil about. Hopefully, we can get this clue done. All right, second elite. Here we go. Not bad, man. 256k. I'll definitely take that. Give me the blade of salad, are you idiot? Oh, I got another elite clue scroll. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's awful. What? All right, 50th kill, and we did not get the blade. <laughs> let's be real, I didn't think I was going to. All right, let's sell the rest of this, and then we can put all of these into crystal keys and see if we can get the dragonstone armor or anything else that's good from that. Just a bit of extra GP. Here we go, 1.54 mil. I don't even remember how much I started with, honestly. But now we have a 10.2 mil cash deck. Anyway, Let's go and use all of these crystal shards on crystal keys. Okay, let's see if we get anything good. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. All right, let me go sell all this. Wow. Plus I got more. I can do two more. This is literally so good. This is such good money, man. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. So in total, we made 800k about from those keys that is amazing man that is so amazing all right well now it is finally time to actually train my stats up so i'm going to go ahead and get 75 attack 90 strength probably just keep my defense at 71 for now 90 ranged and 90 magic then i can go and get myself elite void and then we can finally start doing raids one and raids two So although I technically am raids ready, I'm not going to be going into raids with these stats in this gear. I'm going to be getting myself 75 attack for the Abyssal Tentacle, 90 strength so I can just do good DPS, and getting my range level up to somewhere around 90, depending on how much GP I actually have. On top of that, I am also going to be going for Elite Void, since Elite Void with base 90 stats is going to be very effective in Raids 1 and Raids 2 with the budget gear setup I have. There we go, 75 attack. Only took like 7 hours or something like that. Not a terribly long time. Now, 90 strength. This is a pretty cool milestone to see. 88 strength, but 100 combat. 
That's nice. 90 strength. A very long time later, we are finally done with the strength goal. Trading with strength actually made me money from buying that Sarah Sword. I'm hoping that this is enough. It cost me about 4 mil, so... Hopefully that's good. I'm trying to scrape together any bit of cash that I can get right now because I bought the archer's ring for like five mil or something like that. Yeah, for about five mil. And I don't have too much cash since this is all kind of bleeding me dry. So I'm doing this all for Zora skill. So hopefully this gives me at least some sort of GP. All right, well, there's still some more in there just in case. But for now, at least we're able to buy ourselves 20k more Zora skills. Well like 28 hours later and a lot of gp i'm mean, finally done i was gonna get 90 but it's just too expensive and there's not much of a difference between 88 and 90. i don't even know how much gp i had at the start of this to be honest but now i only have four mil cash so i need to go and make money again give me your sword wait i got a crystal armor seed that's two mil <laughs> wow all right, I'll do it once more. That'll be good. I literally didn't even want to do this, to be honest. Like, I got here, and I just kind of didn't want to do it. I wanted to make, like, two mil, and then there we go. All right, I'll do one more, and I'll be happy. That was a lot of runs, man. For all this cash. <laughs> Dude, it's three mil? No way. That's so sick. That is all the freaking money I spent, dude. I think I only need like a couple mil more or something like that. Maybe like one or two mil more. And then I can just get by with enough raids so I can get enough money. And then I can buy like a BGS or something like that. And then I can just do, you know, basic raids. Of course, I'm going to get Elite Void and everything. But as of right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try LMS and try to get myself 50 points for a Trevor Parchment. So we'll see how many games that I win. I will try super hard, but yeah, we'll see. Well, I should have won that last game, but I did get out DPS by someone who had less stuff than me. So yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, Trevor Parchment, let's go and sell it, see how much we can actually get this for. 510k. Oh, that's so not worth it. You know, I'll do it one more time. And maybe I can sell for one mil. Maybe I just got merched. I'm just going to assume that I got merched because I, I just don't know the active price of it, to be honest. All right. Now let's see what we can sell this one for. I know it's at least going to be 500k because you put it on an untradeable and then you lose 500k. Yeah. It's literally the exact same price as before, I think. Uh, no, about that. It's like 500k. All right. So I've literally been selling so much of the junk that is just sitting in my bank. I'm just going to continue selling more. And I also have a clue scroll. So we might be able to get ourselves enough money for a BGS so we can do Vorkath easier. All right. So we scraped together 1.7 mil about from the bank. We also have the whip we don't need now. We also have the obsidian plate legs. We kind of don't really need it all. I think this should be more than good for supplies and like everything that I'm going to need. Plus, we also have this clue scroll, so let's see what we get from it. All right. Uh, oh, okay. I could just afford it. Let's go and get some Vorkath done. You know, it's finally time to actually get myself the stamina pool, too. So, I'll do it. Finally have a pool of Coca-Cola. So, this is how much I have in supplies right now before the 50 kills of Vorkath. All right, first kill. Yeah, this, this is ridiculous money. All right, well, let's not get anything. I'll see you at 50 kills. All right, got an elite clue. And I got nothing in it. Gotta be honest. All these acid pools kind of look like Mickey Mouse. All right, 50kc. No drops. For cath head. There we go. All right, now let's go and grab all the items that we got and sell them to the GE. It's actually good money to do Vorkath as well. I was mainly doing it for the head, but I did need money as well. So, of course, it just made sense to do it. So, these are the supplies that we had after the fact. All right, now for the actual loot. All right, here's all the loot. Now, let's go and sell all of it. Price check number one. Price check number two. Price check number three. Price check number four. 6.5 mil plus we got some coins as a drop, and we also had monkfish, but I'm keeping them, so I'm turning them into GP. 7 mil from 50 Vorkath. That's ridiculous, dude. Only 50 Vorkath and I got 7 mil. So here's my main items right now. So we have 21 mil and then we have the blowpipe and then we have a Berserker ring. So at this point, we are more than good to actually start the grind for Elite Void. I'm not looking forward to it, but it shouldn't be a terribly long time. I think I can get this done in like 30, 40 hours. Everything, you know, being included in that the diary and all so let's begin but first we upgrade the avis there we go looking good all right now we start also i have to get the already medium achievement diary done so i have a 10 percent better chance of actually pickpocketing here we are already cloaked too well i just blew right by 70 thieving so just got that but i think i'm gonna get either 71 or 72 because i don't want to sit here and worry about trying to stew boost for like the next three years dude <laughs> running out of food i'm literally scrapping any random food i can find in my bank okay 
We're done. All right, let's see if we can get this boost within this inventory. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got it on the first one. Why'd I get all this freaking yellow spice then? I have like almost two minutes. There we go. I was going to say, I almost have like two minutes to freaking pickpocket this guy. Done. Well, you know what? At least we have extra yellow spice now. It's an 8.3% chance that I would have gotten a plus five boost than I did. I didn't even need, need a plus five boost. I needed a four. All right, one KC is Zora. Hate this boss. Give me the fucking ball. Give me the fucking ball. Just beat these guys up, man. I don't even have the ball. What do you think you're messing with, huh? There we go. 300 kills. This wasn't that terrible. I think it only took like an hour or two. I don't know why I remember this being a lot more terrible than it was. So now we can finally access Elite Void. And that's really nice. But the thing I'm very excited about is going to get myself the Crystal Halberd. Let's go buy one of those. Because that's going to be amazing, dude. It's a really cheap weapon. And it's really powerful for things like Theater of Blood. Give me a Halberd, man. 600k, that's it? Yeah, look at us. Oh, we were looking good, man. Now we get to do the fun part. 17 hours of pest control. So while I was hating life at pest control, I actually managed to find a weird glitch. There we go. That's it. Yep. That's how you get the weird-ass glitch to happen. <laughs> That's so weird. There we go. 15 hours of pest control, and we are finally done. I hate it. I hate it every single time. This is like my fifth set of void, third set of elite void. I just did it all in one shot. I just did not want to buy it uh, piece by piece. Let's not mess this up now. That's the top. Them's the legs. Them's the gloves. That's the helmet. That's the other helmet. That's the other helmet. And now we upgrade. All in one shot. I will say, this does feel nice getting it all in one shot. But at the same time, uh, I would rather just buy it piece by piece because it is more motivating. Oh my gosh. Yes, bro. Done. Finally done. Finally have Elite Void. And now... We can finally make money, get our stats up, and finally PK, do the Inferno, and everything we need to do. We can finally do Raids 1 and Raids 2. Alright, so I'm going to get everything I can from my bank and just sell it so I can have extra money for Raids. Because I do have myself 7 mil cash. Well, 7.5 mil cash now. And mostly everything that I actually need. But I want to get myself just a bit more. No, no, I think I'm actually good. I think I have enough gp for everything let's buy all of our gear that we need you know for the first time i actually feel like i have a real account man like i actually look pretty decent with this so finally we got to the point where we can raid and now we can just make a ridiculous amount of gp first raid what are we getting if it's not a tebow i'm gonna be livid wow this is so bad dude oh my gosh wow <laughs> raid number two well i mean that's, uh, not bad, man. That's not bad. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh, yes. You know, I should be going to use this to actually upgrade, but I'm going to do one more raid first. It's got 89 ranged. Oh, we got the teleport, though. All right, so we upgraded to the Trident of the Swamp, and we also now have a Dragon Crossbow. Well, the nice thing is we're literally about to get a Tebow right there. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's another drop in my name. That's a huge drop. Oh my gosh. Wow. What is that? A six way? Wow. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. There we go. Dude. Yeah. No problem, man. Dude. 16.2 mil. In five raids, I have already made a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm going to go buy the brimstone ring. So in addition to Chambers of Zarek, I am also going to be doing Theater of Blood because I'm pretty sure I can do it with these stats. At least we're going to see if we can do it with these stats, but I think we can. I think we can. All right. First Theater of Blood completed. No purples? Why? Wow. 500k though. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Theater of Blood is really fun. I just... You know, I really got to get used to it. I messed up a bit for the first time, but I can confidently say that I'll be good at this after a bit. I do have RuneFest coming up, but I'm not going to be able to be on my computer until next Monday. So once I get back on my computer, I'm going to be doing 100 Theater of Blood, a lot more chambers. It's going to be a lot of GP. Never lucky, man. Oh, we got a purple. We got a purple. We're lucky. We're always lucky. Told you. 
Second frickin' KC, by the way. Purple. Rapier, wow. Oh my gosh, that's actually bank, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't we just make like hundreds of mils? Oh, okay. Still. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. I'll, I'll go celebrate right back. Oh my gosh. Easy bank. And now we got like so much. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I freaking, I scammed myself, bro. Whatever. I, I don't even care, man. I don't even care. That's amazing. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get some upgrades. I'll get an anguish and a torture, and pretty soon, if I got like one more drop, I can get myself 77 prayer. That's ridiculous, bro. Oh, I feel so good now. 30 mil cash deck. No purple. Yo, I just want to say, what are the actual chances that the Brune Battle Axe prices are 73k, and then the Grimy of Evanto, I got 73 of? What are the chances of that, dude? You know, I'm going to go ahead and bank 77 prayer for now, so then I can at least have it. There you go. 2,679 of them. 6.2 mil. Purple. Scythe, by the way? Oh, uh, so yeah, I said early. Wow, 16 mil split. It's got 73 defense in here. Nothing. 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 I'm getting defense levels ridiculously fast in here. It's got 74. Nice. First successful trio. Nice. Oh, got a late clue scroll at least. I'm going to take a bit of a break from raids now since this went 12 dry and that's like hours and hours. It's still really good money even if you don't actually get any drops. So now I am going to grind up. Oh my gosh, I am in the wrong freaking place. All right, so for now I'm going to get my prayer from 70 to 77 and I'll just be done with it. Oh, there we go. Done. 77 prayer. All right, so I don't have the money to actually afford rigor right now, but I do have the money to afford augury because it is like dirt poor. It's only like six mil or something like that. So I'm going to have this prayer unlocked and the rigor just not unlocked until I have the cash for it. Wow, it's only four mil, dude. Jeez, you get this as a drop from raids and you're hating your life. How much is this? It's 55 mil. Yeah, I mean, obviously I could sell stuff and get it, but I'd rather not be dead weight. Purple! I told you it was a purple! I told you it was a purple! Just grab it, Mr. YouTuber. Eh, not bad. That's not bad. That's honestly not bad. Thank you, Campy. So I think from the actual drops, I got somewhere about like 8 mil. So I should be able to sell all of that plus some other... Chambers of Zarek supplies and then get myself enough for rigor. All right, here's most of the loot. Actually, I think there's even Chambers loot in here, so I should get a lot of GP from this. Jeez, the freaking rune ore alone is 2.7. So the first loot is 4.6. All right, 7.3 is still more. Yeah, there's definitely more loot somewhere. I just can't find it in there. Here, I'll, I'll look more for it. I saw the dragon crossbow too. Well, you know, I'm sure there's more in there anyway. So we got out of all that. 11.2 mil, obviously selling the dragon crossbow too. <sighs> Let's get it, man. Let's just get it. Well, we only have 8 mil cash left, but it's worth it, man. Knowledge. Cost such a boatload of money, but that was a big hurdle that we had to get past, and now we are past it. Speaking of, 75 defense. There we go. Another trio down. Nice, man. Feels good. I got nothing. 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 No. We got a purple. We finally got a purple. Yes. 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 Second fast item, it finally pays off. Go dry for so long, dude. Thank you, Camp. 67 mil cash. Immediately freaking rich again. Never lucky. I'm gonna try to do this elite clue as well as sell everything I got from raids. And that's Grand Exchange completed. Wow. Inventory number one. Inventory number two. Inventory number three. Wow, nice. Another 6.2 mil. I gotta give myself another whip right now because I think I have... Yeah, 173. Oh, what are the chances? Why am I elking this? Casket, good luck. Kind of bad. My friend told me to buy Bandos, and then I ended up not needing it, so I sold it back and lost like 500k, so that was really cool. All right, now Lily Clue, good. Okay. Yeah, it's got 76 attack this raid, and then 76 defense last raid. One more raid, and we're at 50kc. Finally a purple. Oh my gosh. Finally a purple. <laughs> not bad, I'll take that, honestly. I'll honestly take that. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen a purple, man. Wow, Kemp, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm playing RuneScape properly right now, man. You know, I'll actually keep the Serp, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Bandos. I really don't even need it for now. Inventory number one, inventory number two, inventory number three. Pretty sure I have some more in the bank. There we go, last inventory. I found some more extra stuff in my bank, plus I got some TOB drops in other tabs. I just didn't even notice. All right, so our cash stack is at 88, almost 89 mil. Let's do the Elite Clue, see if we can do it for one and two. Get anything good. Here we are. 
Give me anything. Okay. Well, first duo. And nothing. Sad. Sad. Well, another duo at least. Yeah. Literally never lucky. Started off very, very lucky. Now we're never lucky. No dead seven now, by the way. Another duo. Good luck. Of course not. We are just non-stop dry here, man. No deaths like any freaking raids. Bad raid, but 77 defense. It's been days without a purple. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course, dude. The first scaled raid we do. After 50 drive, any raids. It's a freaking arcane. Yep. Let's got 91 ranged here. No way. Wow. Holy crap. Dude, it's been like 45 raids or something. Like, no drops. My friend has gotten like 100 plus raids dry. He finally got the pet. At least that's something. Just to prove I'm a gamer, I'm going to tick eat the ball. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, baby. Wait, how did I bring this thing in here? There we go. All of part three duoed for the 100th kill count. Hopefully we get something, man. This is my last kill count here. At least for a bit. And we are never lucky. I went 46 dry on not seeing a purple. Nobody saw a purple for 46 kill count. It is like a 1 in 9 drop. And I didn't see it for 46 chests. But you know what? I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and sell literally everything I got. I don't even think I've sold my loot for a long time. So it should be like at least like 10 mil plus of loot. I'm really glad I got Runeite Ore for that because that's the best one. This is all the loot I have. I can do an Elite Clue as well. And I'm just going to sell my Dragon Pick. Eh, maybe not actually. I might still do Chambers. But I'm just burnt on TOB. I did this literally for two weeks straight. And it's been like eight days of non-stop raiding. Like eight hours plus a day. Just to freaking not get anything. Like, like literally all these are 35 minutes at least. Like, normally 20 to 30 minutes for all these raids. So, it's starting to really get demotivating. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sell everything right now. And then I'm going to get my magic and ranged up. I have more than enough GP to do it. So, I kept getting the runes and just putting them in my pouch. So, I did get quite a decent amount of rune drops from it. But I, uh, I'm just going to leave it in there because I'm just going to use it to burst. So, for now, let's grab literally everything... And sell it. Alright, we're gonna sell this inventory first and we have a bit more. I also have some chambers loot in here if you notice. Alright, inventory number one, inventory number two, inventory number three, and we have the last bit here. Alright, and last inventory. Well, you know, we still got 15 mil in all the drops. That's nice. So as of right now, we have 77 mil cash. Plus, we already have uh, all the other things too. Like we have a bunch of different items that we can sell if we ever need the cash. I didn't sell these. Alright, there we go. A little bit more now. <laughs> Extra 500k from it. Alright, so for now, we're going to go and buy gear to get our magic up. I want to get at least 95, maybe 99, and the same thing with ranged. So we're going to go and get that done. That's going to be like 30, 40 hours overall. So this is going to be the gear I'm doing it with. I haven't bought the runes yet, but I did find more freaking drops that I forgot to sell. So I'm going to sell these again. Okay, there we go. Time to burst for 20 years. Okay, I did it, and I got nothing. <sighs> There we go. 20 something hours later, man. 94 magic. It took a long time doing this. I did this over a course of quite a few different days, man. I was getting something about like 270k experience an hour. Well, let's dump all this in here. And now I'm going to go for a 97 range. Hey, yeah, that's actually more than good for now. 16k chinchampas. I could just bring like, I don't know. I'd honestly rather not lose them. So I think I'll bring 5k at a time. All right, this is going to be the setup I'm going to go for. I'm going to bring a bunch of divine ranging potions. I completely forgot I had a holy wrench, to be honest. Can't equip that, bro. I also forgot to mention that I got 93 HP out of it. And there we go. 97 ranged. We are done. I'm not going to train it past that. I'm pretty much just going to casually get 99 through training it. Like theater of blood, PBM, PVP, all that stuff. Because it's just... I kind of don't really need anything past 97 ranged. Oh, that is a really nice milestone. We end at 107 combat. And the only thing I really need to do is get my strength to like, I would say like 98 about. But I'm not going to do that yet. I am going to go PKing first, man. I have waited a long time to go PKing. And I want to make money through PKing. So we don't need these anymore. Sell that, sell that. All right, 3.7 mil back. So we still have ourselves a 45 mil cash stack. We still have ourselves a lot of different items, a lot of decent items. I think we're more than fine on cash right now, to be honest. So I'll see what I'm willing to risk, but I want to at least get like 20, 30 mil next video. So that is what we're going to be doing. I am going to try to risk and see if I can make more cash from this account 
simply by PKing. Today was probably the weirdest day I've had in PvP in quite a while. So I've been training my gridlocked account for a long time in the hopes to finally get it to the stage where I can PK on it, and I finally got to that stage, so I wanted to just make a normal PKing video out of this where I found people that were risking a couple hundred K, maybe make five or ten mil for the video, and that's how it started, but as the day progressed, it got weirder and weirder. For some reason, there was a lot more people who decided to PK today, and there was a lot more people who decided to risk today, and and not only that, but weird things just kept happening overall. I can't really describe it to you. I just have to show you. There it is. Good fight. Let me go get a looting bag. Since I'm trying to make money, I'm going to grab literally all the loot. 460k. <laughs> nice. 400k. Good fight. Well, put me on vid. Put me in a video? Okay. Put you in this video. <laughs> there you go, you're in it, man. 400k. Dude, I find every time I loot everything, I'm getting like at least 400k. Dang, man. What? Good luck, man. There it is. Good fight. Ooh, Torag's legs too. This should be a decent PK, I think. Yeah, dude, like 780k. All right, it's time to get my revenge on this guy who just absolutely blew me out of this world. There we are. My turn. <laughs> Good fight, man. Ah, uh, that feels a little bit better now. Tell me at least get the D-boots, though. Then it's worth it. Yes. All right, the D-boots. Yeah, like 900k. Absolutely worth it. He had the anchor, too. There it is. 420k. This is interesting. Good luck. He's got to be, like, baiting or something. Like, that's, like, his main hand weapon. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he has, like, an AGS or something. Yeah. See? Wow. All right. Well, I just PK'd a lot, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> that is not bad, dude. That is not a bad freaking deal right there. Two mil. Yes, dude. I knew it. I called it from like a mile away what he was doing, dude. AGS switch and all, man. Dead. Or I'm dead. What? There it is. Only 200k. Oh, this guy's back. All right, good luck. Dead. Yep. Well, that guy's dead again, so. <laughs> oh, a blessed spirit shield, dude. Oh my gosh, this guy should not be PKing, bro. <laughs> There it is. Good fight. All right. I'm happy. I got the revenge on him. Like one mil about. That's good revenge. There it is. Good fight, bro. Oh, that's the PK right there. Is that full DH? It is. Oh, <laughs> a region bracelet. That's sick. That is really sick. No, thank you. I'm not getting rushed. All right, that's going to be bank. That's a 5.3 mil PK. Oh, my goodness. I chose the correct day to come to Lumbridge and terrorize the noobs, bro. Holy crap. That's dead. Yes! Again, I got this guy. Another 5.2 mil. Dude, I am literally making so much freaking bank in this video. It is unreal. Dead. What? So close, man. So freaking close. So I noticed this guy that I killed earlier on was Skull, and he was trying to find people to high-risk fight him. And he was risking his boots, torture, full Darox. He's risking a lot. So I decided I'll go and try to kill him. No f***ing way! 
to this guy. I'm gonna keep rematching this guy, but I just kind of realized right now, I think he is baiting because he suddenly got a lot better. Just saying. I am not gonna fight this guy anymore because I'm clearly the unluckiest person in the universe, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not fighting him anymore. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, I just went up so much money and now I'm just down so much money. Actually, I might I might have broken even. There it is. Nice. Good fight, bro. Oh, I needed that. I needed that kill right there. Ornament kit and everything on the boots. Trying to loot it, bro? You're not getting a single freaking penny out of this. Dude, I'm literally gonna bury the bones right in front of him. Good luck waiting for literally no loot, bro. One mil. All right, good, I needed that. That's dead, yep. Is it just Gmall? Cause then I get his GP. Probably not. Yeah, no, just that, 400K. That's dead. Yeah, that would have been him dead. There we go. That would have upset me. Good fight. Yeah, like 500k, 540k. Yeah, you don't... You don't do anything about that. I feel like this guy's a newbie. Yeah. All right. That confirms my suspicion. Yep. Yeah, that really wasn't uh, that surprising that that was going to happen. As long as I get his D-boots. I don't think I did, though. That's the worst kind of guy, man. 400K. No D-boots, though? With all that? Oh, this guy again. He's just trash-talking me. There we go. We got him. Good fight. I bet he's really upset. Oh my gosh. He was trash talking me so much. I just got the uh, spiked manacles. I don't know how much those are. So I got 2.3 mil from that. That's nice. I needed a nice comeback PK like that, man. I'm very glad I got one. There it is. Good fight. Jeez, that was very nice. Ooh, a heavy ballista too. Wait, I knew that. <laughs> you had the D spear. I'm thinking that's got to be pretty sizable. One point, almost two mil about. So I literally just attacked this guy once to see if he wants to fight. And after a few hits, I figured he doesn't want to fight. So I get off him, but then he gets really mad at me. He starts saying a lot of no-no words to me and then tells me I don't risk. So I tell him we should risk fight. My anguish versus his AGS. And I think I pissed him off so much literally just by attacking him once that he agreed to it. Thank you. Free AGS. Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. That guy was such a shit talker for no reason. And I got his AGS for free. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like the oddest day I've ever had. Like, I don't know what's up with people today, but everyone's just acting really weird for some reason. <laughs> That wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Another 530k. Yeah, I smited him for something. I'm pretty sure I just smited him. Yep. Obsidian legs and the obsidian helmet. That's decent. Oh, I can't loot it because I just hopped into the world. We got from this guy, we got 2.5 mil. Alright, my turn. Yep. 
Activite. All right, at least one mil, right? Yeah, close enough, almost 900. Ooh, well, Darok, this could be a nice one. There it is, DHPK. Nice, nice, 3.3, 3.4 about. Yep. Oh, why'd I do that? I know he was venged. What am I doing with my life, bro? Why am I so bad? Alright, well that was easy enough. Good fight, man. Boots? Yes. Ooh, 1.5 mil. That's a lot more than I expected him to have. I thought I got like 500k. There it is. Good fight, bro. 700, 800k about. Wow. Should have died. And he did die. I should have died before he did. Not bad, actually. It's not as much as I thought it would be, but still 1.2 about is nice. Dead. Nice, dude. Good stuff. That's gotta be the anchor cache as well as the G-Mall cache and torso and cape's gonna be like 1.1 mil about. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's so sick. This guy should not be fighting me, man. Yeah, you shouldn't be fighting me. Oh, like 300k, though. Oh my gosh, I got him. I smorked him, bro. I freaking smorked him. Nice. That's got to be decent. That's got to be decent loot. Every now and then, you got to go for the ballista spec. 4.8 mil. Nearly 5 mil. There it is. I just pk 11 mil off this guy. There we go. That's what he said, at least. And he lied, of course. Why would he not lie? Everybody lies, bro. Come on. Why would I actually believe that he would say, you know, and mean what he says? Uh, 6.6 .6 mil. That's not bad, though. It's definitely not bad. And there it is. Perfect. He said he risks 1.1 mil. Let's see if he was lying. <laughs> of course he was. Jeez. Not bad. Oh my gosh, that was a huge KO. Nice. All right, we're getting to like the end of the day. 638K. I want to see how much I made at this point. This has been like the craziest day in PvP for me in a long time. Because I just kept getting weird fight that's just risking a ridiculous amount after a weird fight. So let me go ahead and price check everything and see how much we made. I had way more deaths than I normally usually do. But today was a weird day. So I don't even mind because we made quite a lot. So here is the overall price check. From everything that we've made. 66.4 mil. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. So that puts us at a 69 mil cash stack. Just about, man. Uh, Yeah, that was like the last thing I expected when I went PKing today. But I am not going to complain. Alright, I need to get 50 to 55 rune crafting so I can complete the new quest. There we go. Best rune crafting in the game. So it's going to take probably like... I would say four weeks at this point. Maybe five weeks.
All right, five millennia later and we're good. We're done. Yeah, believe it or not, I'd rather do a freaking achievement diary than actually get the rest of this 15,000 fishing experience. So I'm going to go do the desert hard diaries. There we are. 60. Now we're good. This quest is kind of a joke, to be honest. Yeah. Well, at least it's done now. So I'm going to go back to Theater of Blood and test if we can get any good items or any good drops. But if we don't end up getting anything good or anything at all, then I'm going to go tribrid peeking. We finally got a purple. We finally got a purple. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, that guy in the comments, he literally said, I hope you always get just this year. He was right, bro. <laughs> Look what you did. Oh yeah, no, this is actually like literally the worst thing that you can get. Man, that guy cursed us, bro. <laughs> Join the old school teams for this week's queue. Q and what? So with me unlocking 94 magic for barrage and getting 97 ranged, I can finally do something on this account that I've wanted to do for a long time to make money, and that is tribrid peaking. Without a doubt, the most GP I can make an hour in the entire game is through PvP. And more specifically, out of all of the combat styles that I PK with, tribriding has made me the most, whether it be on the normal spellbook or if it's on the ancient spellbook. So I'm gonna test out something I've been waiting to test out for a long time, and that's tribrid peaking on this account. Does he have a crossbow? Yeah, he does. That was the easiest rev ether I've ever just peaked in my life for 265k. Poor guy. <laughs> There it is. Oh, Debo. I guess 752k is good too. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Nice. That's actually kind of bank to be honest. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Wow, two mil. That was actually kind of bank, bro. Imagine that, like 90 fights later. Good fight, man. How much will we make? 1.2 mil. Fight this guy. There it is. I knew you'd switch prayers at the last second. Jeez, that's actually not even bad. One mil. Oh my gosh. There it is. 11? Dude, I've literally just been looting everything. It's all good money. <laughs> what? He had one mil? I was expecting like 400k at the best, dude. Well, that one was on him, man. 850k. <laughs> he should have eaten, bro. No business not. 600k. Dead? Nice. Yeah, 123 I wanted to fight, so... Of course I'll give him the chance. Jeez, two mil. Good fight. Why are you bullying me? Why are you bullying me? I don't know how many times we're gonna do that. Why are you bullying me? This has happened for like two hours non-stop, man, with this guy. Why are you bullying me? Decided to stop PKing, just uh, come back and not get a purple. Yeah, no purple, cool. Yeah, no, never a purple. Why would I ever be lo- Yeah, maybe I stop raiding again for now. This is very familiar to me. I'm gonna go back to PKing, but for now I'm gonna sell all this loot I have. See how much we get for it. Inventory number one. 
Inventory number two. And number three. All right, 5.3 mil from it. Nice. There we go. Sears black mask. Nice, dude. That's good. All right. Oh, 4.5 mil. Okay. That's really nice. I didn't even see the dragon crossbow in there. Well, there it is. Oh, wow. He had like nothing. This guy's got a ballista. I'll go for it. And I got him. That's a ballista in D boots BK. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. Just room boots. I'm blind. Hey, it's still like 840k though. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is so satisfying to rush. Yeah, that's really satisfying. There it is. Finally. Good fight, bro. I fought that guy for like 10 minutes. That's all we were doing back and forth. Just trying to spec each other out first. Not bad, too. 1.2 mil. There it is. Oh, another 1.1. 1.2 about. Is this man for real? Of course. Just fucking die. Literally just die. Like, are you kidding me, bro? I don't even know why he has cash. What? Why did you bring cash? That guy is an enigma, to say the least. Oh my gosh, I actually got him. There we go. And I got an AGS. Oh my gosh, finally I got a freaking PK like this, bro. Took long enough. 15 mil. That makes up for it, man. Thank goodness. I got a smoke battle staff. Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, this was the same guy from before, so might be a donation. I, I just won't keep it. Why you bullying me? Why you bullying me? Why you bullying me? One good barrage. That's all I'm requesting humbly from you. Dead. Nice. I could survive if somebody comes. Bro, the fact that you're standing on that loot, you get zero. I'm not even going to give you the fucking bones. Nice, 700k. Wow, that was weird, but it worked. I was trying to avoid the venge, so I was just doing that all weird and everything. Another 1.2. Accidentally died AFK and it made me rage quit, so I went to go sell stuff, but I'm not done PKing yet. So it's like 17.5 mil for now. There we go. Oh my gosh. I have fought this guy for freaking millennia. I have fought this guy for a millennia and I finally kill him. There we go. I have fought him like a million times, even like on my main account, and I've never killed him. He's like really freaking good. Very, very lucky of me, man. 15, like 16 mil. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is the rest of the loot. Let's go ahead and sell it back real quick so I can make some more GP. All right, 
There we go. Holy cash. So the total loot made from this video is about 38, 39 mil overall. Plus, I think I lost about like 10 mil total from PKing. So we profited about 29, 30 mil in this video. So I have some places that I want to go PKing on this account. There's two places actually that I have in mind specifically, and you're going to find out next video. But for now, we need to get 95 magic to go PKing in those places. All right. I just had to quickly get 95 magic. I also got 96 HP, but I had to get it, man. So I can go PKing with Fire Surge, you know? Like, I I can't just freaking sit here and not have fire surge. I think it's time we finally return to one of my favorite PKing spots. Uh, 97 strength, man. It was 54 hours of training from 91. That took such an incredibly long time, but at least we got 12.7 mil points out of that. Very happy to be done with that, though, because with 97 strength, this account is very close to becoming a powerhouse. Oh my god, he wasn't kidding. He just had free ranger gloves, and he literally dropped them. How much even are those? What the heck? So it's time to go PKing, and I'm gonna go PKing for the whole day to see how much money I can make. My guess is I'm gonna make at least 30 mil today. Dead. There it is. Good fight. Yeah, deep boots and everything. It's 644k. I don't know how many people are actually gonna be in this target bracket, to be honest. Oh no, apparently a lot. Good fight. The loot that we get from our targets is pretty good. Plus, we're going to be doing bounty tasks, and we're going to be spending that on bounty crates. So we're going to make a killing in this video. Dude, is no one bringing their emblem, man? 400k. Got him. Nice. Pit. I wouldn't even blame Pit. I would just say it's freaking laggy as heck here. Good fight. There's... This world is like even worse than the one I was in before, to be honest, bro. Yeah, I can't do this world, man. It's so freaking bad. <laughs> Being vid. I don't know if that's how it works. Well, that's one way to get a kill. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Gonna attempt to do this with no stat boosts. Means I can't use my bruise. Oh, it worked. I got 63 points for that, plus 570k. Probably won't be able to kill him without a Gmail, to be quite honest. Hey, killed him. I lied. All right, cool. Berserker ring. Oh, wow. All right, he actually risked a lot. I just had to max. That's all you have to do to get kills. You just have to max. All right, what are we looking at? What the heck? 5.3 mil. Game! <laughs> uh. There it be. <laughs> Good fight. Good fight. Nice. Got the award too. I'll be honest. I wasn't even trying to get the freaking bounty task on that one. Oh, there we go. Not even done looting my freaking previous target. Let's give him a new target. All right, Jagex. I did get 1.5 mil from that, though. Kobe! Why is he being like this? Yes. Yes, dude. There we go. Full Darok. Please, no one freeze me, please. All right, the tier three and then 3.8 mil. That's sick, dude. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, target complete. Or thing complete. Whatever I'm doing. Task. Hey, 40 points, too. 
Oh, we're doing this with this guy. Man, you know I love this. Nice. Yeah. You know I love sweating for 500k, bro. Man, they really should have the emblems upgrade at any point in time. One mil? Okay, never mind. That's more than I expected. That was worth it. Nice, finally. It's been like six fights with this dude. That's a Gmo. Tyrannical ring. I have never PK'd a tyrannical ring. I guess it's a first time for everything. I think it's only like a couple hundred K though. All right, 2.1 mil. Oh, it's one mil. I guess it's best for like crush or something. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Lose not freaking sculling and lose smites. Yes. Perfect. Very happy with that. Ooh, 864k on it too. Not bad for an unscholar. Dead? Nice, perfect. Bounty task. That's a big boy kill. Ooh, Dark Helm. Wait, why does my kill streak reset? I didn't skip like anybody. Are you kidding me? Forgive me. It's okay. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, that was pretty easy, man. That's what all unscholars are like. Still honestly kind of upset about my kill streak, but whatever. Oh, wow. Like nothing. Dude, unscholars suck. Excellent! That's a kill right there. Oh, there it is, baby! <laughs> hey, he actually risked. Like, more than most people who are uh, unskilled risk. Oh, yeah, 1.1 mil. That's really good. Frame, good luck. All right, man. All right, good fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he was DH bombing with panic. Didn't really work out in his favor, though, did it? How much was that? 900k, plus I got 29 points out of it, too. Oh, I got him. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do the, uh, the, the rigor and piety one on this one. Doing it on the next one. Hey, a mill. Yeah. Yeah, it was my turn to go bonkers. All right, still got 500k. No, no, not even. Oh, okay, I got him. I guess that wasn't last hit. Yep. Oh, it worked. <laughs> wow, that was really lucky timing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's one way to kill someone. Wow, that guy's really newbie. He had like a lot of junk, but that's fine. Die, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> That's how I feel about every single unscholar, dude. Give me that AGS. Yeah. What's this guy? What's this guy doing? Right. Does he have bank on him? X. X. D 
die. Sit. Yes. Good. That guy was so annoying. And I got his full DH. <laughs> I got 38 points because that was the uh, another 10 kill streak. That guy kept saving on me every two hits. Like, I wasn't even, like, hitting at all. I hit him, like, 20 times total throughout all the fights. 3.6 mil. I'm so happy I killed that guy. It was rude. <laughs>Oh, there we go. Didn't matter. Good fight, bro. Him and I are both equally awful. Another one mil, maybe? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Maybe I smite him or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, well. Good fight. <laughs> okay, that looks like some bank. One mil, okay. Oh my gosh, good fight. I have literally fought this guy for 18 minutes straight. I'm not even kidding. That is the hardest I have ever had to work for a kill period. Oh, look at that. Already another target. Oh, that's awesome. Already another target. Bye-bye. There we go. Not putting him on yet. Not yet. Now I'm putting him on. Let's see how much Mr. Unscully Skull was risking. Like 20k? Not even. Hopefully this doesn't cost too much. Teleport. Alright. That's worth it. Yep. Bye! Please? Please? Hey, I got him. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's from everything. That's good. Yep, good fight. That was a perfect stack. See, that's why you don't need G Maul, man. I think G Maul, like, you just kind of get rid of all your opportunities. Yeah, you're literally TBing me right now. <laughs> oh, good one, man. 632k. You always gotta try. I mean, a dude with the uh, Infernal Cape probably won't get him. But I, I have killed him before. Like, I could get him here. Yep, see. 100 HP stack. Like, that's the only type of, uh, way I'm gonna kill that guy, realistically. I need fire cape, torso, or legs, man. I was actually trying to get my last target. It kept going to multi, but... Bye-bye. Oh my god. Nice. Please tell me I got the task. Come on! Dude! Why is this still not freaking fixed? <laughs> See if he actually has 1.6 mil. Good fight, dude. What? You've killed one target, now kill another one without leaving. Uh, I guess. I guess I could try, but nobody does that. Right, how much was that? 1.1. Pretty good. All right, I guess I'll try to get my, uh, get a kill without leaving the wilderness. Please? Oh my gosh, there we go. I actually did the target kill thing. Good fight. I actually killed two people in the wilderness without leaving. It's like the dumbest task ever, though. You have to remove it, dude. <laughs> it really is one of the dumbest things ever. It only helps boosters. How much do we make from that? 4.7 mil overall. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll be honest. That's pretty cool I did that. There we go. Good fight. Anything good? Because you were uh, unsculled? 600k. Okay, that's not bad. That's not terrible. You know what? Now, though, it is time to go and buy the crates because they finally got re-enabled now. So, since they are 7 each as opposed to 5 each, I can't buy as much. But that doesn't really matter. I'm still happy. I'm still happy that I'm going to be able to open the crates again. This is the, definitely the best part of Bounty Hunter, hands down. But first, I guess we can show you all of the emblems I got, which still don't stack. Oh, 1.3 mil from the emblems. And now, 
We should be able to buy all of these 75. Yep. All right, so we'll price check everything else after that we PK'd. But first, we have 74 crates. Right, I'm going to sell all these emblems right here. Uh, yeah, this definitely feels like less, to be honest. Let me sell all the emblems. All right. So from all the crates, emblems were 6.3 mil. Everything was 12.2 mil. That's good. I, I don't know if it is reduced or not, like in what you actually get in the crates. Kind of feels like it is, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. All right, now let's price check everything that I actually made overall. Practically sold everything. So this is the total loot from this video made, 52.5 mil, but I haven't actually shown you the bank of this account in a while. So I'm gonna do that right now. So apparently there's about 46 mil left over in my bank. I could see realistically maybe like 30, but let's just call it 20 for the hell of it. So 20 mil plus the 241 mil right here. So 261 mil plus all of this is about 30 mil. So we have about a 290 mil bank on gridlocked at this point. I have been waiting to PK on gridlocked with the normal spellbook void tribrid PKing setup for a long time since it is the best setup that you can use to smite out PKers. Since I am trying to smite out PKers, I'm probably not really going to prey on anybody. So it does leave a good chance for me that I will die if anybody tries to anti run me but I will not end this video until I get at least one good plus one smite Wow <laughs> starting off good 516k. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking god. I wasn't even paying attention. That was 25 mil down the drain. Bye bye. Dudes like that always have closer to one mil, which is why I love to go for them. Anytime I see the D boots, I'm on it. Although that guy was rushing me. Come on. Out of teleport? Guess not. 3.1 mil. I'm not complaining. That was easy enough. That was an easy 1.4 mil. Hey, who needs to void up Night Helm? <laughs> Good fight. Staff? No. Why would I get the staff? Ah, uh, 1.5. This guy again. I'm gonna kill him again, definitely. Yep. A little slow too on it, but didn't even matter. Another 1.3 mil. Smited? Smited, please? For something? Ah, just a ballista. <gasps> Claws! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! No! No fucking way! No fucking way! Oh my god! Oh, I finally smited Claws! Oh my god! I have never officially smited Claws with this setup in that- Ah! Yes! Nice. This setup's not even that terrible, to be honest.
<laughs> oh, 1.1 mil with that. I'm happy. Dead. Gotta be dead. Come on! Oh, there we go. I finally got it with a freaking Debo. Nice. <laughs> and I even got the helmet from him, too. That's holy crap. That's dead. Yeah. What's this guy doing? Yeah, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, that was that was quite the fight, bro. 767k. Uh, this guy came now. This guy wants to freaking go. Killed. Bye bye. Thanks for the ballista. 836k. Another ballista in the bag. Good luck, anyone? Okay. Oh my gosh, that's dead. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Berserker ring. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was freaking ridiculous. I don't even know what I hit. What was the loot? 3.7 mil. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just died. Good fight. Uh, that's another 25 mil down. What am I doing in this video, dude? I'm such an idiot. Oh my goodness. A little bit higher. A little bit higher, bro. I'm gonna kill Kemp. Bye bye, Kemp. Oh, come on. You're probably dead here, yeah. Okay, that's not actually that bad. Eh, well, I wanted to smite him, but I guess that works too. Oh my god, I got him. I actually got him. Holy shit. Holy shit. There's the big PK. Yes, this setup, dude. This fucking setup. How much is that? 23.4 mil. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I didn't even do that correctly. Fury? No, just coins. Apparently Sir Pugger made a video, so people are coming here to try to PK bots or something. Good fight. <laughs> What's this guy doing, man? What's this guy doing? What do you think he's doing? Thank you, dude. Man, I got a dragon scimitar? What the heck? <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, I smite him. What'd I get him for? Uh, I think I smited his D boots. That's fing weak. <laughs> yeah, I smite him for his boots. Come on, man. That's your plus one that you freaking protect item on? That's weak. Smite, smite. Smite, please. Smite. 
I know. Oh, that was actually a lot. Please? Oh, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's perfect. That's freaking perfect. Uh, wait. Infinity boots. Yes, that's perfect, dude. What are we looking at? 2.6 mil. That's sick, dude. I'm happy with that. Poor guy. Didn't want to be attacked, but uh, don't bring the same gear if you don't want to die. Oh. Uh, that was a weird kill. <laughs> 912k. Actually, a little more expected. Please. Oh, I got him. <laughs> nice. That was perfect. DH helm. Dude, 1.1 mil. Wow. Good. <laughs> Go on. Yes. Gotta blur that then. Well, thanks for the 1.4 mil, you fucking loser. Smited. I might have just gotten claws again. I might have just gotten claws. AGS! AGS! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, 15 mil. And he went after me, so that makes it even more sweet. That was easy. Yeah, 450k. Hey, I killed him. Oh, bye-bye for Derek. All right, that's really cool. <laughs> I feel like that's two mil, but it's actually 3.84. That's dead. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, am I? Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, I, I got him. <laughs> All right. Oh, a berserker ring. And like 3.2 mil. 3.3. Oh my god, I smited him too. And I also smited him. Uh, berserker ring. All right, serpentine helmet and everything. Get off, rat! What the heck? On the smite, baby. Nine point three mil. <laughs> All right, good fight. Oh, I died again. That's good. All right, well, yeah, I'm done. I probably should have just stopped while I was ahead. So three dimes, three deaths for this video, dude. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I literally died three times and lost 75 mil, but we still made a lot in this video. We still PK'd 135 mil. Imagine that was all just profit and I wasn't an idiot and I didn't just freaking die three times. Uh, overall, how much did I even make from that? I mean, I still made 60 mil, so that is cool, but could have made all of that. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Today, we are on my Gridlocked account, and I'm going to be seeing how much money I can make within 24 hours or one day. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different money-making methods, some requiring luck and some being consistent GP to see what we can make overall at the end of the 24 hours. And I am going to be using the bank in this account, so I will be subtracting the supplies cost from the total amount I earned at the end. I only have two rules. I'm not allowed to stake for the money, and I am not allowed to PK for the money. If you want to see a version of this where I solely just do PKing for the 24 hours, then leave this video a like so I know. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is buying one mil worth of eclectic imblings for medium clues to see if we can get lucky in medium clues. It's not a good idea at all, but it's what we're going to do to see if we can get any sort of luck. So right now we are immediately putting ourselves one mil in the hole. Oh, there we go. First clue. All right, there we go. It's got the first casket. I'm just going to wait to open them all up at the end. All right, another casket. That's another one. That was a fast one. Another casket. Dude, I literally burned like 150 or something for this freaking clue. Another casket. Another casket. There we go. It's another. Look at that. All right, so that's pretty much the last three clues. There we go. All right, now we're done. So we got eight caskets out of that. I was stupidly thinking we were going to get more. Let me sell everything in the tab first, though. I think this is everything. So we got 390K. All right, so we ended up getting 393K. Now the clues. Let's see if we actually made money from this transaction all right rangers please rangers please yeah that was a ripoff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're almost an hour in and we start off this video down 500k. All right, so we're going to go do Theater of Blood for a few kills. I don't want to spend too much time just doing one thing, so maybe we'll do like four or five. We'll see how long it takes. By the way, for those curious of how I'm actually tracking this, I had a scuff timer counting up to 24 hours at first, but then I realized that's dumb, so then I had it counting down from the 24 hours. Well, that was a rough first raid, to be honest. <laughs> On my part, not theirs. It's been a hot sex since I've been there. We've got a pet, though. Or a clue, that'd be great. If I can get a clue within these, that'd be awesome. Another raid down. Any purples? Give pet. Ooh, clue, yes. All right, that's good. That's really good. Could do that after. 779K, that's good too. Another raid done, and another no purple. Two more raids to go. Another chest. Nothing good. Wait, 50 runite ore? Ah, oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was a lot more than it actually is. 711K though. 711K, that's pretty good. All right, last raid at three and a half hours in, just a little bit over. Do we get a purple? We do not. Look at that. I actually got it on five steps, dude. I think that's like the lowest amount you can get it on. That's awesome. All right, ready? 143K. That's weak. We're three hours and 50 minutes in. We're getting close to the four hour mark. So up next, we are going to go for one of the bosses. I think I want to do Corrupted Gauntlet next. So far, we're at 2 mil 54K. Up next, we're going to try our hand at the Corrupted Gauntlet and see if I can get that elusive drop of the... What is it? The Crystal Big Boy Sword? All right, first Corrupted Gauntlet in a while. Oh, fuck your little ass. Yeah, at first one, that went okay, I guess. Well, at least I know what to do now. All right, made it just in time. You know what this game needs more of? Bosses where you have to time things. I love those. Come on. Hit him. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I've never completed the uh, Corrupt Gauntlet. Dude, that was so incredibly close. Oh, all right. I think I'll just do 10. Maybe a little bit more if I uh, get the hang of it. Yeah, a lot better luck that time around. Gib? Ah. Yeah, I'll see like 10, I think. Yeah, it's been two dead runs so far. So the problem with the Corrupted Gauntlet is you have to get a bit lucky and you have to kind of know what you're doing. Otherwise, you waste your time. So I'm only going to do 10, I think, because I don't want to waste too much time in the day. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, this is getting really annoying, to be honest. I'm only doing 10 KC, bro. It's not even worth it unless I get the drop, too. So give me that freaking blade. Thank you. Yeah, six more. All right. <laughs> Chest number five. Give me the sword. Oh, uh, that's another big guy down. And here's my pet and blade. Thank you. That's actually not bad. Please? All right. Two more. All right, kill count number nine. One more. Crystal weapon seed? Dang it. If I got the freaking crystal armor seed, it would have been so much better. All right, that was a pretty clean gauntlet. That was the last one I'm doing. All right, let's see what we get. All right, cool. So uh, I wasted what? I, I just changed it around. That was about three hours here. So let's see how much I got for all of this. Yeah, so uh, three hours for 1.7 mil. Yeah, never again. My entire life. <laughs> We're going to switch it up. Good luck. Sad. 27 minute raid. Oh, elite clue. All right, casket. Gimme. A master clue now. Twisty B. 
Sad. Oh, I wasn't even recording, but it doesn't even matter because we didn't get crap. Two more raids. Maybe we'll get lucky. Dude, I've been putting way too much faith in the RNG elements of uh of some of these grinds, man. Because like if I hit it big once, like that's all I freaking need. But like if I don't hit it big, then it looks a lot like what it looks like right now. <laughs> Alright, raid number four. Cool. Wait, how did I get exactly 997 of each item? What is the freaking likelihood of that? Alright, last raid. Good luck. Yeah. Well, it would have been really nice if we got a drop, but... Alright, so we're at 5 mil now, and we are at the 14 and a half hour mark, so... Hopefully we can get this done. That's not really great, but like, I'm really looking for the RNG to come through. I'm doing I'm doing RNG dependent things right now, but once I get uh, to doing things like Vorkath and a little bit more consistent money makers, I'll definitely get up there with it. I actually got it? <laughs> wow, all right. Master clue complete, cool. Yeah, I think that was like a five step master clue, legit. Give me. 385k, not bad. All right, up next we're gonna do some Vorkath. I think this should be where the good money starts flowing in. It's pretty simple to actually do Vorkath, especially with the Dragon Hunter crossbow, since I can just teleport to my house. I have the teleports in there as well as the Crumble Undeads. Then I just teleport to Lunar Isle, and then I just talk to literally anyone on here. And they kick me off for being a dumb schmuck. And there we go, right to Vorkath. It's as simple as that. Yeah, this is like dirt freaking easy with this man. Are you kidding me? I've never done it with a Dragon Hunter crossbow, so this is so freaking easy. I'm just gonna bring a Slayer Staff so I can just auto-cast the Crumble Undead. Yeah, so I just found out that you don't need extended super anti-fires. Normal extended anti-fires work if you have a uh, anti-dragon shield or, you know, any of the three DFS shields, whatever they're freaking called, so... That's actually gonna save a lot of money. We're approaching the 12 hour mark right now, and I'm just gonna keep doing Vorkath, I think, for like maybe another hour. It's just such good money, man. I might even do it for a bit more, because I'm really enjoying Vorkath. It's very laid back when you have a Dragon Hunter crossbow. That's 100 KC right there, technically 50 for this. We're at the, a little bit past the 12 hour mark. Got an Elite Clue scroll. I guess I may as well do it. All right, Elite Clue casket. And I got a Master now. Let's see if we can do that one then. Ah, uh, no, probably not. <gasps> yes! I was actually able to complete it. Yes. All right, what do we get? Third age? 340k. That's actually pretty good. Another elite clue? Are you kidding me? Wait, I actually got it? Oh. All right. I've never been here in my entire life, by the way. Just saying. We're actually getting pretty close to the 11 hour mark. Please? Oh. Uh, yeah, there's no way in hell that wasn't my fastest time. I procced a 103 times in a row. Definitely. Just ended up passing the 11 hour mark, so I think I will do this for one more hour, and then I will go to the next money making method, but this should be a lot of GP from this, to be honest. Oh, I got a Vorkath head. That's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, so that is Vorkath done, at least for now. Maybe I'll return later. I just passed the 10 hour mark, so we have 10 hours left to go. I think I also ended up spending about like an extra 250, maybe 300k on the sharks and maybe the prayer potions. I'll actually check on that, to be honest. No, it actually turns out that it was just the sharks, so let me get the total price check of everything that I got at Vorkath. I think I pretty much just spent like an extra 250k from the initial... GP batch I spent. So I'll get everything in my inventory that I made from Vorkath and then I will sell it to the GE. All right, so this is the first inventory. It also includes some of the supplies that I bought that I ended up not using. Also, there was a few extra items in there because I just had them in my bank before. So I just subtracted out what I had before. Anyway, let's sell all of this and then we're gonna remove 250K. Inventory number one, inventory number two, inventory number three, inventory number four. It's another inventory. And this is the last inventory. So in total, we made from this 14.1 mil. Plus, I'm just going to remove the 250K. So about 14 mil. So right now we are at a 19.8 mil cash stack that we made. All right, let's move on to our next moneymaker. All right, so up next, we're going to be killing Demonic Gorillas for that 1 in 300 shot at a Zenite Shard. It is the best drop rate or the best unique that you can get from Demonic Gorillas. So I just spent an extra 400K on supplies and everything. So I just took it out of that. So this is the setup that we have going in. And I'm going to try to aim for 100, but I don't really know how many you can kill an hour. So I don't want to wait waste too much time. We're just going to try our luck at it. I don't think it'll be too hard, but we'll find out. I probably should have checked how much I have going into this. Wow. No Zenite immediately. Yeah, this really isn't that hard, to be honest. So yeah, maybe I'll just kill like, kill him for an hour. See how it works. Oh my gosh, finally! Oh my gosh, I got a freaking Zenite! Okay, not finally. Okay, it was an hour. It was an hour. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, literally, like, I have like three minutes left. Wow. Not finally. Okay, th those were the wrong words. It's not even been an hour. That's definitely the wrong words, but I, I was excited because in, in the, the 15 hours or so that I've been doing this, I didn't get a single, like, decent drop. So, like, 
That's why I said finally, but it's only been an hour at this, so I have no right to talk, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, that's the end of the trip. Yeah, this is like the best hour of money making ever, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Just with the Zenite alone. I mean, even without the Zenite, let's see how much money I made. All right, let's sell everything so we can see how much we made without the Zenite. Price check one, price check two. So we did make like 1.2 mil for a bit of an hour, a little bit over an hour's of work for that. So that's not bad, but with the Zenite, that brings us to, that was 13.5 mil. That brings us to 14.7 mil almost. So we've made 34.1 mil, almost 34.2 mil. Next money maker. All right, up next, we're going to be killing Zora. I spent about 600K, like 585K on supplies for this one. So now we're going to go back out and see how much we can make in an hour. I really don't like Zora too much, but I figured why not? I may as well try it. Instead of actually spending the money on the Zolandra teleports too, I just have my quest cape so I can teleport right to the ring and then just come right here. And since I only have 71 agility, I just use a summer pie every single time. Yeah, that was super rough, bro. I forgot like my cult too. That was that was really rough. All right, that was a lot better this time around. All right, yeah, we figured it out. <laughs> it's not gonna be tragic anymore, or as tragic, I should say. Just ended up spending about 1.1 mil on supplies, so we're gonna go right back into it. I think we're only 12 kills in so far. There we are, last Zora kill, about an hour. Uh, yeah, Zora sucks. Don't do it. I got the total price check, but uh, Zora definitely sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I might be wrong. Yeah, I got two mil from that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I still hated it. <laughs> All the drops do suck, but like the scales really add up. That's like the majority of my money right there. That's literally half of it. Yeah, inventory number one. Yeah, like all these drops suck. I'm not just going to drop those things. That's number two. All right, yeah, 2.1 mil. And uh, yeah, you guys enjoyed the ground. I mean, honestly, I would rather just do Vorkath than that. But that was like pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still don't like Zora. It's just so much easier if you just have a T-bow and you can just not even freaking do anything. You can just brain dead it. Alright, we're gonna try a bit of our luck at the theater again. Hopefully we get something this time. There we go, that's one raid done. Maybe a drop? Yeah, maybe never. Alright, just past the seven hour mark. And no purples. Good luck. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Any drop? Oh my gosh. Finally! Oh my gosh, dude. Yes, we are about at the six hour mark. We finally get a nice big drop within our 24 hours, man. That's awesome. Is he AFK or something? How much is it? I don't know the price of the Ancestral Road Bottom is, to be honest. So, this is a complete surprise. 21 mil. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. Let's, we got to go for the back-to-back. Back-to-back? Ah. All right, so we're coming up to the five and a half hour mark, and we're going to go do a bit of barrels and see how much we can get from that. I spent like 280k on supplies for this, for tabs as well as some food. Just number one. Nothing. All right, here's another chest. Nothing. Okay, I'm just going to go to Theater Blood. This is a good run, but, you know, it's Theater Blood time. All right, so I made a whopping... Okay, 60k from two runs ain't bad when it was only, like, three minutes. <laughs> 79 attack. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. 98 ranged. <laughs> cool. Oh, my gosh. We finally got purple. Thank you. Pull it. Oh. Come on. <laughs> they give you that $5.6 billion. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, people had to go, so I just came back here. Nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Million dollar? Have a billion dollar? Never lucky. E billion dollar? E oh, not that. Okay. Billion dollar? That's All right. That was a bit over an hour. The guess is like close to a mil. All right, loot. Yeah, not even. All right, Barrows was not worth it. Well, three hours and 20 minutes left. I think my best bet to make any good amount of money is probably just to do raids one and raids two. Purple, hopefully it's not stupid. Oh, come on. <laughs> Past the three hour mark, by the way. Six mil. Well, I guess it's better than nothing, man. Thank you, bro. Twisted bow? Oh. No back to back on raids, GL. Ah. About at the two hour mark. Hey, 98 HP. One hour, 38 minutes left. I forgot to record. Oops, but I mean, we didn't get anything anyway. So one hour and seven minutes. I'm just gonna literally do raids for the rest of it anyway, because I think it's the best and most productive use of my time. Good luck. Oop, I have 40 minutes left. So I'm gonna do two more raids, although I'm probably gonna go over by like 10 minutes probably. So it'll be, it'll be 24 hours and 10 minutes. Don't tell my mom and we'll be good. Good luck. Okay, cool. Well, I have time to do one more raid. And it's going to go over by a little bit. All right, last raid in the 24 hours. We only went 15 minutes over. Not bad. So it's a, an extra 15 minutes from that. Well, wish we got a drop for the last bit, but that's fine. 
All right, so let's grab everything that we have made, all these secondaries, sell that, and then we will look at the final price check of it all. Inventory number one, inventory number two, last inventory, 2.8 mil. Plus, I'm going to get rid of 1.5 mil out of this for a bit of extra cost, because I think I covered the cost for everything, but just in case I didn't. I removed the one... No. I removed the 1.5 mil, but I also removed an additional 2 mil because I forgot to cover the cost of some supplies for Zora. Someone's doing a drop party here. So the total amount that I made from 24 hours of money making is 67.4 mil. That's pretty good. It could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot worse too. I definitely did get lucky with my RNG. If you guys want to see me do a PvP version of this, then leave this video a like. In order to achieve the Infernal Cape on Gridlocked, we are going to earn one bill in one week in one video. I'm going to be giving myself 168 hours of active game time to achieve the one bill. The only rules that I have are that I'm not allowed to stake and I'm not allowed to take donations. So with that, let's begin. So I have every item that I need for the Inferno except for one, and that is of course the Twisted Bow. The Twisted Bow being the best item that you could possibly use in the Inferno. I did attempt the Inferno with an Armadillo Crossbow, and I got pretty far, but it's three times harder with the Armadillo Crossbow over the Twisted Bow. So I figured I can either keep attempting the Inferno with the Armadillo Crossbow until I get it, or I could just go and get one bill for a Twisted Bow. The only two rules that I have are that I'm not allowed to stake for the money, and I'm not allowed to take donations. I'm going to be using my existing bank to earn the GP for this, and any GP that I do earn during this is going to immediately be turned into platinum tokens so I can track how much GP I made at that point in time. So to actually earn the GP, I'm going to be PKing, high risk PKing, deep wilderness PKing, and also doing raids 1 and raids 2. So let's begin. We're going to start it off with a theater of blood. And a purple? Oh my gosh, I actually got a purple. Wow. All right. Cool. <laughs> Ready? This is going to be a scythe, so that's cool. Or not. <laughs> wow. One of the worst freaking items. Very first drop, we were starting off with nearly 7 mil. You can't complain with that. Well, you could and I should, but I'm not going to. Twisty. Oh my gosh. 
We actually got a drop. <laughs> so it, I literally just got back to back. So this is starting off very strong. 10.5 mil added. You see, when you look at it as 17.3 mil that you've made, you know, and you have one bill to go, it's kind of sad. But at the same time, it did just make about 18 mil in like an hour. So that's pretty cool. It literally, it was about an hour. A few extra raids didn't get anything. Purple. There we go. Avernic. You know what? I will gladly take that, honestly. <laughs> 28 mil? Almost 29 mil? Dude, that's so solid. Are you kidding me? So we are already at 46.3 mil, and this is four hours in. Give us a B2B. Oh, we did. What is it? Oh, yeah, another one. Another 20. Uh, dude, I think it's like the same amount. Yep, it's the exact same amount as before. 75 mil. <laughs> dude, it's only been like five hours, and I already made more than I freaking made the, uh, that one 24 hour. Come on, Jagex. I've grown accustomed to a certain type of living, and I am not about to have that changed. Wow, we are never lucky. I finally got around to doing my elite clue. Million. Dollars. Oh, twist the bow solo duo thing? No. We're gonna do a little bit of PKing at Scorpia thanks to World Dependent since he showed me how to hop into the Scorpia cave without actually getting attacked by any of the minions. Oh, smited. Go on, please. Wow. All right. All right. Maybe I got a plus one. That'd be really nice if I did. No. Good fight. He's doing Slayer too. That's stupid. That would have been bank. Oh, Chaos Ellie's on him now. That might be bad. He might get teleported. Yeah. Strip him down, Chaos Ellie. Good fight. Look at this guy. And good fight. He could have banked, dude. Maybe. He might, dude. Looking at uh, all the stuff he had. Oh, there's a PKer, though. <laughs> now let's just not run into any PKers and we're straight. Oh, well. Or this guy. Hello. Oh, my gosh. And he lost his skull. Yep. All right. Well, again, if I die, I don't really mind. <laughs> dude, he was just skulled before, too. I wonder how much I just got from that. He was skulled, man. I could have gotten so much more bank. One mil from that. All right, so I <laughs> got 900k from that guy. Probably dead here, yeah. Good fight. And you freeze right there. All right, what are we looking at? 522k. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going for Sang. His freaking friend just bailed on him. He just logged straight the hell out. And he's dead. Yep. Good fight, bro. That was worth it. Yeah, he has a lot of loot. Yeah, this guy's a lot of loot. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's 100K plus the additional 1.1 mil, 1.2 mil. Such a shame to PK here. I come back in gear. Be ready. Okay, all right. All right, well, I killed him, but you know. All right, so now we can see how much we made within the one hour, 150K. It's kind of lame. Let's go and price check all of it. So I grabbed a lot of it out in cash because I am going to be using all the supplies I got. But effectively from that, I apparently got 4.2 mil? Really? I'm not going to argue with it. Nope, nope, 96 magic. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, level three. Level three with a freaking fire cape. Tebow? Okay. Purple light shining down from the sky, radiating a twisted bow. Uh, please? Oh my gosh. Hey, I'll take that. Ooh, 13 mil. Clean, thank you. 92 mil, almost at 100. I mean, honestly, with all this stuff, we probably are close. No, nothing. Yeah. So I currently have 113 attacks left in my whip, and there would be just about no point in getting myself a new whip since I'm almost 80 attack and 80 defense. And at 80 attack and 80 defense, I'm not training the attack and defense anymore on the account. I don't want to go any higher than that. So at this point, it's finally time to retire the whip on this account, and now I'm going to buy a blade of Salador. Yeah, 85 mil. All right. Yeah, we got it for 85 mil. Looking good, man. Now this is actually the best in slot slash weapon too. So I think it might be even a bit better in theater. That's a purple? Oh, there's a purple. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> yes, that's great. That's freaking great. Dude, that's awesome. That's freaking great. There we are. 61 mil. Dude, that's really solid. So now we are at 154 mil out of one bill. That is so solid. Eh, no back to back. That's fine. Ah, yeah, okay. Twisted guy? I haven't seen a single twisted guy in my life. Well, there's no one here and I just spent like 15 minutes searching. So I guess I'm going to go to a different area. There we go. Hopefully he was killing the guys for the rune rocks. Yes! There we go. Perfect. 196k. Oh, look at this. Found guy. Smited. Hello? Hello? Okay. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> uh, of course, it's with the clan. And anti Good fight. Perfect. 
That was freaking perfect. As long as I'm not TB, I'm fine. Nice. Almost one mil. No. No. Yellow, please. Yes. Yellow. You know, something's not adding up here. Going dry is not that fun. Well, I just got done with TOB 150 and we didn't get anything. So I'm going to go and do a bit of Corrupted Gauntlet so I can get a few more shards for my blade. And I might also get a blade. Probably not, but we'll see. All right, that's one down and I'm going to do 10. Ah, late clue scroll. Wait, armor? That's pretty good, dude. That's freaking three mil, man. That's already freaking better than the uh, Theater of Blood has been for the past, I don't know, four hours. All right, that's another one down. Uh, yeah, that was chest number four and my recorder crashed, but I got another freaking crystal armor seed. Coming here for crystal shards for the Blade of Salador was the best decision ever, man. I already made at least six mil in four chests. And here we go, last chest, Blade. Okay. So 69, wow, all right, 69, and now we have 8,242 charges, solid. All right, let's go and sell all this now. Inventory number one, inventory number two, and inventory number three. 7.2 mil from that. We also have a lot of loot in this tab too, so let's grab a lot of that. This is one inventory of loot. That inventory was worth 6.2 mil. Last inventory of loot, 10 mil. I think there's a bit more than that too, actually. I'm also missing the runes, but I'm not really gonna add those into the price check because I use them anyway, so I won't actually count that as profit. Of course. Oh, well, that was just a freaking chance on this guy for like 10, 15 mil, at least. <laughs> And I just got bank, I think. At least decent uh, PK right there. That was a pretty decent PK. I thought it was an ACB at first. 1.5 mil, decent. Oh, come on! What's the... Wow, all right, whatever. Yeah, thank you, Gmall, for actually working for once. Oh, one mil almost. Dead. Nice, good fight. That's got to be some freaking bank. Derox, and I saw the whip too. Yes! That's freaking sweet. Let's go, dude. 4.6 mil. Yes! That's freaking sweet. I love this. Bro, you got to be a good anti rush to anti rush. What are you doing? 420k. Nice. He might have 4 mil cash. He showed me before. Let's see if he still has it. Yeah, he still had it. <gasps> that could have been it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Why am I very, 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 very... So I already converted all the cash. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all the items now. I always only PK for a little bit. And we made... 6.1 mil, definitely more than that, of course, but still, because we did get the four mil cash, so we probably made like 11, 12 mil, 186 mil cash deck. Thank you, good fight. There we go, I might have just gotten an AGS. ZGS? Oh, Berserker Ring, Fury, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's completely fine. I'm cool with that. 12 mil. Ah, whatever. That's fine. Hey, 80 attack. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking take C Engineer down. That would have killed him, dude. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me, man? This is a really bad guy right here. So, really bad death to see Engineer. That, that, that is the luckiest man I've ever seen. I'm still annoyed about that man. Oh, of course. Alright, good enough. I'll take it. Another purple. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm taking that. I'm cool with it. Oh, 28. Hey, look at that. 80 defense. I am done training attack and defense on this account now. Ah, no, back to back. 235k points. Drop, please. Okay, all right, nearly a 200k point raid. And <laughs> again, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have my revenge on this guy. And that was a chance. I hate this guy, man. <laughs> yep, knew that was coming. Well, yeah, I, I literally watched that guy, as me and C Engineer are fighting, I watched that guy preparing to do that to me. Thank you. 
thank you. Oh my gosh, finally. I finally freaking get my revenge on this guy. After so freaking long, man. That, that is the luckiest freaking guy I've ever met in my life. Let me tell you, that guy does not die to anything. So I got 14 mil from that. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and put the whip into some of my supplies. So I'm not going to count it towards the total one bill. So 11.6 mil. Now we are at 241 mil. There we go. Another six TOBs dry. So we ended up selling the Cox and TOB loop. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. Good fight. 3.4 mil. Okay. We are starting to turn this around. There we go. Good fight. That's... Fury and maybe a Gmall. I think since I'm not using a loading bag now, I'm just gonna sell everything and just immediately put it in there. 2.1 mil. And that's a PK right away. Nice, okay. Good stuff. Nice, good fight. Maybe about like a one mil? Yeah, 1.1 mil. There we go. Good fight. That's got to be something, right? Heavy Ballista Samurai Boots. Oh, I thought they were more. I thought it was uh, the other boots, the Brimstone Boots. Yeah, 1.4 mil almost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. 1.4 mil. Oh my gosh. I just chanced this guy for I don't know how much. There we go, good fight. Bank, uh, infinity boots, 1.2 mil. Yep, okay, there we go, another set of boots. Ooh, one mil, dude, solid, 1.2 mil. We might have just reached 250 mil, we did! We are one fourth of the way there. Well, almost got him. Good fight. And coins, Tomifier. 1.4 mil. And I got him again. There we go. Good fight. Nice. Whip PK. Nice. I saved the D boost for supplies. Another 3 mil. There we go. Good fight. That's another nice PK right there. Fury, D boots. And from that, we got 2.4 mil. And I got him. Nice. Good fight. Hey, Duck Bow. Good fight. Nice. That's Fury. That might be about 3 mil, I think. Dead. Yes, finally. Good fight. There we go. Hey, get off, man. 1.5 mil cash, too. I guess he had the, the uh, defender. All right, how much? 7.8 mil. Yes, almost 7.9. 275 mil, almost. Very, very close. And I died. Fuck you. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Good fight, bro. That's got to be some freaking good money. Twisted buckler. I don't know how much that actually is. So the total loot for that PK was 9 mil. Good, good. There we go. Good fight. Ooh, there we go. AGS freaking risk. Oh man, I'm a little scared doing these. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm not the best with DH. Total price check, 20 mil. God dang, how close, dude. 900K from three mil. Now I got a rematch with this guy.
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Good fight, man. <laughs> Holy crap. He had Berserker Ring this time, too. All right, total price check, 23 mil this time. All right, we are over the 300 mil mark. 700 mil to go, 680, something like that to go. All right, good luck. Oh, good fight. Got him again. Good fight. That's three times. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm getting a little more lucky than I uh, was before. All right, another 22. Pit swap. Oh, I got him. There we go, good fight. That was a lot of fights. 358 mil. There we go, good fight. Another 3.6, 3.7. Oh, good fight, man. Ooh. Yeah, I just uh, died to the same guy I fought. I can't believe I didn't record it, but... Yep, I'm gonna take another... Four mail out. Good fight, man. That was a nice stack out. Safer, alright. Ah. Oh, yeah, about three mil. Oh my gosh, I almost freaking got him. There's prayer. Oh! Oh! Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Good fight, man. Dang it. A chance I got so many freaking times. Well, now I gotta take out of this again, sadly. Dead? Nice, good fight, bro. Anything good? Sarah Doman Sword, and he loses the pet. Bye, pet. Come on. Yes, good fight, man. All right, got another AGS. Whew. I right, throw it back in there. Feels good. There's a bit of a lag, yeah. There we go, finally, man. Got the revenge, good fight. All right, how much? 2.9, ah, it was pretty even, honestly. Plus, I'm gonna keep the boots in the bank for now. See where he eats. All right, good fight. That's what we call a good timing, folks. All right. Yeah, 2.7 mil. First time DHing? Cool, hope you die. All right, there we go. My wish came true, good fight. 3.7 mil. Finally, good fight, man. Wow, no one on the loot pile for once in their lives? All right, almost two mil. Oh, I'm a stupid fuck. All right, back to theater. Starting off very, very, very strong. Here we go, guys. Here's another purple. Another purple under the bag. Oh, well, actually, though. <laughs> cool, I'll take that. Good thing it's gonna be a scythe. Ah, I'll take it. 26 mil, cool, thank you. Solid, we are one mil off of 400 mil. Five more raids dry. This guy's risking bank. Like 30 plus mil, I think. Yes! Thank gosh, man. Thank goodness. AGS, Serpentine, Brimstone Ring. Uh, yeah, you're not TBing me, man. You're not TBing me. Oh my gosh, he's actually just boxing me? I don't, I don't trust this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even mind that I died then, man. I don't even freaking mind that I died. A little lightheaded right now, I'm gonna be honest. Let's go sell it. There we go, dude. Uh, okay, gloves are not as much as I, I thought they would be, would be more. I'm literally lightheaded right now. I got 30 mil from that. And we got him. I might have made more from that. I don't know. Got the whip. Nah, I lost more. Just for the record, I've skipped like eight PKs that I've gotten so far on people, but I've maybe gotten like an extra two, three mil out of all of them combined. It just wasn't really worth showing it. Yep. Good fight, man. Hey, I got him. Almost died myself.
Good fight, man. I don't know why I keep freaking PKing myself like that, man. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Guess it worked. Oh, all right, got my DH back. All right, got it right back. Hey, good fight. Wow, that was kind of a YOLO to be honest. Good fight. There we go, good fight, man. That was pretty clean. Fury. Kaboom. Dead? Yes, good fight, man. Woo! AGS. All right. No TB, please. We are looking at 459 mil now. <gasps> no! Sad game. Good fight. There we go. Good fight. Nice stack out. Another AGS. 21. All right, 477. And I did that through the frickin' wall. Good fight. <laughs> Good fight. Another AGS. I think we passed the 500 mil mark now. We are now at 505 mil. We are past the halfway mark, man. Uh, let's go grind out TOB a bit and see how much we can get from there. Maybe we got ourselves a purple, though. Yeah, why would we ever? Nope. 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 Hey, I just got 99 ranged. That's about right. Oh, third age. All right. All right, let's sell some TOB drops again. See what we get from it. Total loot, eh, like almost four mil. Oh, elder guy. Please. Thank you. Good fight. What is that? 1.4 mil. And okay, there we go. I got a whip full DH. Nice. There we go, bro. Give me that freaking whip. All right, how much? Yep, 6.8 mil, almost seven mil, man. Yup, good fight. Safer. Good fight. Nice. Ooh, nice. G Mall too. Yeah, like almost three mil. And I got him. Good fight. Yeah, that's an AGS. There we go. Nice. Plus the freaking defender. Another 15 mil, man. <laughs> and come on, man. And dead. Come on. Good fight, man. That's an AGS. He's better than me, though, at DHing by like a, a mile. And that was 18 mil. Oh, 19 mil, actually. Good fight, man. And there we go. Good fight. Let's see if he was lying. 4.2 mil. Berserker. Berserker ring. Okay. You know, it probably did say 4.5 mil, so. Fair enough. There we go. Almost. Good fight. Wow. Why am I bad? Come on. Good fight. There we go. All right. We're getting back in the game. There we go. Lag definitely came back though. Got his defender, so that's 4.5 mil. Dude, like, you can't actually freaking stack. What the heck, man? This lag. Good fight. I disagree. Strongly. That guy's on like 20 HP. He has an emblem. Oh, poor guy's missing BH1 or BH2. Oh, come on, buddy boy. Oh, I got him. Yay. <laughs> I think I got more than that uh, than he got from me. Staff of Light. Yep, I did. All right. I'm cool with that. 11 mil, and then we'll buy our Darox back. We made money on that. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> there we go. That was a freaking pit swap, too, so that was nice.
to get at that. If I didn't eat, he could have hit that. Oh, I got him. Good fight. Good fight, bro. I don't know why I sold the MSB. 16 mil. There we go. 581 mil. 20 more mil, and we are at 600 mil, and we are at 400 left to go. Good fight. Dang, man. That was good. <laughs> good fight. Sid brought coins. Oh, he did, yeah. Good fight. All right, what are we looking at? 3.2 mil. Good fight. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty clean. Yeah, it's like another 3.2 mil. Dead. Yeah, I don't know why his HP was so low that whole time, but... Not really a good move. Oh my gosh. Well. Good fight, man. <laughs> good die here. Yep. <sighs> good fight. Pretty much uh, locked myself. So close to 600 mil, but nope. We have to dive right back down. There we go. Good fight. Got the revenge. Dude, he's freaking ripping me, though. What the heck? Oh, god dang, dude. Good fight. That was good, dude. That was really solid. So 16 mil. That pushes us over to 614 mil. We passed the 600 mil mark, man. There we go. Good fight, man. Another AGS. Another 16 mil, man. 630. Oh my gosh. If I spec, he was dead. I thought I did. There we go. Good fight. Got him again. I'm not going to sell that. Another 15 mil. Good fight. Nice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're just popping up everywhere, aren't you? We're at the 650 mil mark now with that kill. Good fight. Here we go, that was clean. What? AGS? Oh, no, never mind, because you protect the torture. 17.7 mil. Yeah, that guy was shit talking to me for a while, so thanks for the AGS, buddy boy. Ooh, good fight. Dude, that was pretty good clicking, I'm gonna be honest with you. Good fight. We are at 691 mil. Wow, we're close to 700 mil. Good fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Throw it in the pile. Now we made it to 17 mil. Uh, all right, another TOB, another nothing. Please. There we go, good fight. G. Yeah, I agree with that. So like 3 mil maybe? Yeah, 3.1 mil. He asked me to do a few risk fights against him in his setup. Hey, I got him. Good fight, man. Got a little high risk fight with him. It's like 5.5 mil, I think. All right, 5 mil. Oh, good fight. Nice. That was a good venge. Well, it was an okay bench, but I got him nonetheless. <laughs> Good fight. Even though you're really bad and you're rude to me. I'm trying to say I was bad and then I'm shit. So, uh, thanks for the free items. Yeah, three. Oh, okay. Three mil. Nice. I thought it was a little bit less because the Fury sucks. Oh, good fight. 82. Are you kidding me? What? Come on. Yep, kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> 
Oh, that works. <laughs> Oh, got him. Good fight. And what is that? That's the dragon crossbow. Maybe he had like a a ring or something. I don't know. 3.7 mil. Okay, good fight. He said B ring risk, and he was not lying. Cool. Wait, does that mean he also risked the defender cash? Yep, 3.2 mil. Got him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we have like a little multi-war here. I got a freaking Gmall too, I think. There's like a little multi-war going on here, so I just stopped what I was doing for that. There we go. That guy was talking trash all freaking day. Good fight. Dude, you were just talking trash for like 20 freaking minutes, man. The dude starts sitting there flaming me, you know, correcting my grammar, even though my grammar is already correct. Like... The guy literally is like the stupidest person ever. I think he just wanted attention, to be honest. Good fight. There we go. Bye. <laughs> nice. All right, so the brimstone boots. Yep, boots are brimstone. I don't know how much those are, but I think those are the reason why you didn't want to get that PK. Oh, uh, no, I thought the boots were a lot more. I thought they were like 2 mil, but still, it's a good 2.2 .2 mil PK. Oh, what the fuck? There we go, got him. Good fight. Died again accidentally, but uh, yeah, lost the H. Dead? <gasps> Come on, one HP! Dude, that's for an anguish too. Got him. There we go, good fight, man. I'm so bad. Oh, good fight. I'm really good. <laughs> Not my decision. Good fight. Oh, good fight. That was a huge hit. And what I get? Carol's other top. Nice. I like nothing selling. Eh, 2.5 mil. Damn it. I knew I should eat. Oh, well. Yeah, my mic was accidentally muted here, but I got a kill. <laughs> well, that's one way to get a kill. I ate again, man. There we go, got him. Good fight. I quit. <laughs> yep, good fight. And we got 5.6 mil. There we go, good fight. I gotta rush back there to get that. Fight. There we go. <gasps> got him! I freaking got him! Yes! Good fight! There we go. I got a freaking anguish. There we go. Oh, man. Dude, I kept freaking chancing that guy time and time again. Thank goodness. I am so freaking happy. So, overall, I got 18 mil. Thank goodness I finally freaking got him, man. He said he didn't die in nine days, so I ended his streak. Oh, I got him again. Good fight. Another 2.5 mil. Oh, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> that was sneaky. AGS. That was another AGS risk fight. That is 17 mil. So we are at 797 mil. Three away from 800 mil. Damn it. Oh, I was so close, man. And that's another chance. Oh, again. Oh, come on. That was on the pid swap, too. God damn it. Again? Whatever. I'm done doing this. I'm getting so unlucky against him. I don't know how many times I've, I've chanced this guy. I'm not even going to show it because I don't want this video to just be chances, but I've chanced this guy, like, so many freaking times, and I just keep getting unlucky after whatever. Whatever, man.
fucking- Are you kidding me? And I got him. Sit down. Yeah, finally. Finally a little bit of luck. Got him again. Yep. There we go. That's how we frickin' get our AGS's back. Oh, good fight. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one way to get a kill. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That was for like, I don't even know how much money that was for. I don't even know how much fucking money that was for. I'm so bad at the game. I don't know why I just didn't eat there. Can we go cam? Oh, never mind. We're good. We don't have to go to cam a lot. Dead. Got him. Yes. Finally got a freaking rusher, bro. There we go. All right. Yeah, I got enough. 2.6 mil. Again, I wish he freaking decided that he was going to risk a lot more than just 2.6 mil, but I guess I can't argue with a free uh, anti-PK on a guy like that. Oh, he got me. Good fight, man. Damn, nice risk. Oh, I got him. Good fight, bro. Alright, he just killed me twice. Uh, I got the revenge and I got an AGS in the process. Oh, come on. What the hell? Fuck my little ass! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Freaking hit! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You know, I lost one AGS to him, but that didn't even matter. It must have been like a high-risk pre care or something. 108 mil! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap! 125 mil more and we're done! Oh, that's another AGS. Good fight, bro. Dude, I'm still freaking pumped up after that. There we are. 16 mil, so we are at 891 mil right here. Imagine. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I got him again. Oh my god. Is that it? So, how much did I just make? Hello? Are we almost done? Wow. 12 million, we're fucking done. <laughs> Sex number. Oh my gosh, I got him. That's the one bill. There we go. Good fight. That's the one bill right there. That was like an hour of fighting him. So now we pop it all in the GE. There we go. 20 mil. 20 freaking mil. So now we pop it on in there. And we have made one bill in one video. All right. Let's convert it, man. One bill, bro. Made one bill on this account. So we started with 168 hours. And we ended with 81 hours, 51 minutes, and 59 seconds. So that is approximately three and a half days of playtime that it took for us to make one bill. I am actually pretty astonished that I was able to get it in less than one week. I figured it was going to go a bit over one week to get the one bill. But in my mind, before I can actually celebrate, I have one last thing left to do.
we are at the final stage of the account with one last thing left to do, and that is get the Infernal Cape on Gridlocked. And while that is technically the last goal on the account, I still want to get the cape and go for the 4747, since that's what the account was created to do, so that's what I want to achieve. So I have more than enough for all of the gear that I'm going to actually need to use in the Inferno for an ACB Infernal run, and I'm going to give myself five attempts at the ACB Infernal run, and then I'm going to just go for one bill and try to get a twist. Bow. Now, I don't doubt that I could get the ACB Infernal Cape, but the thing that I have going against me right now is time, since I do not want to spend a large amount of time doing this. So, if I don't get the ACB Inferno in 5 runs, then I'm going to go for the 1 bill and get a Twisted Bow, and surprisingly enough, I think it probably would be faster for me to just get all of the cash I need for a Twisted Bow, so I could just get the Infernal knocked out, because with a Twisted Bow, I could get it very fast. So, I did my 5 attempts, and this is pretty much what it looked like. Whatever. So it looks like it's time to make one bill. Well, since I had to sacrifice a fire cape to get into the inferno, I had to get another one. So I did make the one bill, but I still need to make 100 mil more since a T-bow is actually 1.1 bill. And while I do have the money in my bank to buy one, I actually do want to buy extra gear for the inferno attempt. So I'm going to go ahead and get the extra 100 mil. Dead. Oh. What? Oh, pfft. That was ass. <laughs> Whatever, good fight. All right, so let's go ahead and give us uh, a nice scythe. Nice purple. Oh, wow, see, there we go. Ah, I'll take it. That's good. 20 mil flat, thank you, bro. Clue, give me a million dollars. Yeah. Follow the bard. Please just tell me I can't do it. Fighter torso, F you, bro. All right, this is Clue. Good luck. Oh my gosh. That's actually good. <laughs> Dude, that's the first good item I've gotten from a clue. I just got 99 HP. I didn't even realize I was gonna get it. <laughs> Did a bunch of raids and didn't get anything. Okay. Yep, got him. What do you mean, GF, dude? You were just talking trash to me. The loot from that PK roughly comes out to be 2.2 mil. This guy's risking, good luck. And there we go, got him, good fight. Now that's gotta actually be like four mil maybe, to be honest. Yeah, so 600k in the G mall. yep, four mil. Guy's literally just sitting there on the adjustable HP. Yep, yeah, I got him again. Really? Hm. Yeah. Oh, Smork. That's my max. Good fight. Yeah, another 4 mil. It's all on the defender. Got another AGS risk fight. Cha-ching. Oh, I got him again. That's another AGS. Good fight. The price check for that AGS PK ended up being about 14 mil. There we go. Good fight. Oh, good fight, bro. That should be another AGS. Yep. Ooh, it's got a big uh, PK. Oh, not like a one mil PK. I got him again, though. Good fight. Oh, got him up. Good fight, bro. Got me. Good fight. Oh, I finally got him. There I go. I was like half an hour fighting him. I know it wasn't worth it, but I wanted to kill him anyway. All right, Cox. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Uh, nah. Interesting. No purple. Well, just do it all of part two and part three, so. That deserves a purple, right? Yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> That's a purple. I'm calling it. Calling it wrong. Purple, though? Oh my gosh. How frick- Never. Oh, actual purple. 
All right, just grab it. Oh my gosh, that's good. 25.7 mil. That feels amazing. Thank you. All right, let's go buy this freaking thing, man. Let's go buy the twisty boy. There we go. Oh my God, we have one. Ah. Oh. I'm so happy. I can also uncharge this and get my uh, little scythe back, man. Here we go. Oh my God, I think I made money on this. I bought it for 90 mil and I got it for 97 mil. I made money on the freaking blade, bro. So we have our gear, man. <laughs> we have everything we need. Now there is only one goal that stands in front of us and that is the Inferno. Here we go. If only I could change it now. It. That's my fucking infernal cape. That's my fucking infernal cape. Let's go! Yes! Fuck yes! You know, this served me very well. But as of right now, I'm just gonna hold on to the GP. And I'm going to go and use a scythe at Theater of Blood. Something I've always wanted to do. Of course, I had to send a freaking raid in absolute max. Now that we have all the money for the gear. Let's see if I got a purple for it. No, we're never lucky. I don't really care, though, honestly. I just wanted to do a raid. That was the freaking experience for me. That was a reward for once. <laughs> oh, that was really fun. Okay, 99 strength. All right, last KC. Give me a purple. Nah, pet. Nope. Well, I've called pet literally every KC. So, uh... I've stayed dedicated to the role. Insta sold for 811 mil. What'd I buy it for? 808. Oh, I made money on it. <laughs> cool. All right, there we go. Got everything we need for the burst-a-thon or the, the barrage-a-thon to 99. And here we are. We went all the way from 96 to 99 magic. So uh, this is the only quest cape or rather skill cape that I actually do want to get because it is useful for PvP, obviously. Yeah, baby. So with that last 99 out of the way, we are finally done training this account. The stats are at their final mark. 80 attack, 99 strength, 80 defense, 99 ranged, 77 prayer, 99 magic, 99 HP. The reason why I wanted this account to be specifically at these stats is so it could have the lowest combat level with max gear. So technically it could be a lower combat level, but eventually it would end up at 112 combat. So yes, 
technically it's not the lowest but in my mind this is the absolute lowest that the account was ever going to be i wanted it to be maxed out when i tried to go for the 47 47 so now there's just one last thing left to do hit the 47 47. about a year ago i came up with a concept what if i was restricted to region two is completed we have gotten the fire cape Madness 2, complete Region 3 to go on to the next area. Alright, we are all set for Dragon Player 2. Now we just have to exit. We have officially unlocked the grid. So with the final goal complete of achieving the Infernal Cape on Gridlocked, I have but one last thing left to do, and that is go PKing in absolute max strength on the account. While the ultimate goal is to hit a 47-47, that's probably not going to happen with how statistically unlikely it is to actually get the hit. So if I hit at least a 90 with the DDS, a 45-45... I'll be happy. But just before we begin, I would like to thank the sponsor for this video, Displate. When I first heard of Displate, I was a bit skeptical since I've had posters before, but I've ripped pretty much all of them. Then after I saw all my friends getting these Displates, I decided that I had to check it out, and I was immediately hooked on the product. Displate is a lightweight metal poster with high quality prints, which remain sturdy and it's easily installable. The second I actually got my Displates, I immediately installed them and it took me less than five minutes to install all of them. So now I don't have to hang my own crappy artwork on the wall anymore. Purchasing one of these high quality disc plates not only supports me, but every single disc plate sold means that a tree gets planted, which means you are supporting the environment as well. Not just that, but I honestly like disc plate a lot, so when the opportunity for them to sponsor me came forth, I jumped at it. So if you want a high quality poster that will last you a very long time, then click my link in the description and you will receive a 30% discount. But hurry up because the discount is only available for the next 7 days, so make sure you get one before it's too late. Considering the fact that we are risking at least 27 mil, we will probably PK a lot in this video. So I am looking forward to seeing if I can actually get the 47-47 and seeing how much loot I actually PK in the end. Oh, I got him. Cool. Good fight. Dude, that's actually like a lot of stuff. I thought he was a bait, to be honest. Suppose not. Suppose he was a level 117 noob. Just risking 4.4 mil. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 47.45. Holy crap. Well, that was uh, a 92. I need one more 47 in that equation. <laughs> oh, there we go. 43, 44. Good fight. Jeez. That was nice. Decent PK too. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a back to back right there. Hey, get in there. Well, oh, Hydro Leather, what the hell? All right, that's an extra six mil, 9.5 mil. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me that million, million DDS. Oh my gosh. 44, 45. Jeez. God dang, man. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to worry about it. Oh. Uh, I guess I gotta worry about death, though. That sucks. Good fight. <laughs> yeah, for those curious, the guys who I'm fighting with no armor are risk fighters who are using the fact that they have no armor to their advantage since I'll hit big on them since I have very good strength bonus and then they'll avenge and go for the AGS stack and kill me like they did there. It's actually pretty stupid to be fighting these risk fighters, especially since I'm risking about 15 times more than them, but that's not really a big deal. <laughs> Good fight. Well, I'll take that. What? Oh, he had the torture. Yeah, never mind. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that almost makes up for my death then. Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> Good fight. Oh, good fight. Looking at about four mil. Oh, 42-35. Good fight. Damn, one mil. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The exact number he could hit, and he hits it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was literally gonna out-eat that too, but I was like, eh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I didn't open my bag. 4.3. Oh, all right, good fight. That was not really that much of a fight, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, another 45-47, jeez. Oh man, two more hits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good fight. Yeah, 3.3 mil. Oh, good fight. He said B ring risk, but. Oh, wow, yeah, I guess he did. <laughs> oh, well, there goes me. Oh, I killed him? <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't know I killed him. <laughs> oh my gosh, the 46-45. There we go, good fight. Dang it, man. I'm trying to get a decloy GS kill. Oh, 46 45. Come on, one more 47. I smited him. Oh, wow, that was actually a smite hit, uh, chance right there. Did I smite him? Oh my god, I smited his AGS. <laughs> yeah, 14.7 mil. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> Good fight, bro. That was really close, jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, 1.4. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh, good fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, good fight. Hey, another Fieri. Oh, that was pretty good. Good fight. That was pretty clean. Oh, 3.6 mil. Pretty good KO, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably way too lax about this right now, but I pretty much don't care if I die. Oh, good fight.
One last? Nah, I, I guess we're good for now, bro. <laughs> good fight. What am I doing? I knew that... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Another 28 mil down the fucking pooper. Whatever. Send it. Good fight. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude, that was really clean to be honest. <laughs> okay. What is that? Like same mil? Yeah, like 5.3, uh, 5.4 mil. That's pretty good. So just before we were done, my friend let me do 100 DDS specs on him. These were the most notable hits. Oh! A 47-46. Again? I don't think that actually counts though because it wasn't in an actual fight. So the highest hit that I got with my DDS in a fight was 45-47. Now let's look at the total loot. So I definitely think we ended up losing more than we made, but that's not that big of a deal because I just wanted to go for the big hits. So overall, we PK'd at about 119 mil. This was my favorite series by far to date, and to see it go from just the concept over a year ago to finally being completed really means the world. You're obviously going to see me PK on this account in the future, but this is the last video video in the gridlock series. I've actually been going back and forth on the idea of uploading this entire series as one video. So if you guys want to see that, then please let me know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and this series, and I will see you next video.